Oh. Jesus, I'm glad you're able to make it out already. First first stream. Uh, let me... First stream back, that is. Because I don't stream on Saturdays. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to be playing some Mecha Bellum. We'll, we'll maybe play some other stuff too. I want to do some cool shit this week. I was thinking we should do a day where I play a bunch of roguelikes that nobody knows. Does that sound interesting? I feel like that could be kind of fun. Uh, just showing off roguelikes nobody has seen before. Because I've, I've got like so many games that I haven't played. Um, it, I'd love to do some more, like, variety stuff like that. I'd also like to get in, like, a, like, a Noita PvP sesh. It could be play. Play D-Spots. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I played, I've played, actually, a, a fair bit of D-Spots. Jesus. Um. I mean, like, weird shit, like, Eldritch. Stuff, stuff that people don't know about. Uh, but yeah, the, the D-Spots game is, is super great. The game that we're actually going to be playing, um, has some similarities to D-Spots game, actually, which is cool. Uh, where's my webcam? I gotta fix this thing. Uh, over here, right? Yeah, okay. I need to bring myself... Okay, something, something like that. I probably don't need all this extra height above me. And... That's pretty good. I like that. Maybe a little bit bigger than normal, but that's okay. And, uh... Turn on the... This as well. Just have a little bit of opacity. All right, there we go. Did I flip myself? I did by accident. Yeah, no worries there, Jesus. Um, alrighty, let's get started. Uh, so yeah, I I've been grinding this game really hard. I'm at 150 hours at this point, and um, I've I've been having some pretty good results off uh off stream. Like overall, I am more winning than losing by a lot. And see, I had like a nine game win streak in there or something, which is pretty absurd. Uh, yeah, I am at 150 hours. And uh, yesterday, I managed to break into top 1000 worldwide. So if we look at world leaderboard, my rank, we are 934 right now. Um, one thing I've noticed about all the Mecha Bellum streamers is that they are all like top. 200 like there's Sako right there and who else there's there's, there's like a whole bunch of them up here I, I know Endozoa is on here and Monkska is on here they, 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 literally the time is on here as well there, there's a whole bunch of them if if you're gonna make it as a as a mecha bellum streamer you gotta get good so that's what I'm trying to do um, you know, it, it's, it, this reminds me of a, a, a ton of what happened with Noita. I started playing Noita three months late compared to everybody else, and I had to grind so hard to get good at that game, uh, to, to catch up to everybody else, but eventually I did it, and I, I ended up getting pretty good at Noita. So I'm, I'm thinking that I can do the same thing in this game, as long as I go at it hard enough, um, I, I think it can be done. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're closing in. The, the difference between Noita and this game is obviously Noita isn't a direct competition. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit harder to gauge who's, who's the very best. But in this game, obviously, they, they've got all, all of this information to, to share. So it's one of those things where I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to end up like top 10 at some point. I don't know if I'll ever get top 1. But we'll, we'll see. I want I want to push for it. Also, forty thousand combat power has been breached today. I haven't seen that yet. That's pretty cool. Just had a rotten meat seed. Wait, had a rotten meat oil water lively concoction seed. That's pretty awesome. There, cool ranch sounds very strong. But yeah, my combat power has been going up a little more slowly lately. But my MMR has been climbing pretty well, which is nice. Uh, I need to get it up to around 2,000, as you can see, to really start climbing. But, um, yeah, so far so good. I'm, I'm pretty excited to, to get into it today. And, uh, yeah, streams lately have been pretty quiet, but that's okay. You know, it, it's kind of expected as I, as I play Les Noita. But I, I really appreciate everybody hanging out. And if there's anything I can do to make the stream 
uh, more entertaining, like more more variety. Let me know. Obviously, right now I've just been kind of feeding my addiction, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Nice power level. I see you have uh, a lot of Korean competition. Indeed, yeah, that Bell is uh, now right over there. She's she's just off off screen. Hang on, I wonder if I can adjust it to to get her more. Maybe I just move this over a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now she's on camera. All right, let's get into it. First game of the day is always a hard one for me. I don't know why. You wouldn't think... Uh, I, it's like... A, it, it, there's a weird thing where it's like, okay, you got these hyper reaction games where you have to have, like, flawless reaction time and stuff, and then there's these super brainy games. And I would definitely count this as more like the brainy type of game where you need to have, like, uh, really, really good... Um, reactions but it's it's not like a, a speed based reaction it's a tactical reaction I suppose and that's kind of where we're at with that uh, I think we're gonna ooh, we got Panda 1430 uh, they've lost 2-1-3 where, where am I at on that uh, we're, we're lost 2-1-3 in the, in the last uh, five games so Although that said, my, my games were from last night, so I, I don't know if they, they really apply. We'll see. Uh, cost control spec is really, really good. And uh, Marksman Mustang is a fine start. I find cost control spec gets, like, just a lot of value. Um, they do have the problem of they miss, like, a lot of really important breakpoints against the other uh, groups. Because, you know, snipers don't quite one-shot stuff that they should, and... Um, you know, the, the, a lot of your units that would normally survive a hit, they, they, they end up not surviving a hit. We've got an air spec here. Thankfully, we've got some pretty good stuff to work with for air spec. So I'm going to cover my flanks right away with these Mustangs because, um, you know, the, 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 it, that way I don't have to worry about it in the long run. I don't, I don't really have to worry too much about it currently, but that's okay. We're going to keep our snipers along this line here. I don't worry too much about them getting phoenix or wasps here. And uh, right now it's looking like arc lights are fantastic here. Because that's just going to rip through everything that they have. And um, next turn we may end up going into sledges. But I may all... Uh, is it going sledge uh, marksman's pretty good. Any chance you can uh, play hero hour later? Yeah, I, I could play it later today there, Splata. That sounds like it could be fun. Although I'm going to need to do the tutorial because I, I was still struggling with that last time I was playing it. Um, I, I want my uh, arc lights to be close enough here to my snipers where they're uh, a little bit better defended. So I'm going to do something like this. Isn't it still early access? Heroes hours early access? I'm, I'm not sure. So I'll, I'll just have my snipers paired with my arc lights like this, and this sniper will uh, just have to deal with uh, being a little bit more exposed. And I think something like this looks pretty good. I could drop a missile right away, but I'd, I'd much rather buy some good stuff right off the hop here. And uh, hopefully our, our arc lights are going to get sniped out, aren't they? I don't have the, the best positioning here. Yep. Both of my arc lights are getting sniped out right away. Um, yeah, so I got out positioned, but that's okay. I'll be able to make some adjustments and we'll be able to fix that up. I, uh, I, I just didn't really have the, the chaff where I needed it to defend, which is fine. Marksman XP is way too good to pass up. We're gonna grab, uh, two sets of crawlers and we're, we're not gonna overthink it here in the early game. So this is going to defend our arc lights. Our arc lights are going to be able to crush all the Mustangs. That'll be good. Uh, and... Is there anything else that I could do to to help my, my setup here? I, I could get early marksman range, but I feel like that's not going to do that much for me. I could also buy another set of Mustangs to go straight down the middle. Or I could get uh, a set of crawlers to go down the middle. I, I kind of like the crawlers just heading down the middle here. Research center buffs. They're really weak on 
uh, my my class, so I'm, I'm not terribly interested. Replicate could be decent on the crawlers, but um, I'm not really too interested in that. I, I want to save my money so that way I can react. But yeah, cost control specialist gets less out of these than other classes, and I don't really it, like they're, they're, I'm not having any struggles killing the the mustangs or or the crawlers or the snipers. All their stuff is really low health, so I don't have to worry about that. And none of my units are really designed to tank right now anyway, so... We're, we're just gonna hold the money and get something crazy. So they, they went rhinos here, which is obviously pretty scary. That's quite a few rhinos, in fact. It's rare that I see somebody go early rhinos like this. I need to think about how I want to counteract this. Because I'm, I'm going to have to rely on my snipers to, to kill these. Which is obviously not going to work on the side with two rhinos. Kill it! Yes! Okay, that's that's decent, at least. We did manage to get one. Looks like we lost on the, the right side as well. But it wasn't that bad of a loss. Alright. Um, We're definitely going to want something to deal with those rhinos. Heavy Hacker is a pretty funny one. That, that would work fine. Um... Do I want to go heavy hacker? It's it's some it's it's almost cheese, right? I'll grab it. I, I don't have to use it. It's free. I'm I'm liking the look of. Hmm. I kind of want to power up some snipers. And go for some Vulcans. Because Vulcans are going to rip through everything that they have. And if I just have a couple of high power snipers, that, that's going to do just fine for me, I think. So let's let's try that out. How you doing, Jim? Though? Welcome on in. And um, am I, am I going to overdraw this turn? I feel like this popped up last week. It's by eight. Eight merds. Thank you for the eight merds there. Random voice guy, appreciate that. Regardless of what it popped up, I, I appreciate it nonetheless. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Um, alright, so that that's good. Do we want to rock like a, a corner thing? How you doing, Dexter? Welcome on in. Am I missing anything in the world of Noita right now? I feel like uh, that I'm always missing out in that game when I'm not playing it. Uh, we are gonna go for the, the double Vulcan here. And, um... We're going to rock a, uh... Oh no, I didn't get my thing down in time. That's okay. It's fine. But yeah, we, we should have no problems now with, uh... Some of their stuff. Which is nice. The Vulcan should rip through everything. RV mentioned he would do some Noita stuff next week. Well, I look forward to seeing what he does. Hopefully he can fix some of the, the issues that I'm having. I mean, I, I doubt that's the, the focus, but... It would be nice. Would be nice if things just worked. Uh, same problem as chess, spending too much time thinking. Yeah, a little bit. Little bit of that. Okay. So, um, their rhinos are doing some good work here. It he doesn't touch the C plus plus, so I uh, wouldn't expect. It. Okay, I got you. Uh, I'm gonna grab top supply specialist here. That should be pretty helpful. I really need something to deal with these rhinos. I could get my own rhinos, potentially. Um. Hmm. What are the other options? Hmm. I'm thinking... EMP would probably be really good to slow them down. But Incendiary Bomb just helps me clear faster. I think Incendiary Bomb's probably worth it here. And then we'll, we'll just grab a couple more snipers. Hopefully I don't get too horribly sniped out here. How you doing, Quoprin? Welcome on in. I think I've got, like, one more losing round before I just completely lose the game. So, this is going to be pretty scary. It's going to be fairly spooky. 
But I'm hoping that uh, we have what we need to, to make this happen. That was some good uh, burning right there. That should burn down a lot of the stuff. That one upgraded elite sniper did some pretty significant work to my one Vulcan. Which is scary. I'm kind of getting ripped through because I don't have enough, um, enough chaff still. But we do have a couple of upgraded snipers. I, th I think we win this round. Yeah, we're, we're definitely winning this round. You've been uh, in a break from the internet? That's a good thing, Quoprin. It's always nice to take a break from the internet from time to time. These Vulcans will never ever level. They take five ever. Cost control with not enough chaff, I know. Uh, uh, Kieran, Kieran, how you doing? Welcome on in. Thank, thank you for the the twenty two months strengthening the armada. The armada. I was seeing you and uh, Dylan playing earlier. Were you playing this by chance? Was this your game of choice? I can't say I would be surprised because th this game is extremely fun. A high level sniper uh, to handle their. Um, their chaff would be really nice. And yeah, speaking of chaff, we could use some more of our own. Um, wasps are going to be our best chaff unit, maybe? Actually, no, we're gonna want... Do we want tanks as our chaff? We, we might want some tanks as our chaff. Hmm. We were trying Exo Primal. Uh, we played some of this the other day, but you haven't been grinding. I, I got you. It's one of those games where... Uh, if you're not super into it, I imagine it's a tough grind. Okay, what if we go... I I, I think the, the, the high-level tanks are the option here. And uh, we're just going to put these in front of that, like so. That should be decent. Forgot about the Mecha Ballum tournament? Yeah, it's up and coming here. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and buy a sticky oil bomb, because they haven't really been playing around that at all. And, uh, we'll place it like this, I think. And that should slow them down a pretty decent amount. And by that, I mean it won't slow them down at all, because they, they very wisely put down some shields this round. This should be interesting. We've, we've got some decent stuff going, but the shields are really problematic for our current setup. Shields are very, very good into what they have, or into what I have. Hope the song bops a lot. It's it's lovely, Dioriel. I'm looking forward to, to playing it on stream. Do you want to link me a version, or should I just download it directly from YouTube? By the way, thank you for the, the 15 friggin' months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, advanced, uh, advanced firepower control system sounds pretty crazy. I'm gonna take one of those. We're we're relatively prepared for wasps, so I'm, I'm gonna pretend we're okay from that. And uh, I'm also going to grab a pair of storm collars to blow up shields in case they have those again in the future, because that that is a problem for sure. And do I want high ex explosive anti tank? I don't think I need that. But more fire would be good. I feel like maybe we should just get an upgrade on the the, the range upgrade on the Vulcan, and that's pretty decent. It, we're we're in some scary times here. I can send you the MP3, which should be uh, easier than downloading. Yeah, otherwise I'd have to like YouTube to MP3, and I might end up losing some quality along the way. Um, okay. I'm a little spooked that I might get wasp to this turn. Like his, his, he's going to pick up air sometime soon. Um, okay, so he's just EMPing me, and th there's the overlords. That was that was only a matter of time. We do have some very strong snipers. We've got a, two level four snipers that we're going to be able to utilize. We just need to hope that they live, and our mustangs are now. Very precious. Unfortunately, they're 100% going to die. They, they've got anti-missile on their uh, their Mustangs already, which is interesting. Yeah, no worries there, Dioriel. 
No worries. Okay, this EMP is messing me up super hard. Am I just going to die this turn? There, there's a reasonable chance I, I straight up die this turn with what my opponent's done with the EMP. We really need to to see the the burning happen. Yeah, we're we're not going to die, but it's it's going to hurt real bad. Or well, are we? Let's see. 400 800. This could be lethal. We'll see. This is, this is what happens when I don't use my actives. I am indeed dead. They got me. God damn it. God diggity doodle. I, uh, I just didn't react to their units well enough, I think. I don't, I don't really know. I, I, sh I should have stayed on that screen and looked a little longer, but that's okay. It's, it's first round. It's not a big deal. It's, it's more important to, like, I, I don't know. It's more important to lose than to win, I think. Maybe it was too much reacting. I, I don't know. Oh, wait, I just remembered that I, I want to change my, um, I apologize to that guy. I didn't mean to dodge him, but, um, I need to go to my Vulcan, and I want to get rid of Best Partner, because I think Best Partner is pretty crap. Scorching Flames seems like it's probably really good. So we'll grab that. Yeah, so I, I, I want to have the ability to go Scorching Flame plus Ignite. Because that, that'll ramp my Vulcan damage an insane amount. Are we lagging really hard? What is what is this lag? Do you guys see this frame rate? This is disgusting. Why is this happening? Was it was it just doing that for a moment? That was really weird. This is quitter talk. Win good. I will I will win. I'll do it. But I'm I'm trying to use Vulcans more, because Vulcans are really, really good. Um, I love Elite Spec and Sledge Marksman's D-Gen as hell. Giant Spec is is also really good. I'm gonna go with the Elite Marksman. The Elite. This is this is a very very strong setup. All right. Uh, let's do a little bit of this. Uh, do a little bit of that. There we go. We've got a bit of a talker. Hopefully they're they're not a, a stream sniper as well. Uh, we got Mustang Crawler in the early game. Tanks do really well into that. If I were my opponent, I would go sniper to take up my tanks. Our starting setup's not the same for players. They're not the same. They are in no way the same. We're we're gonna go ahead and do some crawler splits here, and um, that they, they'll kind of defend our flanks as well if necessary. But in the future, we'll probably just place something down there and uh, I could see myself like sell buying tanks for upgrades here in the near future as well okay so they're going for really forward positioning and they do have snipers of their own which is anticipated they're making they're, they're making arc lights look really good here they're, they're making a lot of things look really good here but I'm, I might just want to go like replica crawlers or something like that we'll see you smell suicide rhinos? I don't know if this is a suicide rhino position, to be honest. I kind of doubt that. But uh, we did lose the uh, the right side because I didn't have any of the crawlers. As long as the um, as long as the mustangs don't get under the crawlers while we're debuffed, we might have a chance at winning this. We'll see. It's a little bit iffy. Okay, just uh, some creative pathing. <laughs> An interesting choice by the crawlers. I, th I think we're losing this first round, but that's okay. Um, I need uh, I need an answer, or I, I I guess we'll just grab some more. Are we are we gonna we're not gonna win this, but it's it's gonna be darn close, which is nice. Not too big of a deal. We need an answer for their um for their chaff. Right now, we don't really have much. We did win <laughs> by a single crawler. Easy for damage. Underground threat's pretty good here. Tech spec is amazing. Um, I, I think as this class, I really can't be greedy. Subsidized arc lights could be really strong here as well. I'm, I'm going to go for the subsidized arc lights. And... Um, Gonna grab one of these. 
and grab two arc lights. And I'm gonna be able to start buy selling arc lights for uh, chaff as well, which will be helpful. Okay. My opponent should probably flank me this turn. We'll see if they do. I'm going to put a little bit more support on that side. And uh, I'm going to drop a shield right here-ish, I think. Something along that line. When my opponents get really close like this, it's, it's very uncomfy. It, this is going to get spooky, I think. Okay, hopefully... Nice. The the arc light defended well there. Early shield? Yeah. The, the, so early shields are, are really nice, because as long as they don't go down, they, they can regenerate over and over, and they give you a ton of value. How you doing, Solar? Welcome on in. Are we getting the lag that I'm seeing on screen here? Or is that is that just not real? Orbital Bombardment hits me really hard, doesn't hit them very hard. Photon Emission could be a way to mitigate that. I like Photon Emission a pretty good amount as well. So we will go for that, and hopefully it's enough to save our boys. I'm gonna do another one of these. And if I were my opponent, I would probably go for something that would... Hmm, what would I go for? I kind of want to just get some of my own frontline crawlers. But... I could sell back here. Hang on. So if I sell here, then I can buy a Rhino and get the backline win. Kind of like this. What does Elite Spec do? do? Uh, basically, all my units are going to be... Um, level 2 when I purchase them, but they all cost more. And I also get 50 extra gold per turn, which is nice. I'm gonna bring us down to low. Uh, there we go. Close that out. We'll see how this goes. I'm thinking... They, they don't think this ledge deletion was a good call, but we'll see. We will see about that. My shield does go down. There we go. We're, we're definitely doing the damage that we need to do. These crawlers are getting out of control. This rhino didn't end up doing anything at all. That's a shame. But that's okay. Um, Ion Blast is cool. Marksman XP rate could be helpful. They do have a big guy, but I feel like we're dealing with said large, large men pretty well. I'm, I'm gonna go for the Ion. It, I think it's like a really ungreedy option here. And, um... At this point, my crawlers are just kind of cleaning house, so I'm, I'm gonna go for some more, I think. And we're, we're gonna get, like, some frontliners to sort of replace what I did there. And, um, I can buy-sell- if I'm not going to keep an arc light, I can buy-sell an arc light to gain some extra cash for a turn. And what could I use that for? I could use that for some shields. But I'm also happy to just buy another arc light, I think, and slap it over here. Something along this line looks pretty good. And... Hmm. Is, is there anything else that I should be concerned with? I, I guess my flanks are pretty uncovered right now. Which is a little spooky. I'm gonna buy the attack enhancement so that way I can rip through their units even faster. Okay, so they are going for the, um... The, the giants. Got through that shield. See if that's enough. The shields are quite annoying. But I'm, I'm thinking that we'll be alright here. So, one of the really good options that I have available to me 
is that I could technically go for um acid uh, acid crawlers to sort of melt through. That could be a thing. Let's see here. Rage Rhino is kind of cool. Orbital, bomb Orbital Bombardment's nice. I like the mech that just walks up and punches. I like the mech that just walks up and punches too. I I identify with the the rage or with with the rhinos. They're very fun. Okay, um, replica crawlers are looking pretty good. Honestly, all of the upgrades are looking pretty darn good. Uh, but more, we're we're, we're gonna want to be able to punch through these shields faster. So, let's let's grab some stuff for that. All mechs are cool. I agree. Is that a flank rhino? It is a flank rhino. Yes, that is the best kind of rhino. Is a flanking rhino. Um. Okay. If I buy sell an arc light, I won't be able to buy a storm caller this turn. But what else would I want to buy? I guess more crawlers are looking really good right now. I can't help but feel like this uh, this rhino is going to be countered very soon, if not this turn. Like they really should be countered this turn. Uh, I'm I'm gonna buy a mobile beacon and try to force the rhino to uh, kill the tower because I imagine he's gonna play something that'll try to slow it down and or stop it. And some more crawlers on this side just to delay the inevitable seems pretty good. Okay, so they are really going mass on, uh, on these here, which is pretty spicy. That is, uh, that is a lot. Okay, they, they went steel balls, and the steel balls did in fact beat my rhino, which is a darn shame. Uh, looks like we're gonna lose this round. But at this point, I, I think what I want to go for is um i i think we just boom them you know I, th I think that's probably the play here we just make a large explosion happen and we can just remove that rhino from up top that hurts pretty bad but that's okay um level five crawlers are pretty cool here but i don't think that's what we're going for I think we skip all of these. You love mechs that go boom? I also love mechs that go boom. Alright, let's uh, grab one of these guys to help punch through these shields a little bit better. And um, it's it's rhinoing time. We're going to grab two rhinos and we're going to rhino all over them. With uh, one going here. And one going here. And hopefully these can punch through the shields pretty efficiently. Get a little upgrade on that arc light there. And we're, we're struggling to maintain space, which is my, my largest concern right now. We're, we're going to be getting acidic explosion, so that way I can kill these fortresses pretty freely. And then from there, I need to ask myself how, how I want to deal with these mustangs. But uh, for for this turn alone, I think we should be set on that. Um, I'm relatively happy to save the extra cash, and I imagine that we're going to be seeing another rhino or another uh, another large fortress lad showing up here in a moment. See how the boom goes. So that go that gets rid of the shields at least. So that's a start. But I don't think that's going to be enough on its own to win us the round. Everything but the fortresses are going to die, I think. Or is going to die, rather. Oh, man. Okay. So do I go melting points into the fortresses, I guess is the, the question. And I think the answer is yes, because we're, we're dealing with the shields well enough. And we'll be able to catch up relatively well here. I, I This fortress spam strat on the front line has been catching me out. Uh, it caught me out yesterday. I, I'm hoping it doesn't catch me out again today. 
That would be pretty lame if it, if it did. Uh, none of these except for this are, are maybe worth something. So I'll, I'll grab that and let's grab two of these guys. Actually, maybe I just grab one with energy absorption. And we'll, we'll slap it down right here. Give that to that. And uh, I think we need to sell something. Hmm. We definitely want our acid crawlers still. I think we sell our other sledges. They're really not that good. And does that give, give us acidic? It, it doesn't quite give us acidic. How much are you worth? Not enough. I, I think we're going to overdraw this turn. Oh, it does give us acidic. Okay. There we go. You should have played Engineer from TF2. Agreed. That probably would have helped. Okay. Let's do one of these. And is there anything else that I can do to help myself win this turn? I don't really think so. I think this is pretty much all she wrote, one way or another. So we'll hope this is enough. They could definitely flank me this turn, and I would just lose. So let's place this down in the hopes that helps prevent a flank. Okay, they're going to be spamming out guys now, which is a little scary. Okay. As long as I don't get acided horribly here, that that's kind of a big deal. They have way too many dudes. We're we're in trouble. I needed uh, fire callers to to blow through their units faster. I think they got me on this one. Pretty sure I'm extremely doomed. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty bad into fortress spam. I still haven't really figured out what to do about it. The same thing happened to me the other day. Uh-oh. Did I break it? <laughs> I think I broke it. Damn it. Freaking video game. Why? Oh my god. I I just I frame cur I frame perfectly surrendered as I lost and that that just broke the game. That's that's on my bad. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> oh no. Why? Come on. I just want to get out of there quickly, and now I have to sit here. Okay. I'm, I'm all that foreign out. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel, chat. What was I... So what do you do against mass fortress spam? I feel like that frontline fortress spam is just really, really difficult to deal with. I guess the answer is I should have built on the front line as well. Balls? Balls wouldn't have done anything because they had so much chaff in front. Horatio. Balls would not have worked there at all. I, th I think I needed the firestorm and then maybe... Uh, balls, they would have just rage punched. Replic crawlers? Yeah, replic crawlers might have been good. That's true. Um, I don't really like any of these starts too much. I think we might just go with the speed spec. People are saying speed spec is bad. And they might be right, but I kind of like it. Alright, so they've got up, which means we need up. Or we need anti-up at least. Which means we're, we're going to go for a little bit of this. And uh, we'll do something along this line, I guess. These are probably way too far forward. We're going to adjust that. I'm, I'm, I've been playing like a pretty stock standard game. I, I think I might need to start messing with my formations a little bit more. I'm going to try bringing these guys a little closer to the middle. As opposed to usual. Have the snipers a little bit further out like this. The purpose for that is hopefully I can funnel the enemies in a little bit better. Uh, it's pretty standard for people to stack these on like a side. Supply specialist means that they can basically do whatever they want. Uh, we're speed spec, so... They're going to be getting plus 50 gold every turn. I really need to take advantage of my speed here. So, uh, rhinos seem like they're going to be a pretty good option. This is going to get ugly, isn't it? Uh, sad. Very sad. Losing half of my tanks instantly. 
And uh, that arc light is pretty well placed as well. I, th I think we're just losing this first round. Supply specialist getting to spend that 50 however they want is, is pretty nasty. The, I feel like the speed specialist versus supply specialist matchup in particular is really bad. Because the, it is just like a raw plus 50 advantage every turn. Because it, co it costs 50 to get the speed upgrade every time, right? But once you start stacking it, that that's where the value potentially comes into play. Nano is really crazy for uh, a lot of things. We'll, we'll probably grab that. And uh, obviously we need something... You don't have anti-air? Yes, I do. I have snipers. What are you talking about, Quilprin? That's the, the problem wasn't that I didn't have anti-air there. Um, let's see here. Wasps are okay here. Mustangs are okay as well. I would like to just snipe their, uh, their arc light out. I could have a couple of forward snipers to do that. Something like this is a little bit goofy. One can hope that that works. And then we could also buy, when in doubt, uh, boats. It's... They, they have Phoenix! <laughs> you don't go boats into Phoenix on turn two as speed specialist. What are you talking about? That is not... You can't just say that. <laughs> it's not how the video game works. Okay. All right, let's let's try dropping a shield down here. They didn't missile me this time. They they doubled their phoenix, which is pretty monka. Please get the arc light. Yes. Okay, we we did manage to get the arc lights, so we're gonna have the the chaff advantage here. All right, we can get sniping down there air now. We, we have a bit of a marksman sledge party forming, which is just a classic composition. It just works. Some decent early damage. Um, my opponent is supply specialist, and they also went nano repair, which means that there's there's probably a couple things on their mind right now. If I had to guess, I'm going to go for a wasps here. I feel like that's going to be pretty annoying for them to handle. And uh, this might just outright beat them. I feel like if I were them, I'd want to handle these snipers. So should I put something in front of them, I guess, is the question. I think a, a set of Mustangs to, to cover my flanks here would be pretty darn nice. So just have them set up where they, they beat my, my flank units, whatever whatever ends up showing up. And uh, they'll they'll be pretty helpful against the uh, random trash that spawns as well. The real question here is, do I want to invest in another shield to defend this sniper so that way I can win my right side as well? And uh, I think I will. It's This is probably like a, a bit of an iffy play and uh, not a good one, but we're going to try anyway. So they, they did end up doing a, uh, a wasp plank on the right here. And uh, hopefully my wasp plank works out better than theirs, because uh, that didn't look good for them at all. Yeah. All right, so the the Mustangs were, were a good prediction. And uh, now they have a Vulcan, so I, I need to ask myself, how do I want to handle their Vulcan? I think the answer is going to be... Oh wow, it's it's got the regen, right? That makes sense. I don't hate Fortress into this matchup, and then I can use it as anti-air against the Phoenix as well. That thing did take a lot to take down. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like Fortress here a pretty good amount. 
Smoke Bomb doesn't really affect them. Haste Module is pretty whatever. Amp Core would be quite good. I'll take an Amp Core. And we'll place it on a Fortress. Actually, do I want to put the Amp Core on the Fortress? I'm not sure if I do. I want to make sure all of these guys are upgraded. Pretty sad that this guy can't be. Um... Amp Core Regen. I think Regen's... Oh, man. Amp Core kills this guy faster. Which means that ideally I'll be able to win out versus that in the long run. I'm going to be getting Anti-Air Barrage if they continue committing to Phoenix here. And uh, I'll probably get also EMP. Fortress. The, the Sky Boat of the Ground. Those are words. Those are words if they've ever been spoken, that's for certain. Okay. So my opponent went for the, the Storm Collars, which is very expected. Okay. I, I did manage to get rid of their chaff. If this guy even lives for a little while longer, I'm happy. Alright. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Fortress. You did your job. These storms are very annoying, but we are getting through them. And I think I'm going to want uh, some more tanks, probably. How you doing, Splata? Finally, uh, I can finally watch a stream. Uh, is this uh, like turn-based basketball? The ground looks like a basketball court. Let me uh, cut all the lines and stuff. It's not turn-based basketball, but um, you're you're almost right. <laughs> You're kind of correct. Uh, I love Lightning Storm. Orbital Bombardment is cool, but I don't think it's as good. Contadex says, I was recently watching Day9, who's a huge fan of Fortress, uh, and like to flank with it. I was doing flank in Fortress earlier. It's fun. Had some great success. Where is, um, what, what's, uh, what's his rating, Contadex? I'm, I'm really interested to know how good, uh, he is at this game. Okay, we're gonna buy this, and I'll, I'll grab another fortress over here. You get that. We're gonna drop a, a lightning storm down here. And we've basically got a guaranteed win this turn. Uh, he's terrible. He just plays it sporadically. That's very reasonable, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so they are spamming out uh, their, uh, their air, which is pretty expected. Um... Hoping that this works out for me. Wow, rip my, my right fortress. That was a lot of damage coming out. Okay. We did win on the the right pretty handily. Thanks to all the, the shenanigans we had going on. We've, we've got some stuff going for us. Are, is he just dead? He is just dead. We just killed him. That was a really, really quick game. Imagine, imagine thinking Fortress is, is bad. I don't know who's thinking Fortress is bad, but clearly Fortress is pretty good. I mean, that was also because it was a well-timed thunderstorm, but yeah, that was, that was a heck of a match. I, I dropped below 14 or 1500 MMR, which is not what I want. I would like to continue climbing my MMR as much as I can. Uh, that is, that is the, the number that I'm really looking at. The power of ground boat. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So yeah, th this game is... Uh, th did you ever watch me play Super Auto Pets, Splata? This is kind of like Super Auto Pets. Except, um... It's it's like chess. It's it's chess... Sort of. Y basically, the idea of uh, Mechabellum is you have all these units that have various rock, paper, scissors matchups, and you need to sort of out rock, paper, scissors your opponent. Uh, do we want to go for, uh, it's Super Auto Pets meets StarCraft, kinda? Yeah, that's, that's a fun way of putting it, actually. I'm, I'm gonna go for the, they, they're just giving me Marksman Sledge over and over again, and I'm uh, not complaining, because it's, it's a really good setup. Do a little bit of that. Move this guy further over here. Get that guy off the wall. And, uh, we're Going to go for... Is, is Sniper's too obvious here? 
Snipers are pretty obvious, but I, I don't know if it matters that it's obvious. I feel like it's still hard to deal with. Put an extra sniper off to the corner here. Uh, my opponent could start doing frontline shenanigans immediately, which would be pretty darn annoying. I'm going to actually do sideways tanks here because they're, they're better at chaff clearing. Um, it looks weird, but it is better because that, that way they don't all target the exact same location. And let's just hope our opponent doesn't stack aside and make my life really difficult. I mean, I think they probably should with Fang, uh, Phoenix. But they're elite spec, so... Actually, yeah, elite spec even wants to do that even more. Yeah, elite spec marksman, uh, or le level 2 marksman immediately beats, uh, tanks in one shot. Which is pretty unpleasant. Rest in peace, that guy. They did stack aside with their Phoenix, which is pretty expected, like I said. Um... We'll see if our marksman works out here. Clean? Oh no. No! No! Okay, good job. That was honestly pretty good. Except the part where that phoenix is gonna get a level up if he kills this arc light. But I don't think he will. The one problem with level 3 marksman start is that it feeds XP insanely hard. Which is pretty bad. Um, my opponent's looking exceptionally weak to stangs, so some cheap stangs here look really nice. And, uh, I just like covering my sides with a couple of mustangs, honestly. I think it's really good. It's just very strong to be able to do this. I don't know why that just turned on its own. Um, something like that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit further over. I, I want to be able to counter anything that they summon on the sides and obviously fangs are going to lose to mustangs as well as uh phoenix will lose to mustangs and sniper will lose to mustangs the the main concern that i have here is that they're going to be able to counter me out in the middle a little bit but um i feel like this is just the strongest defensive play that i can make wow that's that's two missiles they really really want to win this round taking out all of my tanks and one of my arc lights thankfully Oh, wow, they, they got an arc light as well. Mm, I think we're losing this round. They did just spend a lot on uh, ensuring that I lose this, though. Which is fair. This sniper just got a level up from killing my, uh, my level 3 marksman. Hopefully I can get... Uh, wow, that's really unlucky timing. I don't think we're going to be getting much extra out of this... Uh, out of this run here. All we can really hope for is XP and damage mitigation. We're getting a little bit of XP. I would love it if you turned and shot one of the... Yes, do it! No, you suck! You're the worst marksman! God damn it. Alright. Okay, we got uh, intensive training, which is very nice. What do I want to train intensively? This arc light on the right is pretty spooky. I can't... I, I guess I could just counter-missile my opponent, maybe. That's like a, a reasonable play. I'm already one-shotting everything with this marksman. I, I need, to, need to ask myself... Oh god, I don't need to ask myself. I just need to be a dickhead and buy some storm collars, don't I? The other option is we go some fangs of our own. His fangs are going to be pretty okay here. Hmm. I just need to clear their their garbage. So that that's gonna clear that trash pretty easily. If I buy this, I'll have 150. Their uh their right side is pretty weak. I should consider flanking them here with some crawlers, which maybe we'll do next turn. But for the time being, let's go ahead and upgrade these guys so that way they might be able to kill the arc light faster that's kind of what i'm banking on there and i'm okay with this positioning uh, i am a little bit worried that this is like they could they could stack these up and missile me or something if they get that right in the future but missile isn't going to show up much longer so i'm going to not worry too much about that okay so they've double shielded and uh they've also got another arc light upgraded on that side 
the reason I bought these is because they, they beat fangs and they beat shields and they beat snipers. So they, they, they beat a lot of, th they also beat arc lights. They, they beat storm callers are just really, really stupid. Good is the, the long and short of it, I guess. Okay. Can kill that sniper at least, which is great. They've, they've got their phoenixes upgrading pretty rapidly. And they are running the, the, what I would argue is the, maybe the optimal set for Phoenix. This, this is going to become a Phoenix Marksman battle, 100%. Because, uh, the, I need the EMP from the Marksman to kill the, the dudes. That's pretty much just how it's going to work out. Alright, we got a couple more upgrades on our snipers, which is good. That's going to ramp their damage up. This guy really doesn't need it, but... The range is going to be important in the long run. Tech spec is crazy. Lightning Storm is undodgeable for them, which is really nice. I'm going to be buying lots of tech. I'm I'm going to say that I'm willing to take an L. Am I? Does that sound right? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think I can win the long haul. It's basically what I'm going to tell myself. And uh, some more snipers on the right here are going to work wonders. Let's go ahead and get that back line of crawlers that I was thinking about previous. Well, they, they've got that there now. I don't think I want that anymore. I'm going to defend my right side a little bit more, and lightning is quite possible this turn, so we'll play around it on our right, I guess. Is the, everything's relatively close together here. And I've got the snipers further back than the storm callers because the snipers will eventually outrange the storm callers, and if the game goes long, that's something I should play around. Whoa! All right, they're uh, they're giga flanking with fangs. Interesting. That is an option that I did not consider. We're gonna have to deal with that, I suppose, one way or another. I'm pretty happy with um, the damage that's going through here. This is looking pretty good. That poor sniper just not getting the upgrades it deserves. Okay, we do have two fresh snipers here. They're going to be able to finish the job. The fact that they're not leveling more Phoenix is peculiar to me. Alright. Uh, lightning Storm again or increased attack. We've already kind of got the attack that we need. I hate that they're offering Lightning Storm to me again. Because I wanted to... Every time... I normally just auto-take it, but it's so expensive, you know? What do I need the extra damage for? Everything's dying in one hit right now, anyway. I think Lightning Storm is the, the take here. It's, it's definitely on the over-aggressive side, but that's okay. We will accept that. And uh, I think I want range enhancement on our Mustangs at this point. I did not mean to purchase that. <laughs> that, was a, that was a casual long range misclick. You know, it's it's fine. That's, that's fine. That's, it's not what I wanted, but it's okay, I guess. Fuck. Um... Nice throw. It's not a throw. Range on snipers is good. Just... It's not exactly what I wanted is all. Um... What would I upgrade? I guess we'll, we'll upgrade this marksman, because there's not a snowball's chance in hell he's leveling up next turn. Oh, that's just a fucking fortress. That's just a goddamn fortress over there now. Okay. Somehow their freaking airships are still alive, which is pretty annoying. Okay. That is so annoying. What the hell? Why why aren't they dying? Oh my god. It's a level 2 fortress. That's why it's not dying. Now it all makes sense. 
Okay. Uh, they have many upgraded fangs. Um, how do I want to deal with that? That is the question. Pro probably more uh, storm collars with uh, with better upgrades. And I could also like li do a line of crawlers as well. Okay, these storm collars should just beat them in theory. But those are ranged fangs, which are the scariest kind of fangs. Kill them all. Do it. Fangs do way too much damage, man. They're they're scary as hell. All right. We're uh, we're winning very slowly, but also this is Munka as hell. I don't really know how I want to deal with that. This is going to pay for itself eventually. Let's get, get all our upgrades while we have a good opportunity here. And uh, we're going to take high explosives, I guess, to blow through that thing. Or I... Nah. Nah, that's not right. That can't be right. Let's buy a couple more of these. And... This is... This is getting dumb. This is getting very dumb. Uh... This sniper is just eating it. That's that's just how it is. That's really just how it is at this point. I, I would love to get some crawlers. Which I can afford. Just some crappy little crawlers to, to dive in here. And defend my, my stangs for a little bit. Should I field recovery anything on the left side? I don't think so. I could field recovery this central arc light. It's really not doing anything. It's just kind of dying. But I, I don't have field recovery unlocked yet, and it only pays for itself. If you're buying a, a larger unit, so I don't think that's worth it. Buy some of these guys. I'm going to put acid on those crawlers. If they... Uh, Oh my god, they got mechanical rage. Oh my god, they're going in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. My opponent is just fucking hard diving me at this point. Okay. We will just dive them harder, forehead. Dude, I it, the, the freaking hyper aggro cheese, I, I don't know what to do about it. Like, what do I do into this sort of thing? That really is the question at the end of the day. Hmm. These, uh, these Mustangs are doing great. How do I deal with all these fucking things? We need fire. I think fire needs to happen this turn. We're gonna lose really fast if we don't handle this, which is why I'm so scared. Um, none of these are... Actually, no, I'll take the missile bonus. Missile bonus should be pretty good. Okay, give me fire. And we need to handle this right here, which we can do with um, some upgraded stangs. Just like that. Something along that line. And we'll put a, a shield here. Upgrade these shitters. And buy acidic. That'll handle that. Okay. So that, that should be okay. And we should... Probably buy the, the damage bonus at that point. Okay. Let's do one of these as well. I don't really care where that lands. That's good enough for me. Alright. The Mustangs are crushing. The Acid did the thing that I wanted it to do. The fire is is burning things. They're they're not quite as slowed as I would like. 
They didn't really walk through the acid the way I wanted. They're flanking on my left! I just watched a replay of someone beating insane survival. Literally only lost three rounds in the beginning. That That's pretty crazy, Anani. Yeah, that the that early game is is pretty tough. Okay, I will defend these this this dumb flanking behavior. I I refuse to to lose to this again. I, the Fang Fortress is such a meme composition that shouldn't work. So we're we're hoping this time we're we're strong enough to beat it. So far, so good. We're, we're kind of making it happen. I'm thinking some EMP would go a long, a, a long way here. Um, skill spec is crazy here. Range spec I don't really care about. Because I'm already, like... It, it, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter here. Okay. So we need to deal with this side... Crawler, bam, and storm, bam. And hopefully that'll that'll handle that side. And these mustangs are getting another level up. They're they're going straight to the moon. These mustangs are gonna go crazy. I'm gonna buy shields to delay and. I'm going to buy EMP on my storms, so that way it slows down their fangs. We're also going to buy another set of crawlers just to uh, slow these guys down as much as we can. Worth considering a counter flank, or are we uh, killing their buildings quickly enough already? A assuming we're just like blowing through them like we are, I don't think we have too much to worry about in that regard. I'm going to put some of these down here. There we go. Okay, so they have improved, like, ammo damage, which is a bit of a thing. Hoping I can still blow through their stuff fast enough. Where's where's my fire? <laughs> what are all these fucks doing? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we lost our right side. Okay. This is rough, man. I'm sweating trying to beat this. Okay, so we lost, but it was only by some phoenixes. Any reason you don't buy those uh, new troops at level 2? Uh, because it's expensive is the reason. And the crawlers are just born to die anyway. That is their, their sole purpose. Okay. What, uh... I guess Vulcan... Actually, you know what? Overlord is really dumb here. The reason Overlord is really dumb is because it's it's going to defend from, like, a lot of the uh, annoying shit. So we'll, we'll probably get an Overlord here. So, let's blow up right here, hopefully. Yeah, Overlord tank production... Uh, should be pretty good, especially if I have, um, photon emission. And we can do one of these. That's good. That'll rip through that pretty effectively. I'm gonna buy this, so that way I can do some of these. This shield feels really important to me. And... This is so open, but I don't really have much that, like, I, I don't have any squad that I could just send over to, to yoink it. Something along this line. I'd, I'd love to hit these front line, this front line set here. I think this is probably the best combination of units I can hit. And let's just have one extra sniper in here, I guess. Okay. One sniper very top left would, would not shoot that. It would not shoot that, sadly. 
What is this jank aggro pathing? Like this, this, this pathing here doesn't make any sense from all of these, um, all of these storms. Why aren't they handling this side at all? Fuck me. What are, like, what are my units doing? <laughs> they were not designed for, oh my god. I will once again be losing to Fang. Oh my god, I just can't do it. I can't beat this match. This is so degen. Okay, Vulcan's Descent. Right here. Like, what are these guys doing? Why aren't they aggroing over here? I I hate Fang so much. They're the worst. They're so annoying to fight. Okay. Uh, do I get high explosive ammo to try and beat these insanely stacked Fangs? I don't think so. I th I think we just need we really need them to to like aggro to the correct things. Which is the, the main issue that we're facing. Um, I could steal. I kind of like the, the stealing play here. Steal that. Put down a couple shields. Um... This, this is really it. There's there's not too much else I can do here. I've got my EMP and everything. Like, I've, I've literally got everything that I can think of that would help me win. Okay. Is, is that everything? I'm gonna grab some upgrades here. Okay. That's that's probably game over with with that spam. It's going to show up here. Okay, we are stealing this giant guy hopefully. Nope, never mind. He died somehow. The hacker did nothing. This is this is it. <sighs> How do you beat Fang Overlord or Fang Fortress. Okay. Where where am I going wrong? Flamey boys. I mean their fangs are so spread out. They're, what are they gonna do? And like th these these phoenix will instantly kill a, a Vulcan of any level, unless unless it's a very high level Vulcan. Like, I, I feel like I built the counter units. I, I guess I just, I should have went for this. Maybe I should have just rhinoed up here and ran it down. I don't know. I really don't know. Th this is the one setup, like, F Fortress Fang, where it seems like they can just kind of haphazardly place their units anywhere and I'll lose. Like, w wouldn't you think that a bunch of storm call like why did these storm callers aggro over here? I don't I don't know. Those fangs had major range too. Yeah, they did. There was there was like I don't know. I do wonder if upgraded fangs are a little unbalanced. I mean, that's what I keep losing to. I don't know if it's unbalanced. Your own fortress to form a combat line, uh, the storm callers can shoot, uh, fangs dodged like crazy. Yeah, I, I really don't know. But that, that is the, the setup that I keep losing to. And it feels real bad. Did you buy anything with armor tech that game? Like, bonus armor, real rhyme? No, I didn't. Would armor, te would armor tech have survived, like, level 6 fangs? Probably not. I guess I could have just armor teched in front of them really early on. I, I always feel like fangs chew through my armor tech, though. But maybe that's something I've got to try. Here, let's go fang. 
We'll, we'll try our own fang build. The trick with fangs is they need upgrades and levels. Most people get cleared before they can do that. I mean, I was winning the early game as well, so I, I really don't know. I don't know where I went wrong, supply spec. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, you also had them pretty low. One more good win. Maybe missile spam would have closed it out. Maybe. Maybe that's what I should have gone for. I'm gonna try for an aggressive position. Something along this line. I could sell my Phoenix. Do I want to be the problem? I feel like learning how to play with fangs would be good. I want to learn how to play aggro. But every time I do it, it feels really bad. Hmm. Arc light here would be really nice. But that's kind of counter to the whole fang spam thing. Be the problem until someone teaches you the solution. The problem is that... I don't actually know how to be good with just fangs. Like, I've, I've tried fang spam and I lose with it. So I'm not really sure how to, how to do it properly, I suppose. Okay. Go for something like this. Save the 100. They're in very aggressive positioning. Save replay, see what uh, they're buying and upgrading. Yeah, I should. Next time I get fang spammed, which looks like it might be literally this game, we'll we'll do that. Every time I hear you mention fangs, I think teeth builds from Necromancer and Diablo 2. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh man, our uh, our Phoenix are doing a pretty good job not shooting the same targets. This might actually be winnable. If we can kill the rest of these fangs quickly enough. Alright. This is gonna be really silly. I'm pretty sure I kill all these things before the fangs get close, and then it's just gonna be a fang versus phoenix matchup. Which I'm pretty okay with. God, they're gonna be weak for so long. There we go. Nice! Oh no, never mind. I spoke too soon. I did win! That was kind of crazy. I want to use the resembles a beetle. Yeah, a beetle would be cool. Everybody loves beetles. As they should. Can arcs uh, keep up with fangs or do higher level fangs crush them? That's what I experience, Hannibal, is that like as soon as fangs get their shields, they just run through arcs like they're nothing. Which is super lame when that happens. Like, they, they'll win until they start losing. It's, it's very much one of those. Okay. Uh, just bowling through the middle here this turn. With, like, a couple of missiles seems pretty good. If I, if I can just, like, rip into this front line here early game, that would be really nice. Okay. So I, I think some early missiles just to, like, force the win is pretty strong. So we'll kill these two groups here. They did go arc lights themselves. So I have a rhino. They do not have a rhino. We'll see if that plays out in my favor well enough. Nice. My phoenixes are, are putting in a lot of work this game. That's for certain. I wonder if I should bother leveling them. I would imagine so. Rhino, stop stealing all the XP! He's stealing it all! No! <laughs> Quit it! the one thing about the summons is they're like mmm yummy all this XP just for me okay 
Oh, they, they want the speed up. That's that's very fair. All right. So I, I think now we get our uh, our mechanical rage. Oh, you shouldn't have exactly. That is pretty much what it's like. I'm gonna take the the movement speed here, and we're gonna give mechanical rage. Mechanical rage seems very good. And uh, I'm also going to do a flank. Hey, I should have been unlocking units, huh? That probably would have been a good idea. Let's do something like that. And... Do I sell the lesser phoenix? I don't think I do. When do I go into fortress? I, I guess I'm going to have a level 2 fortress defending these fangs at some point. Let's uh, let's save this time, I guess. And maybe next turn we'll be able to go for a big one. I'm hoping that this flank pays off. Actually, this should theoretically hit their arc light. That's kind of what I'm banking on. Nice! That was actually such a big hit. Such a big hit. Yeah, that was a very juicy missile. Their units are way too close together. Things are looking pretty decent here. No! My fangs! I'm going to want shield, so that way I can tank the the missiles. Actually, I should probably just take speed spec when that shows up, and that'll be better. These fangs are on a mission. Is there any reason to stop missling that until they shield? Not really. It's just a very missileable position, as it turns out. Looks like uh, we're just going to win without having too much contest there. God, they, they, this can't be good, right? Like, what they're facing is, it just simply can't be good. It, it wouldn't make sense if it were. Do we skip here and just go hard into the fortress? I think so. And just do one of these. This will tank this side forever. And then we'll we'll place some more units around it. Let's let's make sure that there's enough room for some fangs to go in front of it at least. That way I can shield up. They got the range bonus. They didn't place a shield down. That's kind of crazy. I definitely should have just went for another hit then. I think they might win this time because their arc lights are pretty well placed. We're definitely gonna want our uh, our shield soon. Yeah, we're, we're losing this round, but that's okay. I don't mind too much. Especially considering I'm pretty sure Fangs are like more of a scaling unit set. So, this seems pretty favorable overall. I'm liking having the, the Phoenix as well. I feel like a, a good extra line of units to have. I mean, sure. What's the next Fang upgrade? I think it's Shield. In theory. Actually, maybe Range. Maybe it is Range. I'm gonna replace these guys, because they're, they're gonna get gunned down there. And they're only level 1 anyway. With uh, a couple of these guys. We're going to be better defended. And just slot them right in there. Like so. And... I'm going to get Mobile Beacon. Can I hit both of these? I think I can. We're going to move them like that. And if they're going to let me keep getting these disgusting missile missiles on them, then I will absolutely take that. 
Like, th these are some nasty missiles. Like, look at that. Alright. Maybe I get some storm callers of my own. Oh, look at the drifting. Look at the drifting phoenix. That's fucking sick. That is really cool. Okay, we are losing this round because of the... That over there. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're gonna need more uh, fortress shielding. Maybe I start hitting up the left side here with some rhinos. Yeah, I think a rhino here is big. We, we just get a free round if we put a rhino over here. Um, let's not bother with any of that. And we should do this. And we'll put another rhino back here. That'll blow up real good. This will blow up real good. These guys are ready for level ups. It, it seems really important that I, I get the levels. I guess I want to try and win the middle. i try placing another rhino right here. And hopefully that'll draw the aggro of the two arc lights. And I, I guess I'll give them whirlwind. Because we're, we're going to commit to them a little bit. I think Rhino might just be a more efficient unit than Fortress overall. Which I'm sure is a discovery that many people have made already. This side maybe could be abandoned. For the time being. In exchange for some more damage output. Right now, their units are all very close together. Okay. That guy didn't get anything done. Shit. <laughs> that's... It's pretty ungood. Okay. The fire is pretty bad. That's for certain. I don't think they have anything to shoot up anymore. Which is a bit of a thing. Yeah. We, we just kind of win with our phoenixes. Okay. The shields aren't going to do anything anymore. Parasitic ammo is pretty spicy. Range isn't going to help anyone. I feel like this is actually kind of dumb. Because in theory it should help kill these things off. The, these missile placements have just been so aggressive. You get a level up. They've got their units super duper stacked. I feel like a, a boat would be huge here. I'm going to sell off um, some of my fangs and buy a, a boat. And we'll we'll kind of use it to defend this part of the board. Because I, I'm, I'm afraid of their mustangs. Those stangs are pretty leveled. And we'll keep getting that leveled up as well. So yeah, I guess... <laughs> you see what I mean? I just can't not be like, hmm, you know what, I, uh, you know, fangs are good and all, but what if I actually just pivoted my build into something better, you know? Very much one of those situations. Okay. They do be hacking, which is alarming. They're, they're gonna steal my large lad. Hmm. That's pretty bad. What do they have for anti-air? They've got one set of fangs. I think we win. <laughs> what do you mean you lose, Horatio? They have, they have like one set of fangs. What do they beat me with? 
I, ju I just transitioned into air to invalidate all their storm callers. And the main concern is this group of fangs over here. Okay. See? What do you mean I lose? Traitor Rhino? Yeah, well, that's fine. He, uh, he drew out a sniper. That's, that's good enough for me. Movement speed is huge here. Sell this guy. He, he did his gerb. Grab one of these and one of these. Little bit of this, little bit of that. And... Something along that line. He's got a parasitic. He's making himself so absurdly missileable. It's it's hard not to. It's hard not to just spam missiles on this guy. Yeah, the fangs were supposed to be the star of the show, but as it turns out, we can we can do better. I think we grab our own fire collars. And uh, I'm willing to overdraw this turn, because I think that that's going to mess them up pretty hard. Like so. And let's make sure that we've got our bonus HP. They bought shields! Oh no! Okay. We'll see if they've got enough. Okay, my fortress didn't get hacked. That's ideal. We have a ton of fire on the ground, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Because now they're just going to walk into the fire. Yes! Yes! So I, gu I guess the answer to beating Mass Fangs is, is a lot of firestorms. But, you know, that that only works so well, I guess. They still have one little fang doing work. If they're, if they're smart, they'll Mustang. That's true, but, like, this thing's tanky enough where I don't think it's getting... It, like, you can't stop it with a Mustang at this point. Which is the problem. Um, increase Overlord HP, but decrease attack by 35%. Sure. Just make the tankiest overlord known to man. These these guys deserve an upgrade, honestly. Yeah, we'll we'll go more boats. More boats. I'm really glad my opponent hasn't decided to flank me. <laughs> because otherwise I'd be in a lot of trouble. This would have been really bad. Okay, um, let's sell off some more fangs. Do we sell off these guys so we can give the, the speed bonus? I think we do. And I'm really liking the collars. They're, they're feeling great. They're feeling very effective. What do I get rid of next? I don't know. They've got, they've got their freaking storms double stacked. It's, it's so absurd. Alright. Um, just, just have a thing unlocked. We've got all that done. You know what? I'm, I'm realizing here that uh, this right around here is, is really good. Just very good, because that'll that'll be set on, on fire at some point. They they did get the anti-air everything. Which makes sense. Just set everything on fire. Holy shit, that fortress went down fast. Oh my god! Oh shit. Their uh their arc lights are actually kinda stacked. <laughs> Their arc lights are terrifying. No! Okay. Munka. I'm dead? I'm not dead. Okay, how do I beat this? 
The answer has to lie in orbital bombardment, surely. And uh, let's get some rocket punches on the on the field. Because that seems like it would be good. Do we try to walk in and boom our rhinos? We've got our rocket punch. Just get more rocket punches down, maybe. And I really am looking toward F flank here. Okay. I, I rocket punches need to happen. We're, we're rocket punching them to death. That's the game plan. Because their arc lights shoot up now. Which is terrifying. You got the trash ad? There's a trash ad? What's the trash ad? Oh, I could EMP them. EMP kind of kind of cheese, isn't it? Let's go for that. And then we'll, we'll grab another set. I regret not buying range this turn. Maybe I should have bought that instead. Hopefully this just works out. I'm hoping the ex between the extra rocket punches and the extra collars, hopefully that'll be enough. We'll see. We need these rocket punches to pay off big. They are not gonna pay off big. I think we're dead. Fuck me. The carry arc lights at the end of the day have won them the match. That was a, a well-played game by my opponent. I didn't think I was losing that. I feel like my opponent was so susceptible, but I, I didn't find the answer. I don't know why I play so much worse on stream. Because, like, I, I go on... You know, I, I think I have like a 60 or 70% win rate off stream, but then on stream it's just like lose, 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 lose. Like look at look at the games we've had today. Oh my goodness, some 10 random. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. Hello everybody. I'm Alias. I play a lot of Mechabellum as well as a variety of other games. Uh, welcome on in there, some 10 random. W were you playing some Mechabellum as well? I'm attempting to get good. Uh... Hannibal, th thank you, Hannibal GF. Welcome on in. Yes, nice. Uh, how, how are your adventures going in the Mecha Bellum? Th thank you so much for, for reaching out, bringing all your folks over this way. I, I really appreciate that. Emphasize on attempting. This game is really hard to stream for whatever reason. Um, I, I'm uh, I'm working hard to, to make it happen, but um, I, I was top, I made it to top 1000 last night worldwide which is one of my was one of my objectives i want to i want to hit top one ideally at some point but yeah right now we're top 1200 because i've i've been falling obviously high speed mental chess yeah it is it's very similar to that but yeah you just missed out on a game where i tried to go fangs and then my opponent went mass fire caller so i'm like all right to the airs we go and then all of their high level arc lights then started shooting up and that was that was it for me uh, Mr. Mevo, thank you as well. Just admit it, you were using hacks. Are there hacks in this game? I kind of doubt that. I kind of highly doubt that. Alright, how's my opponent doing? They're also struggling. They're also a struggler, just like me. But yeah, there's something random. I hope you've been having a fun time with this game. It has been an addiction of mine. I have, uh, like over 150 hours. I just started playing it on the, the 27th of last month. Um, Steel Ball Fang is, that, that's, that's what all the MLG pros use, right? I like Elite Spec a lot, by the way, but everybody always tells me, or at least at the high level, people seem to think it's bad. So, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Marksman Specialist, I don't know why I bother checking, I could see the level 3 Marksman. Um, what do I want to go into this? We're not going to do fang spam this game, I think. I'm just going to wait until somebody else fang spams me and try to learn from them. Elite spec is expensive. Uh, 
Yeah, it is it is very, very expensive. It feels nice in the the mid to late game though, to be able to like just sell off your units and buy better units. It feels like there's a, a ton of really strong pivot potential there. Used to be level three instead of two. It it is still level three, isn't it, Dutchie? Level three marksman. Oh, you mean elite spec. Oh my god. <laughs> elite spec used to be level 3 instead of level 2. Yeah, no wonder it got nerfed. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious, if that's what you're talking about. Holy moly. Yeah, that sounds broken as heck. Um, I think a sniper would be well to do here. I'm not gonna go fangs. It looks like I'm gonna go aggro steel ball fang. I'm not doing aggro steel ball fang. I, I, I like to play a more traditional game. We're going to save the 100 for next round and buy, like, some sledges, probably. If I had to guess. Alright. A little bit scared. My poor sniper. Yep. That is unfortunate. I did not position my units well enough for that. Ooh, steel balls getting, getting to the back line on the... The right. That's gonna help a lot. Okay. That's gonna help a decent amount with mitigating damage, assuming they don't randomly decide to go after the crawlers, which they did. Unfortunate. Man, yeah, I, I can't imagine elite spec with, um, with level 3 starting units. Did they did they cost the, the same amount as, like, a level 3 starting unit, or were they uh, discounted? I feel like they'd be really hard to play. Wouldn't you just, like, buy a Rhino and laugh your way to the bank in that scenario? Same price. That, yeah, that's whack. That is pretty darn whack, I will say. Um. I'm thinking we just go Rhino on the right. And, uh, sell off our sniper on the left, because it really didn't do anything this turn. Or la last turn, at least. It's it's not a nuke. It's it's just a, a little missile strike. Little little babo missile strike. Nothing of substance. I would still like to go snipers, but that sniper was just in a really bad spot, so I'm essentially just moving him this turn. And maybe we go for something like this. Okay. I'm hoping that this works out pretty well. Missile striking my back balls. Where? Some decent damage. Okay. So that's definitely what I wanted. It's nice to see these uh, these guys split the way they did. And we're avoiding the, the major sniper fire, which is what I was most concerned with. Our backline sniper died, which is a shame. We can get to that turret ever, or that, that tower. No, we're not. <laughs> the pathing just... The pathing wasn't there. I guess that's why you run Mobile Beacon, huh? That right there. Alright. Uh, Orbital Strike is pretty darn expensive, but... Um, I am losing, so... We'll do what we can to adjust that. These Steel Balls are trash. Let's go ahead and buy some wasps here. Maybe we can get some carry wasps on the go. Yeah, that's we're, we're on the same page there, Dutchie. We got the same idea. Alright. This could be good. I'm not going to set them all the way back. I can get my mobile bacon now. Which I... I guess I'll do now. It's it's a little bit early, but that's okay. And do something like that. That's not a nuke. Yeah, it's an orbital strike. It's an orbital strike. Many nukes you'll know. Yeah, exactly. That is precisely it. Is that in range? Yikes. They're just gonna auto kill my sniper again. That's sad. I... I feel like the meta is too over-centralized around Stormcallers right now. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I, I feel like that single unit 
just changes the game way too much in some very not fun ways. I would like to see it nerfed heavily. It's a very annoying unit. I guess just like the, the super sniper units in general are, are pretty problematic. All right. Wasps definitely did, did the thing, but that means they're going to have Mustangs incoming. So we need to ask ourselves what we want to do about that. And advanced control system or amp core. Amp core would be pretty nice here. And uh, mecha rage is good. Was fire an option there and I just rolled right over it? Sheesh. Oh, you mean I should get fire to handle the storms. Yeah, that would make sense. Or to, to handle the... The other stuff. Okay. Um, you mean Vulcan? Vulcan into this, you mean? Wouldn't Firestorm make way more sense? Vulcan will just crumple to a bunch of storms. If they go staying. Yeah. I mean, I, I, sh I should probably get some storms anyway. I, I need a proper front line of some crawlers. That would go a long way. Stangs can and will certainly shoot them down. You're not wrong. These steel balls just aren't doing it. I'm going to sell them off. And uh, I would love to buy some crawlers this turn. But I can't afford it, so I'm I'm just gonna buy. Do I buy the 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 enhancements? Maybe I'm gonna be able to. Oh, I should oil them this turn. That would actually be kind of sick. Because next turn I can set them on fire, which would be pretty good. They went anti-air arc lights, which makes sense. All right, we'll see how this goes. They definitely have the, the sniper presence to take out my stuff this time. My rhino's getting all caught up on stuff. Okay. I'm hoping that oil pays off. I think we're gonna need some crawlers. And they're, they're probably overdue, to be honest. Some crawlers would be very good into what they have. Oh, storm crawlers, am I right? Lightning storm is so expensive. You would have crawler flanked a long time ago. That's fair. Maybe we go for a smoke here. Their units are very, very smokable. Let's do one of these. Grab my crawlers. We'll put uh, we'll put some back here. There's no way this guy doesn't just like go back that way though. Mobile beacon, some crawlers to distract the the storms. Yeah, that's a reasonable call. Okay. Try one of these on for measure. And I want some crawlers in front of that there. Okay. They all have something to shoot at. That looks pretty good. I will upgrade my wasps because theoretically, if I can get my wasps high enough level, then I can deal with the arc lights just fine. And this would be a meaty shot if I could land it extra HP is looking pretty important here and I think that's everything I've got for this turn I guess I could buy speed this turn let's see how that plays they took double shot My central fangs are basically useless. Oh, the fire! Yes! Oh my god, that juicy two-turn oil. That was sick. Oh my gosh. That was glorious. 
What a that that oil they they didn't suspect it. They weren't ready for it. I very much feel like the underdog in this match because I'm trying not to spam a billion storm collars without any brain, I guess. Um Bang speed would be kind of dank here. Could I go top supply spec without losing? Fuck it. It's the worst that could happen. I think a couple more of these dudes would be pretty good. And let's just get some of these guys out. I'm gonna sell these middle guys. This pathing was great. Do definitely get your level up. Okay. These guys are all blinded, which is great. I'm gonna grab the extra HP. I could grab shield here, which would help them tank pretty well. You're going to sleep now, by the way? I'll start working on uh, Alias Garden Sprites. Oh, that's exciting, Quoprin. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. I haven't seen any fresh Alias Garden Sprites in a minute. Let's see here. Getting some snipers going would be good. Retinger redeeming something really good. What do you have in mind there, Retinger? These guys will split nicely. Hi. Is this something really good that you're here? Did you just come back, by the way? Is is that what my brain is telling me? I know you were on a, 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 a trip. Hopefully that went well. You're really good. That's wonderful to hear. Oh, man. My lads! Okay, I don't know what's in this mess, but I'm just gonna get punching and hope it works out. It does appear to be working out. There's... <laughs> it's such a mess in the smoke. Oh my god, I can't even tell what's happening. Okay. Good damage denial. Go, Rhino, go! Be the hero! Punch everybody! <laughs> it's... It's so good. Yes! Yes! You did! Two months without a PC is so weird, but it was a fun trip. That sounds like a, a wild time. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's one of those things where I, I feel like... Uh, it, it, it just helps the human brain a lot to, to take time off like that. It, intensive training is so good, but speed specialist is really important to me. I think we go for that. Uh, IVG, thank you for the follow. Welcome on into the Armada. I hope you're liking what you're seeing today. Oh god, these guys are getting even more range now. It's really bad. Gotta try one of these. And uh, a rhino over in this corner here is looking all sorts of fucked up. That looks like it's really, really unfair to deal with. I'm gonna keep leveling these wasps because I want to eventually go like elite spec plus range and outrange them. Do I go another do just to like run it down mid? You know, actually, storm callers right here would be pretty dumb because then I can just storm them and we'll we'll buy range this turn. Where's Slugcat? People voted 50-50 today, so I just chose the game that I wanted to play, and I wanted to play them both, but here we are playing this, because I'm just a freaking addict. As I've said before, I can't stop myself. It was- it was- you were the only ones who could have helped me, and you failed to, so... Really, it's- it's my fault. Still haven't played Last Note to Match, or anything interesting come out of it? Um, yeah, there, there's some pretty fun combinations. Believe it or not, though, Retinger, this is like day- I think this has been like a week without Noita at this point. Have I been sleeping? I have been sleeping. My mobile beacon will kill my storm caller. I'm thinking that my... my it, They will, unless I have the range on them, which I, I very intentionally kept on there. So I'm hoping that that'll, that'll pay off. Yeah, I, I have been going Noitless. Noita's just been... It's It's been busted for me. Shit's broken, so I'm, I'm just not playing it. 
It's one of those situations. Has it really been an entire week with no noite? I think it's been like three or four days, but with my the way my stream schedule is, that's essentially a week. But yeah, it's uh, it, it's been one of those things where I, I, I'm enjoying it, but I also do miss it a lot. Okay, well, it's it's time. You haven't even noticed. Well, there you go. Guess it doesn't make too big of a difference at the end of the D. We'll save our fire for next turn. And that pathing was good. Let's get that. And uh, my opponent looks like they would really enjoy a visit from a photon emission overlord. Not for me. Uh, I'm here for you regardless of the game. Yeah, for sure there, Anthony. Speaking of not playing games, did you, uh, did Crab Champions immediately die? What do you mean, did it immediately die? Did I play some and then stop playing some? Yeah, I, 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 I mean, it's a game that I'm interested in playing more of. I just haven't really gotten around to it, is all. Okay, I can sell these guys off, and I've already bought everything over there. I think we'll buy range again, because we're, we're pretty close to winning. And do I buy speed, too? Fuck it. Fuck it. We, we might just win this turn, because we've got so much garbage to drop on them. Yeah, I've been playing a little bit of grab here and there. Alright, they, they do be blowing up every single one of my uh, storms, which is a, a very logical play. Makes a lot of sense. And that rhino over there is just putting in work. This rhino over here is putting even more work in. I think this might just be a winning round. Oh my god. It's a massacre. It's a massacre. Alright. We're just kind of running them over with these rhinos. And this rhino is level 5, so there, there's not much they can do at this point. I think that's probably game. Yeah. And that was with, uh, like, stuff held back for next round. Not too shabby. It got super popular on Twitch for like two weeks and never saw anyone play it again. I, I played, uh, I, I played a, a, I played like a couple hundred hours of it there, Retinger. I had a really good time with it. But yeah, it did, uh, drop off a little bit. Noise was a little slow to update and then, you know, it, it's one of those things. People move on from games really quickly, which is very sad. It's very sad how quickly people move on from games. I wish- if Twitch had better discovery, I'd be playing shit that nobody was playing. All the time. Just so chat is aware, if you want to see a bunch of high-def movies, go to the Artifact streams on Twitch. What is that? Is- is the Artifact section just, like, streaming movies? Illegally? That's what it sounds like. I'm getting really warm. Michaela is sacrificing my health for her stream health. Uh, <laughs> she shut off our AC. Oh my god, I'm so warm. It's awful. I am this red. I'm actually this red. Oh my god. I'm. It's just hitting me really hard right now. This is awful. Um, let's see. Steel ball, crawler. What do I want to go into that? My own crawlers look pretty good here. I think that this is probably the best I can do. No AC. There is AC, it's just that Michaela turned it off. Okay. I guess we're just going to say we'll win on one side. I'm going to spread these guys out a little more. Just to, to hold the flanks. This might be like a little far back. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but uh, one of the things about Elite Specialist, if you're not going hyper aggro... Also, we're just going to get aired this turn, aren't we? Yep, we got aired. Lamau. What happens if you turn it back on? Uh, I mean, the, then it, it cools down eventually. But that, that's probably not going to happen for a good long while. 
It also ruins Michaela's uh, audio quality, which is the main reason why it's off. All right. So we're losing one round. That's for sure. Aggro strats are very, very rude. I'm not sure how I feel about them. Because, like, they're obviously strong. But I, I feel like they're also much more counterable as long as you play well. Like, into this, there's no reason for me not to just build some hackers, right? In theory. We did manage to beat them. But then wasps. <laughs> then, then wasps. Okay. So if they're going wasps, we should go mustangs. Your computer, uh... It's in your computer, hacking your units. Hacking your units. <laughs> Thank you, Endo. For the 15 friggin' months strengthening their mana. I appreciate that a ton. I hope you're doing well. Uh, do we just... This is a skip me? Yes, yeah, this, this is a skip me, for sure. Okay. So, we want these to, to stall. And we want some stangs to do a murder. And we want this to hit the balls, hopefully. Hit him in the balls. Wow. They're flanking with crawlers. That was almost a really good shot there. It might be good enough. We'll see. One of the balls connected to my tower. That's not good at all. I'm hoping that we win, but it's not looking very likely to me that we do. I really need to, um... Place some stuff on the left to just... Oh, wait, we do win. We. <laughs> Mustangs, baby! Love it. Love that for us. Beating these, uh, these early game aggressive plays are, are very important as far as I'm- or is very important as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Uh, strike spec is good. Orbital bombardment hits them pretty hard. I'm gonna take speed because if they take speed and I don't have speed, it's gonna be really bad. So we're gonna go for this. And, um... I think I just need more frontline. I could get replic crawlers. Hear me out. Sell me tanks. Buy me crawlers. Get the replicate. Replicate these crawlers. And move this even further back than I had it last time. Like way back here. There we go. Alright, th this is probably my, my best chance at winning this one. Oh no! They countered my cheese with more cheese. Ooh, what a meat shot that was. That was gorgeous. Yes! Yes! <laughs> my crawlers, they replicate. It's gorgeous. Alright, that was that was pretty good kind of making it happen. Um, acid is very interesting. I'll, I'll take it. Because it seems pretty annoying. It's it's going to slow them down a lot, which is the, the value, I would say. What's the kill shot into this? I mean, I, I guess I just take my levels. I might buy armor-piercing rounds because they, they blow through uh, balls pretty hard. I think we want to set up this. Let's just hope they don't acid us. Ooh, they got the the spread on their mustangs interesting and they've also got a sniper now okay that 
It's a good initial punch of damage. But not as good as it could be. They, they, they do be just standing in the acid. It is kind of what is happening. Okay. So we went on the right. But now we're walking through our own acid. Which is a little cringe. It's not super great. But hopefully it works out. Oh, this is the worst timing possible! <laughs> no! No! Oh my god. I think we still win, but it's it's going to be a lot closer than it could have been. Yeah. Alright, so we need a little bit more sauce on the left. I would flank his, uh, I would wasp his flanks, then keep moving them around and use uh, the beacon. That might be a bit of a thing. I'm going to go top supply specialist, because I, I think that we've kind of got this under control currently. These crawlers are pretty high level. Mechanical rage. So subterranean blitz would make it so their uh, their stangs can't really kill them very efficiently. But it's such an expensive upgrade. I'm just hoping that I've got them high enough level at this point where, where it doesn't matter. We'll buy the HP upgrade at this point. And uh, it looks like on the left, a rhino just kind of slaps them silly. Yeah, just, just, a, just throw down a rhino now and be pretty happy about that and what else could i use uh, oh yeah armor piercing rounds on the sledge will just blow through everything pretty much do i want to go for that or do i want to go for mech rage i know that steel balls counter sledges or whatever but do they really not really i think maybe i just get some more stangs my left flank is a little bit on the weak side. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna get some more tanks for now, and I'll probably go armor-piercing rounds on them. And I just want this so that way I can defend my, uh... My arc light, mostly. That's the main reason it exists. Okay. I've got some... Stangs to meet them. These are level 1 stangs. I want to see how this fight goes. Okay, so they do win that. And this fight appears to be going in their favor. Wow, they, they beat me on the left because they, they bought balls. Oh, they beat me on the left bad. I beat them on the right convincingly, but mostly probably because of the acid if we're being honest. Okay, so armor-piercing rounds on these tanks are going to be like a must-have to, to blow through the steel balls. Are we actually going to win this? I don't think so, right? Yeah, it was, a, it was a valiant effort, but it wasn't enough. Okay, so the, the, the rhino wasn't the play. Wait a second, why aren't I just buying hackers? Good question. What if I just lamoured some hackers onto the, the field? I could also range them. But I, I think we just buy like a hacker or two. You can have this. And this side is just not really defended enough. I think we buy some sledges on this side and another hacker. These guys move at uh, 11, and these move at 10. Keep in mind that we have the, the speed bonus, which is pretty nice. These guys are getting sold next for sure. This arc light is pretty important, maybe too important. I might, I, I think I'll buy some range on it just to keep it safer. Okay. My opponent bought some more snipers, and they bought range on their balls. Ledge vertically on the left to, to trade against balls. Maybe that's how I should have done it. I, I I wasn't really thinking too much about my, my sledge placement, to be honest. 
Okay, we are stealing balls at this point. It looks like it's not going to be enough to win on the right, or on the left here. On the right, it looks like it is a win. All right. They keep taking that left turret, or that left tower. And this poor guy gets in the, the wrong spot. Ooh, this is looking good. Their steel ball kind of just clutched for me pretty hard. I think we win these. Yep. Not bad. Not too shabby. Okay. Orbital bombardment doesn't hit them very hard at this point because their units are so spread. But incendiary is real juicy. I like that a lot. Just to melt through all that stuff. Happy to level this guy up. I think these guys are deserving of some range at this point. Even though I don't have a ton of arc lights, they have been putting in the work. And uh, I need either range or barrier for hacker. The chances that I get set on fire here are reasonably high as well. You want to sell these guys off and uh, just put a rhino back there. Just for the time being. Maybe I'm too eager to place rhinos. That might be a thing that I should consider. Also, Vulcan looks okay into what they have. Especially if I get the, the Scorch, I might be able to blow through their steel balls faster. Actually, I don't really need to blow through their steel balls, do I? 100, 750. I, I, I do have enough money. Bug it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Would more crawlers be an option? More crawlers would be an option, but they have um, spread stangs, which I just don't really want to contend with, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I've, I've maybe, maybe. Crawlers with burrow. Yeah, I think crawlers with burrow could end up being a, a long-term option. Okay, so they did burn me, which is pretty expected. We'll, we'll hope that my burn is more important than their burn, but I kind of doubt that to be true. It looks like my uh, hacker's tanky enough where I actually don't care too much. Oh, sneaky wasps. That's very ungood for me. Yeah, we're, we're losing this one hard. Frick! <laughs> I, got, I got sneaky wasps! <laughs> Damn it! This is why you should just always have Mustangs on your flank. Always. Now that I've got this Rhino back here, I'm literally just going to sell it next turn. It did not do the thing that I wanted it to. And he's already got a billion Steel Balls. This is just going to encourage him to buy more. Which is fine by me. Okay. Um, Love that. Orbital Javelin hits this squad pretty hard. I'm going to I'm going to take the rhino. I think that's the play. And uh these stangs are great. This will do fine there. Sell you off because you're literally getting countered this turn guaranteed. Okay. People were saying get burrow and more crawlers. I can see it and I'd like to I'd like to see it in action. I believe in the subterranean blitz crawlers. Let's grab uh, two pair. I, I really could use some over here. And I feel like my left side is winning fine. I'm gonna buy... I, I was told that Scorching Flames on Vulcan beats uh, these guys. I want to see if that happens. I, I hope that that's actually true, and I haven't just been lied to. The balls are too fed for that. Okay. Noted. So it was, it was too slow of a reaction, in other words. I could mobile beacon it back then. Let's try that. Only if the Vulcan has enough time. Gotcha. Let's hope that this is enough. 
That is an awful lot of brawlers. I don't know what happened to my hacker on my right side. <laughs> they they must have sniped it somehow with the marksman, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of. Dude, th this arc light's just like, you know, just living my life. Actual clutch. Okay. So yeah, the, they're definitely way too fit for that. It was close, though. So I'm not too concerned. It looks like I might have to put a little bit more respect on my, uh, my arc lights. They seem like they're doing some good work. Missile spec feels nice here. I feel like I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. Grab a little bit of that. I'm gonna shield up in the hopes that that, that keeps my hackers safe. Do I want to go more hackers? I think I do. I feel like just more hackers wins here. And uh, let's get some of these placed. I'm, I'm just going to go a little ham with the missiles here. I don't really see any reason not to. Okay. They've got a lot of stuff on their flanks now, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, range seems pretty important. I don't really want speed. And at this point, is there anything that I can buy an upgrade for? I could get armor enhancement, which I don't think is that good. I think uh, for the units that we have, there's not really much we can do. I could just buy a couple snipers, but I don't think that's going to do much for us. I could also buy some more arcs. I think I like that play. Just just get another arc right back in here. I'm, I'm really stacking up the missiles, hoping that that'll help out. I, f I feel like we're close to winning. Armor OP versus Stang Crawler. True, but then versus the balls, I just kind of lose, which is the main thing that I'm concerned with. Hopefully these hacks do the hacks. The hackers are, are hacking real goodly. It looks like the extra hackers are, are going to do the thing. This is looking very good. The, the main problem I have now is there, there's snipers existing. Okay. Is this just a win? 1,800? I, I don't know. I don't think so. We'll see. Nah. Not quite. Close, though. It was pretty good. Do any of these do anything crazy for me? The barrier's cute. I'll take it. It's a nice little upgrade. I think the full heal on Hacker is going to go crazy here. And uh, I don't think we need to do much other than just, like, upgrade our units. You're weak against overla uh, uh, Overlord? I am very weak uh, into air, that's true. We've, we've just got some stangs. Let, let's grab some cautionary snipers with that in mind. I think that's the, the play here. Because you're right, overlords would be the... Would be pain to deal with. Just a couple of snipers positioned around. And let's make sure that we're buying that range again. Missile the orange sniper. He will get all his balls. Wait, wh which one, Blaz? This one? I don't think I can missile him, can I? Like, that. this missile won't hit him. I don't- I don't see the- the missile you're talking about there, Blaz. But I will place some missiles down, because they have been doing some good work for me. You- you think this missile will land? I don't think it will. But I'll- I'll try it. They did get the overlords. That was a good call. 
We'll see if these two snipers are enough. One can hope. Yeah, no, I, I figured it wouldn't. It just wasn't really an angle for it. All right. Um, am I going to win this turn? Probably not. Am I going to lose this turn? Also, probably not. I, I, I like, I, I think that. Well, actually, maybe we are, we will win. It looks like the hackers are just too degen. Dude, hackers are dumb. <laughs> Look at how dumb hackers are. I'm sorry, man. GG. I guess he did, like, frontline steel ball the shit out of me. Maybe I shouldn't say sorry. It was, uh, it was just a mandatory reaction. I try not to think too hard about, like, oh man, is this a rude play? Is this mean? Like, it's, it's a video game, dude. The, it's, you're playing rock, paper, scissors. It's not mean to pick scissors against paper. You just do it, right? I, that's that's one of the things that I really need to get through my head in this game if I want to be good. Yeah, I did not design the game. That's exactly it. Alright. Well, there you go. GG. That was a fun one. Great call on the, the last turn snipers, by the way. That That made things a lot easier for me. I really gotta start thinking about that sort of thing ahead of time. Especially air. There have been games where I'm like, mm, I have to deal with all these ground forces, and then, then they're like, Overlord. And I'm like, shit! <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole thing. Oh, I'm so dang warm. I need some more water. I'll be right back, chat. Give me a moment. Let me do a quick BRB. Also, shoutouts to everybody subscribing right now, bringing us almost up to 200 subscribers. That's actually crazy. I, I was not expecting that. HSP Luck, thank you for the follow. Welcome on into the Armada. Look at that! We're at 49.69. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. All right, give me a second. Righty, I'm back. Would have been tra tragic to win the ground fight just to be stuck against two overlords and no way of hitting them for sure in the ghoul. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Alrighty. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm going to go over some of my unit setups. I'm interested to see what people think. So, uh, note that like I've, I've watched a decent amount of pro play, but uh, or like max level play. But I haven't really copied their sets because I feel like this is a very playstyle heavy game where there's a lot of uh, expression that can go into it. Um, one thing I want to do with my melting point is bring EMP barrage back, crawler summoning, just wait, wasn't it? 
it just wasn't it for me. So my for my fortress, I gave up range enhancement uh, for uh, rocket punch because rocket punch is hilarious. This shit just clears entire armies. It feels really, really strong for 250. I like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I struggle with um with fortress because I I feel like he's got so many like define game defining abilities like barrier anti barrage and bang summoning and rocket punch literally all four of those are like things that you're not gonna find on any other unit and uh, well I guess barrier you can find but like it's it's just crazy do you use fang summoning I do um it's it's really strong in doubles but uh, it's also occasionally really helpful in singles as well but i do recognize that like elite marksman would probably be degenerate as fuck uh launcher overload is really good against rhino plays i feel like fortress beats rhino anyway that that's just my personal take and if they're gonna Rhino, like, normally when I'm using Rhino into Fortress, all I'm doing is I'm just booming the Rhino into the Fortress. Because they, they tend to have similar health. Um, like, they, I'm, I'm not expecting to win the fist fight with a, with a Rhino. And the, the, the launcher overload load reduces my range, so, like, they're gonna be on top of me by the time we start shooting. So, yeah, I, I think that uh, th this set makes a lot of sense to me. I like it. Marksman, I was running a uh, shooting squad for quite a while in exchange for elite marksman, and that just wasn't it. Honestly, ever, ever since I swapped to elite marksman, I have not been looking back. It's so good. Uh, quick reload, I feel like it, it contests double shot. They're very similar in their role, um, but I think quick reload is just better. The lower damage is really bad against uh, armored up enemies, but... I find that this is like an occasional tech, while uh, like long range EMP and elite marksmen are like a very regular sort of thing. But I also think double shot is an occasional tech in that same way, so that's why I go with that. Fort usually wins a fist fight uh, with a rhino by a long shot. Yeah, for sure. You shouldn't, but you, you shouldn't like need to have the the extra attack speed to win. Um, this Vulcan has been a unit that I've really struggled with teching. Is Quick Reload good versus Phoenix? Yeah, it is, as long as you've got the levels. But uh, assuming you're doing Sniper into Phoenix, you're you're going to end up in, like, that extended brawl anyway. But the the idea is that you're, um... Like, Double Shot would allow you to, like, just one-tap them, right? But uh, Quick Reload is doubled attack speed for, um like half damage, but half damage onto a phoenix is is still like the full shield anyway. So it's it's the same thing essentially, assuming you've got greater range, which by default snipers should have more range than their phoenix unless you get them out of control. So it's it's very similar. Uh but I'm I'm sure double shot does have a slight edge in that matchup. But the the main thing for quick shot is that it, it beats uh, like spam. Like, you, you can actually beat wasps with it, which is really goofy. There's a few units in the game that, uh, how you tech them depends on what role you want them to play in your strategies. Multiple valid setups. Yeah, exactly, Shway. That's very much a thing. Anyway, I think Ignite's crazy. Like, it, it just helps you beat units that Vulcan wouldn't normally beat. Long Range is broken. Uh, Incendiary Bomb is broken. Scorching Flames, I haven't played with enough. I don't know enough about it. I just re teched it. Uh, I've been using Best Partner for quite a while, and I just would never ever tech it. Armor Enhancement I used for a bit, but then I realized why would I need Armor Enhancement on a unit that already beats the stuff that Armor Enhancement's good against, so I stopped teching it. Um, I still, there's a part of me that feels like this might be good, but really your Vulcan's getting killed by snipers, not by Mustangs. Um, Sticky Oil I've never used, and I probably should, because it would probably go really well with Incendiary Bomb, but... Um, I don't know, I feel like they play a very similar role, so I, I haven't messed with it. Melting point, energy absorption's crazy. Range is mandatory So that for the melting point mirror. Energy diffraction, I've been... I, I took off for a long time, but I put it back on realizing that um, it just really helps when you can't quite deal with the chaff just right. 
Like, your melting point is still going to kill a, a giant unit as long as it touches with energy diffraction. It, it doesn't matter that it's 17% the original damage because of the way it ramps. So, I, I do run that. EMP Barrage, we're, we're just putting back on. I was using Crawler Summoning before, but I hate Crawler Summoning. This is bad and way too expensive. And I've never even bothered getting Armor Enhancement. Uh, you two, uh, hate, uh, wait, you hate too much crawler five card, uh, to remove armor on Vulcan. Oh, that's interesting. That's fair. What is the worst unit? I don't think that there's a necessarily a worse unit, but there's probably like a most situational unit. And, um, the most situational unit is probably melting point because its job gets done by, uh, marksman, which is a, this is a, a, 600 so it's 200 to unlock and 400 to like put on the field this costs zero to unlock and 100 to put on the field and they can do the exact same thing so like which one do you think people are going to pick the answer the answer is is going to be marksman most of the time the only time i think melting point is good is in like into giant spec or against giants or, or as giant spec those are those are like the one time where melting point really comes into play <clears throat> The thing that makes MPs crawlers better than normal ones is their staggered chaff, which is hard to come by in this game. That's true, Shway, but um, I I tend to tech acid on my crawlers, so I feel like just leaking acid as a giant is the death sentence a lot of the time. And I could very I, like I have had games where I've had acid crawlers and melting points in the same game when they're giant spamming and I need multiple ways to deal with it. So, yeah, that, that's why I, I don't run uh, the, the crawler tech on Melting Point. It just, it, it feels like anti-synergy a lot of the time. And there's many times where I'm like, man, if I had EMP Barrage here, I would have won. So, that, that's why I took that back. And uh, my Rhino, I've, I've run quite a few different sets on Rhino. And by quite a few different sets, I mean that I, I used to run Field Maintenance instead of Mechanical Rage for a really long time. Because I'm like, wow. Field maintenance costs, uh, it's, it's like, a it's 100 to unlock. Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking of the wrong. I was running wreckage recycling over field maintenance. I was running wreckage recycling because it costs 100. And it just makes it so it, it, you just completely dominate tanks. Um, but mechanical rage does the exact same thing, but it, it's got tempo in mind. Like, you, you deal with the battlefield faster, so I, I like it more. And uh, I know power armor is, like, really juicy, but... The way I look at it, my, my Rhino set always consists of uh, either, like, Whirlwind, Photon, Mech, or, or like, Final Blitz, Photon. There's I, I will never give up Photon coding, because 50% damage reduction is insane. Immunity to EMP uh, removal is insane. And, and like, th those are just both way too good. But, uh, yeah, like, EM uh, Photon, Final Blitz is just such a strong combo. And Mechanical Rage, like double speed, double attack speed, both very good. Whirlwind is just nice as well. Boats can give you photon coating. I'm aware that I could theoretically go boat, but I don't like to have to force that combination every time. But you're right, I could. I, I just feel like it's better to have both as an option. Uh, with Rhino, if you focus on HP, your regen perk will become broken. I'm I'm aware that you could probably go for like armor enhancement, power armor, field maintenance, and then like mechanical rage or whirlwind or something like that, and that would be a completely different rhino set. But my rhinos are mostly meant for, uh, it, it it's it's mostly meant for. I mean, this thing is meant for all sorts of things. I can wall break with the final blitz. I can backline uh with with the um mechanical rage. I can whirlwind the front line uh, if I need to, and photon coding is, is just, like, way too good for me. Like, I, I don't know. This, this seems good. Get his HP as high as possible and regen is insane. That sounds like a really funny build, but th this is just, like, the kind of rhino that I play. Expensive, but uh, for rhino-centric uh, uh, strats, it's kind of mandatory, but depends on what you like to play. I definitely should try the, the regen rhino. At some point, that does sound funny. Just have, like, an ultra tank rhino that's impossible to kill. It's cool to see, like, the strategies. Hopefully people are okay with me taking a little break from playing and just kind of, like, going over my units. Because I, I feel like this is kind of an interesting thing. And I imagine there's a lot of people who, uh, you know, they're going to have opinions on this. Which is cool. 
A wasp is like probably the hardest attack unit in the entire game. Wasp has so many good freaking options. It's it's so dumb. It's so so dumb. So like EMP on wasp is is pro like disgusting. I was running air spec on wasps up until the other day, which I swapped out for uh, elite marksman. Uh, I used to run jump drive instead of uh, range enhancement because jump drive just allows for absolute degeneracy. But I've been really liking carry wasps a lot more lately, so I've, I've been running with uh, this set, which is energy shield, range enhancement, ground spec, elite marksman. Uh, yeah, it does feel like pretty much anything is good on wasps. Energy shield seems like an auto take. Yeah, I think you can't take off auto shield or, or the the energy shield. Energy shield feels mandatory. Everything else feels like you could probably play with it. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd ever go AP uh, APB armor piercing bullets. I'd probably go ignite instead. Uh, elite ground spec, uh, 200% attack item seems nice. Yeah, you can, it's stupid. <laughs> you can get some really meaty wasps out there. They, they get very, very scary. Yeah, the wa wasps are cool. I, I, I still miss this EMP all the time. But, uh, at the, at the end of the day, I've got my EMP on my marksmen and my storms and... Uh, I feel like they cover everything, right? Like, these, these cover the up, these cover the ground. And uh, that's that's all you really need at the end of the day. And I'm I mean like Marksman Storm are, are just some of the best units in the game, so you really can't go wrong even just sprinkling in a couple of them. Are there any hard wasp counters beyond anti air arc lights? Um anti air long range uh anti air long range Mustangs will beat them, but you need to make sure that you get to them first. Like, if, if you don't kill the wasps before they start leveling, the wasps will outscale the mustangs. Also, um, anti-air barrage on Fortress beats them pretty well, too. Your favorite uh, enhancement when it fits is lifelink. Lifelink is funny as hell. I was thinking about putting that back on my tanks, actually. I didn't know tanks could get EMP. Would that be useful for anything? I was thinking about dropping field maintenance for damage sharing for tank spam again. You use EMP tank? How's that work for you, Vila? I find I don't take range on my tanks very often. I, I take rage and armor piercing bullets. I don't, I don't really end up taking most of my other upgrades. It might be nice to just tinker with some other stuff. Maybe we get rid of our range. What units are tanks strong against? They're not. Is the well Mustangs. They're they're good against Mustangs, and that's about it. Oh, they're good against Storms as well. They they beat Storms. Storms and Stangs. It's good for balls uh with crawlers. Wait, what what is? Hmm. Armor enhancement's kind of cute. The the perk. Like, damage sharing is? Yeah, uh, it's good in a game where I don't have storm collars. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense, Vila. Okay. Maybe we'll try that. H having more EMP is always a good thing. I feel like it's good to keep an option. Uh, keep some money and not uh, get wrecked. Oh, you, you think that... Uh, Wait, which which one which one is wreck in this situation? Tanks are kind of like fangs with enough upgrades and uh, number; they are amazing. Otherwise, they're just a meat shield. They they feel like like medium sized unit chaff. That's how I've always played them. Maybe I should try spamming them out someday. I I feel like they're in an okay spot defensively, but offensively, I I haven't really seen them shine yet. But maybe that's just because people are too afraid to buy them. Best ledge uh, games I've had uh, with only one or two units. Yeah, normally, most of my best ledge games are when it's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna like run a couple of them. Or like four in the front line and then a billion snipers behind them. That shit's really dumb. In the early part of the game, uh, you don't lose too hard. Uh, put down a couple of tank. Uh, you can save money for next rounds. Interesting. 
I'm wondering if I want to go EMP or damage sharing. So mass tank e damage sharing is just so much HP. I want to try that. We're gonna, we're gonna give that a shot. Rage sledges are insane. Rage sledges feel great for it, dude. I agree. I really like rage sledges as well. So my staying set, I'm running high explosive ammo. I've been thinking about taking armor piercing bullets instead. Anyone got any thoughts on that? Like, I, I think missile interceptor, range enhancement, and air spec are all, like, way too good to pass up. Especially with my kit, I think air spec is extremely important. Because I, I don't really have that many wasp counters. I used to have air spec on my wasps to counter enemy wasps, but I, I don't have that anymore. Uh, you go armor piercing over, uh, over the high explosive. Yeah, I feel like in theory, this should do this thing's job just better, right? And unless you're dealing with, like, level one crawlers, I feel like this is just better. And it's, it's not like Mustangs struggle against crawlers anyway. I feel like this allows you to actually get, like, a carry Stang out, which is cool. I'll give that a try. Range plus EMP sledges are good. That actually sounds sick as hell, Dutchy. Specifically that combo. What would I give up for that? Field maintenance and and damage sharing? High explosive uh, can stop fang spam. I do lose to fang spam all the time. Like, literally, that is the last setup that I'm, I'm losing to is like bang fortress on my front line damage sharing is countered way too easily balls are melting point and they're all screwed well the idea is that you you only buy it in very specific situations I'm not gonna lie uh he stangs are probably the best answer to fangs says pantsu man okay well I'll, I'll put it back then i'll put it back and i'll try that out you know, let's let's go with that, and we'll go for the high explosive instead. I'll I'll give it a try. And for my ball set, I'm running uh, energy absorption, range enhancement, armor enhancement, and heavy target. I feel like heavy target's just kind of mandatory sometimes. Like it's it's just a every once in a while, it's just going to do stupid amounts of work, right? Um. Range and energy absorption are both no-brainers. Damage sharing seems kind of not very good. Although I've heard good things. I, ju I just hate it. And I, I think a lot of people hate it. I feel like you, you buy this once and then you never buy it again. That's how it feels. Mechanical Division got nerfed. It's still nice though. But I'm not really into it. It's, it's just really expensive for what it does. You hate Link? Yeah. I know lots of people are going to hate Link. Not Vulcan. Vulcan's okay into Fangs. I mean, no, it's, Vulcan is very good into Fangs, but I, I feel like it can... It, it has to, like, turn. Its turn speed is its biggest weakness because people mass flank with Fangs, right? Yeah, it'll, it'll get overwhelmed a lot of the time. I agree. So I'm running the default set on Fangs. I think Ignite just makes more sense for taking down large units. Uh, over armor piercing range is just too good portable shield too good mechanical rage too good I kind of I could see range going away for armor piercing because range makes them stand still more into um, the storms which is kind of bad I don't know it's a thing one case I've seen with linked balls being a good thing is they also have crawler mech division they dump all the crawlers at once that's pretty cool Matt um, also, welcome on in. Good to see you. And I think, uh, I, I saw you in an Endozo stream as well, right? Welcome on in. Um, start with sledges if no balls, then spam wasps. Okay, get the kill and share. Huh. There's, there's definitely, there's so many freaking cool options. Isn't there an arena to test build units in there? Yeah, you, you could do that. You, there's, there's just like a little test mode. But yeah, my crawler, I'm running the default set. I was running Impact Drill earlier over um, Mechanical Rage before I understood how ridiculous Mechanical Rage was. You should test the full tank build and test. Uh, wh which one? For, for linked balls or wh which full tank build? 
Here, let's let's jump into it. I, I don't do too much testing ground stuff. I, I like acidic a lot. It I I've countered many units with it. Force them to counter the wasps with no uh, melting point or balls. Finish with balls. Finish it with the with, with the share. You're talking about the shared damage, right? Range, EMP, armor, pierce, mech rage. Here, let's let's see. Do we did we get our tanks set up like that? I think we did. Mech rage, range enhancement, EMP, armor piercing. Okay, yeah, that one. You've never seen subterranean blitz have high impact. Has anyone else had good success with it? I find subterranean blitz is really really helpful for stalling specifically. Acidic is annoying to come up against. I just use uh, put EMP on my sledges in case uh, it ever occurs again. Oh, that's brilliant. I actually like that a lot. Oh my goodness, we got another raid today. Silica Desiccant, welcome on in. Hello, everybody. Do not eat. Wait, what, what are we not eating? Silica, what were you playing today? Do not eat what? Do not eat what? Welcome on in, everybody. Everyone on my end, if you don't know Silica, she's a fantastic variety streamer. Just just an ultimate gamer and very cool person. I very much enjoy their stream. Uh, let me let me give uh, her a proper shout out. Silica. Yes. It can't. There we go. Boom. Uh, well, welcome on in, everybody. We, we got Dave, Anthony, Silica, and Troy Lee. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hello. We're we're about to test some stuff. Let's let's go into the solo testing ground. I'm not super savvy with this, so we're we're going to have to uh, I haven't done a ton of testing stuff. So what 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 should we test these tanks into? Give me give me like a a reasonable test. Should we put them what what should we put them up against? Fangs, spam everything. Fangs. People are saying fangs. You want me to try tanks into fangs? Is that right? Give give money. Some sort of giant bomb. We could do that. Okay. One, two, three. What? Oh, right. I need more units. Forts. Try them into forts. That sounds scary as heck. Okay. Are we are we just buying all the upgrades? This this doesn't seem this isn't a realistic test anymore. I need these to like level up. Is there a way I can level up these up? I know nothing about this game, but I need to learn so I can blow up my friends. This is very much a blow up your friends kind of game, Silica. This is imagine chess meets Super Auto Pets. That's kind of what this game is, uh, but it's with mechs. It's it's fun. It's a good time. Buy the level up card. There's a level up card somewhere. The answer is boats. Yeah, chess meets super auto pets with more explosions and less RNG. Although I guess there's no RNG in chess, so you know. Uh, give give money, please. There we go. Okay. And we'll we'll just make this equal. Put them up against marksmen and span, uh, span out and level them. Okay, we we can try that. I need I need to learn how to use this program. Re clear all devices. Squad, skills, equipment. Wait, so can I just like grab? Oh, I can do it like this. Okay, that's cool. How many fangs do you think this can beat? We'll we'll give we'll, we'll we'll let's see here. So this is 200 400 600 1 2 3 4 5 6. So th this is this is the same amount. And you you want them leveled? How do you how do you level them? Adjust unit tech skills Sorry, we, we gotta we gotta learn this real quick. 
Got to go chef up some dinner. All right, have a good no silica. Thank you for bringing all your folks over this way. Appreciate that very much. Uh, you can click... Uh, you can left-click a unit on the left side of the screen. There's an upgrade button. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Okay, let's let's try, like, level three of these, I guess. Something like that. I think that, that one's level four. So, like, th this is well within the real realm of reality for something that you might end up facing. Is just, like, a, a metric shitload of fangs. And, uh, seeing as how I gave these tanks all the upgrades, I'll give these guys all the upgrades, too. There's no way. There's no way the tanks win, right? Like, not a goddamn chance. I don't think the tanks can win this. Even when I, like, put them to the same level. So we'll, we'll do some level threes. And that, that costs the same amount. And they have one level four. Not versus Ignite, yeah. Well, I mean, t they, they'll, it'll turn off Ignite, won't it? We'll see. I, I guess I can put them pretty far back. Something along that line. Is it just me or stream super buggy right now with uh, blacking out any mouse over drop down options? I can't exit Steam without System Manager. Oh, that's really weird, Retinger. I mean, Steam has been updated, right? Updated. Yeah, let's uh, let's sell these little shits down here. Delete unit. There we go. Okay, let's let's see how this looks. Should test out sniper tanks at ma ma max range. We'll have to try that. Let, let's see. I, I feel like the, the tanks lose these. Oh yeah, it's it's not even close. So the, these tanks do not beat fangs, that's for sure. I did say stream. If if you say steam or stream, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them confused no matter what. Tanks bad confirmed. I mean, tanks just don't win this matchup. That's that's fine. That ha it it be like that sometimes, you know. Here, so we'll we'll clear these guys. Clear all on this side. There we go, and we'll try. So th this is 200, 400, 600. So we'll we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six. Tanks are the anchor. A single unit of uh, storm collars will ruin the fangs. That's true. Just having those guys as, like, a, a front line is good enough. Okay, so we will... Make it even. Are those level 1 tanks? These are level 3 tanks. And we're, we're gonna upgrade these guys to level 3 as well. Oops. Downgrade that one. one two, three. One, two, three. I feel like the marksmen are gonna win, to be honest. I'm I'm pretty sure the marksmen win these. The the problem with all of these examples though is that like th there would be chaff, right? There would be chaff in this sort of scenario. And also th there's no way the sniper is getting all of these upgrades anyway. Got to build a proper army to test. Yeah, so I mean, I feel like we should just bring it in a game to be honest. You know, let's let's just send it really quick. I th I think let, let's just force some tanks. Next time we play. Best test in PvP. I agree. I, th I think we just send it. Yeah, these tanks are getting... Oh my god! <laughs> if, they, if they manage to touch, it's nasty. Wait. Oh! Do the tanks win? Maybe the tanks do beat snipers now. Long range tanks actually OP. Confirmed. Okay. Well, there you go. Long range tanks OP. They beat snipers. <laughs> They're just, just completely irrelevant, I'm sure. Alright. Looks nasty. It was pretty good. Hang on, I, got, I gotta quickly check. I didn't put double shot on, right? Okay, yeah. Alright, let's end it. Let's go. Here we go. Video game being played.
My opponent's on a two-game win streak. I am on a two-game win streak. Anybody else care about their, their win streaks at all? I think about it sometimes. It means if you're gonna ever run snipers, just run tanks instead. Exactly. I think you were 1,200 last time I watched. Er, I was here, nice climb. Yeah, Shway, we're, uh, I, I've been grinding hard. I am trying to get good. I, I, I definitely... My, my objective is to become top, like, 10 sort of thing. I, 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 th I genuinely believe that I can become very good at this game. Uh, we're in supply spec. It's a rare uh, game where losing isn't tilting. I, it, I feel like in this game you really just gotta realize that if you lost, it's because you're bad. <laughs> it's, it's one of those. Okay. Um, You get tilted sometimes. This is gonna be... He's gonna just bum rush me, isn't he? There's no way this isn't just a, a bum rush situation. I think we buy crawlers here. And I think we put our tanks long ways. Another streamer uh, just seems to tweak out. Wait, what, Sorosa? That's that's horrifying. That's really unfortunate. Um, let's see here. One of these. Okay. I'm alright with my positioning here. Yeah, that's that's rough. Meth is no joke. Um against my opponent, I'm I'm pretty afraid. I heard hugely about your lost streak uh, earlier this week. Seemed to have turned it around the past couple of days, probably better than uh me and uh, I've been playing since it was free to play. I, I, I have 150 hours in this game, and I've also been, like, hard grinding to get good. My sole objective has been become really, really good at this game. I, I've basically made this game my job. My snipers are in uh, inferior positions, so they're really not getting to do the things I need them to. There are so many things that need to be sniped that are not being sniped. I'm doing it. I'm trying, but I've still got a lot to learn. It's a good split on crawlers. Yeah, having your crawlers behind towers helps really well with getting good splits. I find that that's a super valuable strategy. Yeah, I, th I think it's just one of those things where you really got to put your mind to it. You have 500 hours. I mean, 500 hours split across a, an extended period of time versus like a, a super concentrated month of gaming is a little different, right? You found they split well behind tanks, too? That's good to know. I didn't know they'd split behind tanks. You watched the game for two minutes on day nine and bought it immediately. <laughs> Based bay nine, uh, uh, getting, uh, day nine, getting people into good video games. I always love it when, like, a, a big streamer is just like, Oh yeah, here's a video game, and then everybody's like, I'm gonna play the shit out of that. It's my favorite. One day I want to be that guy where I can just, like, show off, like, a random cool game. And people are all into it. Uh, level 3 fangs are terrifying. Yeah, Endozoa is cracked. They are extremely good at this game. Um, these are both insane. Heavy armor spec. I think I'll buy this because it'll get me tech faster. And early tech is good. I personally invited you to come play. That's awesome. You like Day9? Day9 seems really cool. I've, I've really enjoyed uh, their StarCraft gameplay over the years. I, I did it wrong. Bang counter wasp? No, they do. But we're going to be buy selling the wasps. The whole point of this is that we're, these wasps are... Not, they only exist to be sold. They're not going to do anything other than that. Um, we're going to place this in the center so my snipers can start sniping stuff better, I think. Alright. Where did my opponent go? They went for the level 3 fangs. How you doing there, base? Welcome on in. 
Welcome, welcome. How long have you been playing in the top 1k? I, I got to top 1k last night. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of there now sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, there, there's still a lot to learn. That's for certain. What's my MMR? It's, it's 1500 currently. Maybe slightly lower, depend. I I find I lose a ton on stream and then I win a ton off stream. Uh, probably because I'm just not as focused on stream. Want to fight you? <laughs> are you are you at a similar level there, Dutchie? I think I'm selling out. I'm developing a mobile game, dude. The mobile game isn't selling out. Don't don't say it like that. If if you think a mobile if if you can make some cash on a mobile game, you should fucking do it. Yeah, make the make that that money exactly. I agree. Cashing out more like, hey, dude. If they're going fangs, we're we're gonna grab this and we're gonna get a Vulcan. Let's um start our buy sell. So every time we buy one of these and sell one of these, we gain one hundred gold, which is fucking stupid. Kinda love that for us. We're just gonna put the Vulcan dead center right here. Mobile game, thumbs up. Idle game. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's throw this puppy right here, dead center. There's a. Uh, I'm gonna put him a little bit back because um, it'll hopefully defend from the smoke. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get armor piercing rounds on our sh our, our stuff there. Uh, no, na, 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 thank you. I, that, there's probably a little bit more in there, but that, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I'm developing a PC game. Kind of lost interest, though. It's, it's so easy to start something and fail to complete something. Just know that it's okay to come back to it, you know? Got sick of idle games that required you put, to put in 1,000 hours, so you're going to make an actual idle game that uh, rewards you for being idle. I like the idea of an idle game. Is it what if you make an idle game where the more you play, the the worse it is for you? Like it's it's intentionally like, oh, you're playing our game, win by not playing, yeah. It it what what if it just like actively insults the player for playing or something? That sounds really funny. No, it it could be like one of those satire games where where it's it's just <laughs> it's like, go outside, idiot. What are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm in danger. I think I'm losing this. Yeah, things are about to go horribly wrong for me, I think. The more you play, the worse it is. Oh, you mean a normal idle game? Free, uh, preemptive, uh, mel melting point? Yeah, he, he was ready. He was prepared. What's your starting spec? Heavy armor. My opponent is supply spec. Touch grass simulator. Yeah, exactly. Stanley Parable narrator. It it like it fits. You could totally make it a thing. Are you okay with backseating? Uh, do you want any and new here? Uh, I'm okay with people throwing suggestions at me. Uh, I think once I get at like the tippy top of the ladder, I I don't think I'll accept that sort of thing anymore. But I'm still trying to get better, so uh, advice is welcome. Nano's crazy here. Uh, top supply spec this early on feels good. Because we're already ahead. And I feel like this isn't going to help. 2,500 MMR and I still get vaccinated. <sighs> yeah, let's, let's do one of these. We need these guys leveled up for sure. Plenty to learn. There, there is literally permanently stuff to learn. I, I, the only reason I would want vaccinating less as like a higher level player is because it it would feel like um you know the the games m might have like slightly higher stakes right um what do I want to go into MP I feel like I just run down his his side here I could also get my tanks going better more more snipers feels good. More snipers feels good, but it, storms feel good as well. Storms beat their, um, their bubble, which is important. 
And I think I'm going to get some more crawlers just to filter in here eventually. So let's get this going like this and we'll get a bit of a conga line going. What are the rules for heckling? Um, uh, they, they just don't make me cry. <laughs> just, just, there, there you go. That's your, that's your limit. Uh, okay. We're, we're going to get some extra HP. I want to see how these spread. Are these going to spread? Oh, that was, that was some jank spread right there. Okay, so the melting point did get to level two. Now we got to find out where the line is. Uh-oh. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, so these, these extra crawlers were a great call. These are, these are putting some fantastic work in for me. I'm a little bit afraid of their delayed back line here. Actually, this looks good. This is kind of working. Hmm. Look at that freaking square attached to that beam. That looks so goofy. Uh, Moomba, thank you for the follow. Hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. We're getting some damage going. Look at that. The snipers were a good call. I mean, when are snipers ever a bad call? Sniper Sledge feels like one of the, the easiest strategies to execute. Do I do I just keep investing in, in more of them, maybe? Ion Blast is funny, but not really that necessary, I feel. And improved firepower control system could be kind of juicy on, like, a sniper. Backline Rhino doesn't really... <sighs> It, this looks like a pretty susceptible location for backline rhino. I feel he will try to m melting point your Vulcan. I agree. When he does, I'll mobile beacon it. I think we can go for just a, a good item. And I'm going to try. Uh, have these. I'll upgrade you. And extra damage is kind of tempting here. How you doing, 420 Blaze? Welcome on in. I've been well. I've been really enjoying my uh, my time in the in the variety lands as as I have been uh, sitting as of late. It's been a really good time, and I'm I'm hoping everybody has been enjoying it because I I sure have. Uh, some more snipers would be good, but I think we get mechanical rage here. And we get a couple of, uh, or ju just, just a leveled up tank. Seems good. And do one of these as well. I've noticed a, a lot of Mechabellum lately. Uh, nice to see some branching out. Yeah, I, f I figure it's, it's about time. I just need to set something on fire and we'll be okay. There we go. So we're, we're definitely losing our Vulcan this turn. But he's going really hard on these melting points. So I, I don't know how much I have to concern myself. I, I don't feel too afraid yet. We're definitely going to need some range on these snipers, that's for certain. And we're going to need some more of them. No, my snipers! Oh, frick. <laughs> Get up! Get it, tank! Yes! Hero tank. If we can kill even one of these uh, melting points, that's going to be really good for us. Please. Come on. Do it. Be the hero! Okay, we did get one. I'm 150 plus hours in two weeks, uh, or is there a time... Uh, what's the time span we're talking here? I started on the 27th, and it's the 16th now, so we're, we're closing in on, like, a, a week. Okay, we're, we're losing this, but, you know, it, it's okay. It's fine. That's not healthy. You know what? Sometimes you have to sacrifice health to get good. <laughs> and that's, that's what I keep telling myself. Okay, they have range enhancement here, so I think we get our, our EMP. Do we get our EMP or do we just get range? 
Elite Crawlers would have been uh, good. Maybe, but they already have Arc Lights in play. Hmm. Okay, we're going to buy sell. And I'm going to use this opportunity to get range. And do I want fire? I, th I think I want fire. Yeah, I want fire. Of course I want fire. Fire's too good. And we're, we're going to mobile beacon this guy backwards. Like that. Watching the game can be as beneficial as playing. That's very true, Edbop. Whenever I run up against a wall in this game, because I've, I've been playing too much, that's what I do, is I go and watch some games. Because uh, you're absolutely right. Sometimes you're going to learn a lot more by uh, watching than by doing. These storms are going to be more beneficial for them than me, because uh, I've only got the one giant and they have three. But um, hopefully this works out. The fire's looking pretty good. The range that they have is so dastardly. Oh, man. I think we're losing this round. <laughs> Just because my, my melt... Oh, wow. Does this guy have... They, they have healing now. Noted. Okay, yeah, we are, we are losing this round for sure. Okay, acid crawlers are looking really good here. I think that's the play. Am I going to set my own acid crawlers on fire if I do that? Or should I just go more snipers and EMP? I'm definitely going giant hunter here. I, I think we go for the EMP. Yeah, EMP turns off healing. Uh, we're going to take the EMP, get rid of their range. Yeah, range up EMP. Th this guy didn't do anything this time. This Vulcan might not end up being a thing. More snipers, range upgrade in the tower. Range upgrade in the tower does sound like a good idea. And I, I love the idea of more snipers. I, I feel like I'm I'm very much lacking snipers right now. Something along this line should be pretty good. Do we upgrade our Kralalalers? I don't think we do. I haven't buy sold this wave yet. We should do that. Or should we just buy another set of storms? Crawlers in front of the Vulk? I, I can just make the Vulcan go backwards, though. I feel like the crawlers in front of the Vulcan don't really pay for themselves the way one would hope they might. Uh, let's go ahead. Mass recruitment. I, I can just have wasps for a round. And that's okay. And let, let's buy that rain. Oh, no! I was too slow! <laughs> Shit. Alright, well that's unfortunate. It, I don't think the range would matter too much here anyway, but that is unfortunate. Okay. I feel like this Vulcan is dead weight at this point. I might just want to sell it off and go more into the storms. Uh, are these... Yeah, these are anti-missile, which is pretty expected. It makes a lot of sense. Use crawlers to lure his army. Are we... We're, we're losing our tower here. Our Vulcan's just one of the last things alive at this point. Okay. No! Is the answer our own melting points? <laughs> the Vulcan did brave Sir Robin the fuck out of that round. Um. Ion Blast hits a little different this time. But 30% attack bonus is pretty... Ah, it's not enough. We, we need to win. Let's let's go for this. 
go long range boats. I don't have long range on my boats. I would love to, but I, I run deck cannon instead. Which is where I'm going wrong. Melting points, I, I disagree. I think melting points are not that good. I think I only need one melting point. And we're just going to have a uh, melting point with range. It's all about the late crawlers. Here, we'll, we'll add some crawlers in. What do you want those crawlers to do? Are we are we moving them around at all? Mobile beacon the crawlers at the back. Where where to? Keep them till the arcs are dead. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. I, I was just gonna have like a long range melting point. With them. Um, and then range them. So you just want me to let me do this. The second wave. The classic second wave. Okay, we can sell you. Buy you. A couple of shields on these wouldn't hurt. I'm just running out of time and clicking buttons rapidly. There, there was a little bit of panic there at the end. Come on. Melt some stuff, Vulcan. I'm about to sell this goddamn Vulcan. It is not doing the things that I need it to. That's for certain. Okay. We're not clearing their chaff well enough. Oh no. We might lose this round entirely. And by might, I mean we're guaranteed to. Sheesh. Alright. Um, are we going to live? 800? No, we're not. We're dead. Damn. Okay, what should I have done differently there? I should have bought more storms, so that way I could have set their front line on fire faster. That, that was definitely... They, they got me there. More chaff clear. Yeah, I, I just needed more stuff to deal with their front line. They, they handled my uh, my storms, and I was too worried about dealing with that. Backline crawl a few rounds ago, backline crawlers would have helped. Yeah, it's one of those things where this game, if if you lose, uh, you need to react to that on time. If you're not on time, you're you're just done for. You're clearing, but all is yeah. The the melting points were definitely the end game problem. Melties can get scary if you let them level. Yeah. No, I, I probably should have just, like, built my own or something. I like Elite Spec a lot, and Elite Spec, Elite Spec Fang is really funny. I've been trying to learn how to play Frontline Fangs. Every time I do it, I uh, disappoint myself and everybody involved, but we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll, we'll give it a shot. You suck with Elite Spec? If I play Elite Spec normally, I feel like I win every time. If I play Elite Spec like I'm playing right now... I get fucking destroyed. Seems like you win quite a bit more than uh, losses. It, off stream, I win a lot more than on stream. And I don't know why that is. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Um, These guys will handle the tanks cleanly. I actually really like our, our starting setup here. This feels pretty good. We just go for, for more fangs. And we'll put them on the... We'll put them in the middle. No, we'll put them on the corner. Yeah, I, I do have like a brain power tax due to streaming, I guess. That's true. Okay. And we just we just save the 100 for next round. Or we could... No, we want fangs to scale. Let's, let's bomb them. I think this is a, a big thing. Maybe stream sniper in us too. I will never ever assume stream sniper because I would never stream snipe somebody. So I don't. I don't think. I'm sure that there are people out there that would stream snipe, but I mean, I I feel like the community for this game is really really try hard, in that they they want it. They want to feel like they've earned the win. I don't think they just want to win. I think they want to feel like they earned it. If that makes sense. Streaming is not brain-free unless you literally ignore chat, and I, I don't want to do that, that's for sure. Yeah, I was thinking it would be fun to do, um, 
matchups with with people in uh, in stream. I'd be totally game to do that at some point. You position that aggressively, you you leave yourself open to easily to easy counter. That's true, but I keep losing to this, so I, I want to see how to win with this specific sort of style, Ed Bop. I, I feel like there there is something to hyper aggression in this game. So I, I really want to mess around with that. You will be a heal. You're ranked 34,000. <laughs> you can ride the momentum. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those things. Sorry, opponent. I did not mean to make you wait. You want to go hacker fang or another strat? Um, d just mass fang into whatever, whatever other unit I need. Handsome man is watching your stream. Must be doing something right. I, I guess. I guess. I'm, I'm working on it. I like te tech spec is way too important here for fangs. You need them. They are they are mandatory. Um. I feel like Phoenix do so well on this side. I think I'm gonna sell these Phoenix to place them over here. Um. They just they just do really good over here. He's he is entertaining. I don't agree with his plays though. I I understand. <laughs> I do understand. I uh I've, I've got a lot to learn. Okay. Um we should probably unlock a, a dude just for future for future use. Everyone's learning. It's one of those things. You're you're always learning or you're doing something wrong. I'm going to put double missile down. I, I really want to try and force these early rounds. There we go. Okay, so they're buying fangs. Or bu buying mustangs, rather. These guys just did literally nothing. Because they, they aggroed weird. Am I just going to... They have sniper, so we're, we're probably going to lose this round. Unless we get lucky with the placement. Stop shooting at the fa the the stupid things. Okay. Fine. Fine. They say you have to make 1,000 bad plays before you can make good plays. I just don't understand how I lose to what I'm fighting. Like, what I'm doing right now. How do... How do... That's That's my only question. Like what's what's the first upgrade people get on fangs? That's that's the first question I should ask. Intense training is great. You should be selling off phoenixes that not buying vetted ones. Just don't even have the the phoenixes at all. Range all day every day. Okay, let's try the range. Let's let's go for some range. And uh, let's buy some more dudes. And these guys suck, so we'll just sell them. And uh, we'll upgrade these fresh guys. Play some dead center here. Okay. Throw that this over here. And we will mass recruit even more. Do I get some sneaky crawlers in this army? I don't know. Let's do one of these. And that's Pantsu Man. He's a top 10 gamer. That's amazing. If you concentrate on getting the positioning, uh, the use of upgrades should fall into place. I gotcha. I think that helped me to not stress about losing the first few rounds, but build a, a good board in the late game. The only issue is dropping behind an XP. That You see, that's the thing that I've, I've been losing with, with um, Fangs, is like, my opponent gets uh, this crazy XP lead that I, I can't seemingly... I'd overcome for whatever reason. But I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Not a fan gamer. I'd probably give the wrong advice. Yeah, let's let's see how quick we're we're running through stuff here. The range does feel good. They are going mass stang. They don't have the the missile tech. Well, we got bodied. We just got ripped through here. Uh, 
This is this is what's supposed to happen, right? Only fangs, yeah. You're in need of hackers with shields and range to complement your fangs here. Yeah, I guess that would go well against their uh, their tanks, right? Normally, what my opponent does is they end up buying fortresses here. I wonder if fortress fortress beats everything they have pretty heavily. That that's the real question, I guess, is do I get fortresses or do I get fangs? And we're elite specs, so Fort Fang is legit too. That's that's the thing that I lose to. Fort bubble would work well. Yeah, let's try a fort bubble. Okay. We're at 850. It is expensive, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, if we we could get super heavy armor and then sell off our last uh our last flyers and just have the impossible to kill fortress. Why not? Um and I have exactly enough where if I overdraw I can grab the the barrier. <laughs> this is super heavy army pangs pug. Yeah, that's that's probably not it. This is is this right? I feel like I didn't leave enough room between my units. Good lord. <laughs> You'd put them against the tanks. Yeah, that's that's fair. I just wanted to defend some of the better units. You want it to fit in between. I mean, they're mostly defended. It'll be fine. We'll make it work. We're, we're learning on the fly. Uh-oh. Alright, that shield's going down pretty quick. My dudes seem to be living okay. I think that this fort, as long as their sniper goes down at some point, will clear everything solo. Is that going to happen? I don't know. This fort is, uh, very strong. We're, I think we're gonna die, though. This fort is 100% going to die. Rest and rip. Yep, here it comes. Oof! So tanky. The tankiest of, of fortresses. That fort's gonna kill everything. Do you think? I, I assumed that it was gonna die to the sniper. Believe! Do it! Oh, we got the sniper! Yes! I always forget there's a, there's a first person camera. Get him! Believe! He's so tanky! Oh my god, he's gonna die. It's so sad. Rest in peace. No! <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, the camera's all fucked up now. Good try. Amp core? I can buy another one plus amp core. Fuck it. I can't buy another one plus amp core because I want to level this guy. The, the level is too valuable on this guy. Look at look at the XP. Look at that though. All right, let's let's do a little bit of that. Boro. I think we're in. Do do we just level this guy again? I think we just level him again. Fuck it. We 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 just make this guy giga tank. Look at look at that HP. As long as they don't buy balls, we're we're in the money. This is really weak to MP. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm very aware. Okay, these guys are trash. It'd be a shame if an MP popped up. That would never happen. Nobody would ever do that. That would be shameful. No one would do that. Um do we just buy more guys? Put in the shield. This shield is going to be omega tanky. I, I think we just put some guys in behind him here at this point. Like, they, they've got range. 
and we might as well buy the HP upgrade. <laughs> it's, it's good. Oh, that's cute. You think that's gonna stop me? It is. It is going to stop me. <laughs> Come on. Live. Live. Oh, fuck. Okay, he's, he's, he's fine. See, he's completely okay. He's not okay. This was a mistake. Yeah, who needs an army when you have a fortress? Army of one. It's like that one, it's it's like the prequel to Army of Two. Except he literally can't shoot anything. This was a bad idea. Who let me do this? Who thought this was a good idea? Vulcan buddy? That sounds dank as hell. That fort needs a regen. Do we get a Vulcan friend? I kind of like Vulcan friend. I think we get Vulcan friend. Vulcan behind. S stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> this is... Everybody knows this is dumb, right? We just... Uh, I thought we were gonna go... <laughs> I thought we were going fangs. What happened? <laughs> what happened to fangs, chat? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> just, just two really big units. Why not? I think you're allergic to fangs. I must be. I keep going. Oh, I'm gonna go fangs. It's gonna be great. And then, and then this happens. I want like a sniper in behind this as well. Can you? T can I teach you how to stream? Step one is download OBS. Step two is make sure your microphone doesn't sound like complete shit. And step three is hit go live. I, th I think it's it's pretty much that simple. Just make a whole ass train of giants on each side. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> There's no way this works, right? There's no way this works. If this works, I I don't even I don't know what to think. They it won't work. I'm gonna die. People people really fail at the getting the good mic part. Yeah, getting getting your sound right is like literally the most important thing as far as I'm concerned. I also got rhinoceroses. Unfortunate. There's too many shots coming on my poor boy. It's kind of working, though. No! <laughs> Stangs to shoot down his rockets. Aren't- I'm elite spec, that's so bad. <laughs> we gotta. No, do we- Do we go Parasitic or Lightning Storm here? L Lightning Storm wins us the round guaranteed. Parasitic is like a maybe. Okay. Everybody's saying yes. Okay, let's let's go parasitic. And do we do we like sell these guys just to make room for our extra Vulcan? <laughs> okay. And then and then we gotta go incendiary bomb for the range. Cause we, we need the extra range, right? And then we, we gotta level Don't. <laughs> Is <laughs> it's too late. I'm sorry. Level the Vulcan. I'm, I I I want the shield to be stronger. Your own crawlers will burn now. I don't have crawlers. I've just got fangs that die. Oh, those ones. Yeah, those crawlers will die. Whoops. I for gore. Yeah, that was that was the ultimate misplay, wasn't it? What are people wanting me to buy? 
I, I already leveled. I don't I don't think I overdraw. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, that was a that was a giant misplay. Because I'm just gonna insta kill my crawlers. Good parasitic bite by me. Well, you know what? You you lose and learn. That that's where I'm at with that. This is a lose and learn situation. Bird. What is parasitic ammo? Parasitic ammo is uh, like an ammo type, or basically it makes it so when you kill a unit, they spawn crawlers, and it's very good. I'm to buy more forts, maybe. We're, we're losing this. I, th I think it's it's probably game. Unless the fire does some spectacular work here. Got one set of fangs left. I've got 450. I'm I'm dead. <laughs> There's no grabbing anti-missile mustangs or anything like I'm dead. That was too hard of a meme. We went too hard on the meme strats. It'd be cool if some crawl Yeah, it would have been really cool if there were some crawlers to distract there. That's true. That that was such a <laughs> Listen, when you're trying new strats out, you're you're gonna lose sometimes. That's just how it is. This person is is sixteen thousand rated. Interesting. I feel like uh, I mean I guess they've got the say, better MMR than I do. So yeah, it was for science. You had to grab Phoenix to mop those up, maybe. Yeah, there there's so many different ways that I I should have done that. But you know, okay. I like Giant here. This feels like a good setup for Giant as well, because I can just put the crawlers on the flanks. Is there a difference between combat rating and MMR? Combat rating is something that can be grinded, and MMR is something that you need to be good to have. Note to self, don't kill your own units. Yeah, there you go. Who would have thought? Okay. Critical mass of storm crawlers was too much, yeah. Combat rating uh, is games played, MMR is win rate, yeah. Okay. Uh, my opponent is Stormcaller Fang. I like my matchup here. Uh, you know, I'd like to go Vulcan into this. Uh, sub, so you say my name. Thank you for, for joining the Armada. Hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. Uh, normally I would, I would go Arclight here. I think I still go arc light here. Horatio used something really good. What do you even mind there, Horatio? Something like this is decent, I think. Hmm. So while I want these to be split like this, I kind of want to put them out further to cover our flanks. Yeah, no, I, I've I've versed a lot of people with high MMR. Oh my god, what am I doing? Up, oh. Asymm asymmetry. <laughs> what have I done? It's okay. We'll we'll be able to test and see which side is better against the storms. Uh, looks like the left side was better. Confirmed. Left left side strat worked better. Making me super lopsided. Yeah, everybody loves it when the, the armies are asymmetrical, right? Yeah, left side won way harder. I mean, both sides won, but left side won harder. Bruh. No! No, he's he's coming! Where? No, 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 no. He's... Oh, no! Did I lose on that side? Run. <laughs> it's just... Hang on. He's, he's going for it. He's drilling. <laughs> he's drilling. <laughs> it's... Oh, God! <laughs> the first person camera in this game is so stupid. <laughs> just just why does that exist? I, I just don't know why they left that. Like, it's, it's just funny. All right. Um, Heavy Hacker is pretty funny, but... Like, what do I hack? 
Phoenix range is like very down the line sort of thinking. Fortress range is uh, it's just not it. Haste module is pretty good. I, I, a uh, part of me wants to go haste module and like just murder them with a rhino. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna skip. And I'm gonna go boat. His boat looks pretty good here overall. My right side's losing a tiny bit, so we'll give that there. One of those. Haste module crawler. That's psychotic. Combat power shows up, uh, wait, shows how much a person wins in this given MMR rank. Baby rhinos would go off here. Rhinos are funny. Their combat power is low, it's because they are losing a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. Okay, what are we at? We're at 10 M per S. I'm going to put it back, like, a little bit. I, I never know whether I want my overlords to be, like, in there. Or, I, I think most of the time it's better to just have them be, like, a little bit back. That tends, tends to be best. Losing our arc light here, which is a shame. I think we, we don't just auto-win, because they do have stuff to handle. But we should be okay. I think we win this at very least with just the Overlord. Yeah, the, that's a that's a classic strat that people pull. I see that one all the time. It's a very reasonable thing to go for. There's too many crawlers. Are you ever going to deal with the things that are shooting at you? You can only hope. All right. Well, they they have nothing left to shoot at me, so that's good. Classic Overlord shenanigans. Getting the, them free rounds. Hmm. Hey, Vulcan HP by forty percent. I feel like Vulcan range is such an important stat, you know? Strike spec is funny. I think we skip again. I guess we could go deployment module maybe, but... I don't know. We, I think we just skip again. I don't normally skip everything, I promise. So do we just go Vulcan in the middle? It's been- it's pretty good against a lot of his stuff. Expect him to counter Overlord this round. Deployment on Singular Overlord could have been good. Yeah, I was thinking just moving it over to the other side. But I can just do that exact same thing with Mobile Beacon. This is really far up. I'd like to plan for range. Um... They have a lot of little stuff. I should have more little stuff. Uh, I, I don't have redeploy on my overlord as an option. But I, I figure I would just like move my, my guy. With mobile beacon. Something like that. Beat everything with crawler conga, truly. Interesting. Yep, they have Phoenix now. Indeed I did there, a game monks. Uh can my something really good be a crawler conga? That sounds a little too troll at this point. I don't know. Seems a little bit too spicy. I mobile beaconed that way in order to try and dodge whatever their counter was, a game ox. And uh, I did dodge their Phoenix for a, a pretty significant amount of time. 
just... Oh my god. <laughs> it was a draw. That's funny. It almost worked too. But it probably would have been better if I didn't do anything. To be honest. It's probably one of those situations. Okay. I think we start grabbing snipers. And we'll grab an orbital bombardment. Because that will kill off both of those dudes. Wasp conga? No. 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 I will not. Okay. So at this point, I need to ask myself how I want to deal with these phoenix. And they need to probably... Are they going to go melting point? Probably not. Just more stuff to hit air would be good. We could just start getting some marksmen going. And I think that would be efficient. Flanking wasp. They're, they're, I don't want to bait them into mustangs yet. I want to save the wasps for later. The, the longer they go without spamming mustangs, the better it is for me. Because, uh, must... Uh, the, Basically, I, I personally believe that um, wasps are one of the best endgame killers, and if people don't prep for them beforehand, then you can just crush people with it. Which is really, really good. But yeah, I'll, I'll do, like, minimum adjustment this time. Oh, that's, that's a melting point. Alright. See how that plays. It's probably... Oh, wow, it's got a shield and stuff, too. Interesting. That's definitely going to kill my, uh, my Vulcan. But I'm pretty sure that my Overlord will handle it. Yeah. A Wasp Surprise, yeah. Endgame Surprise Wasp is, is what I prefer. Alright. The extra snipers did some good work. Do I feel the need for more crawlers? I, I feel like I've got a good amount of crawlers on the board. Maybe I could get an upgrade on them. So I'd, I'd like to defend my Vulcan better, for one. We did get the win on that round. Yeah, Orbital is crazy. Anything will uh, with Ignite... Uh will do against his giant. Interesting. Uh, what level is he? That'll, that'll just get him down to half. I don't know if that's even worth it. Since he has nano coating. Oh, does that punch through? Yeah, air definitely gets the short end of the stick a lot of the time. Ignite eats past it. That's cool. I'm going to grab smoke here. And just kind of neuter this a little bit. Something along that line looks good. And... Does that mean I should get Ignite on my Vulcan? Like, I, I feel like my Vulcan's just going to get chewed through regardless. The snipers felt great. Let's grab some more. And place them over here. Vulcan needs chaff. Yeah, wasp is pretty good here for chaff. And we'll get one set of wasps. We'll place them right behind like that. And once they get ranged, that's going to have to be adjusted. Maybe I'll do this. And we'll get our upgrades. I feel like I'm I'm playing a, a much slower game. It did orbital me. Wow, I did kill my my ship. All right. Hmm. So I I should have gotten ignite because I would have basically had it dead by now. Looks like we're losing a sniper here. They've got their fire active now. Which is pretty spooky. 
get ignite on both Vulcan and Wasp. I don't have uh, ignite on Wasp, sadly. I wish I did. At least my Vulcan lived. I, I guess we're losing this round by a little bit. Yeah, that would have been nice if I had that, but not an option. Okay. The wasps did turn out really well there. Tank line. I think we just take that. Let's uh let's get some wasp production going. I might grab deck cannons at some point if this thing gets another upgrade. And does ignite ignore armor? Apparently it does. We're going to try it out right now. You can MP his MP? That's true, I could. I don't have the money for it this round unless I... Like, sell something off. I should probably start selling off my, uh... My little shitter units. Or hit it with crawlers. Crawlers do sound like a, a very economical option right now. I feel the need for range on these snipers. Put them a little bit further back. Okay. I could grab speed. I feel like speed would prob probably be pretty worth it here. Just in case. Okay. I guess that's all she wrote for this turn. They are burning us. That's a lot of range stangs. They've got a decent squad. Acid crawlers? That could be a decent option. That does just punch right through the shield as well. So we can see Ignite at play here. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That do be melting. When the melting point gets melted. I feel like I just need to defend my, my stuff better at this point. I, I might have this? I think we're losing because that tower's going down. I hate how freaking good fire is. Fi the the fire is just way too strong. Nah, I'm getting sniped in the butt. Oh my god, what a shame. All right, on the bright side, these are really close. Ignite did in fact wreck that MP. It was pretty good. Okay, yeah, we did get butt sniped. Right in the bottom. Acid blast. Giant hunter is is just not a thing here. We do not need to consider that. Ampcore would be okay. Ampcore would be pretty darn nice on this Vulcan, actually. Okay. So at this point, I think we just uh, place down an... Hmm. We place down another boat. I just want to spam out the wasps. Okay, let's get some more. Let's get the shield. Get them going in the back line here. Yeah, ground is messed up. I would like to evacuate ground as much as I can. Spam wasp sounds delicious. It's not. I would not recommend eating spam wasps. That doesn't sound good at all. Unlock melting point. And uh, we will get the damage up. And... Oh man, I'm going to overdraw this turn, specifically because I, I should have bought this. This is just way too good of a purchase not to have. And I'm going to put down one of these. Because I'm a little bit afraid for my right side. So in theory, I should get a pretty good burn here. At some point. Here it is. Boom! Yes! How do you like it? Probably not very much. Except I, I need to start selling off my crawlers, because they're, they're just dead weight at this point. 
They literally do nothing. No! I got meltinged. They made a point of melting me. I, uh, I don't have a ton of anti-air anymore. Which is a bit of an issue. I wonder if I want to transition away from snipers to my own anti-air. My, my own phoenix. I think we just go more wasps and we'll be pretty happy. Kind of doing it. Buff boat soon. Ooh, lightning storm. Lightning storm fucks them up so hard. Look at how, how much annoying shit they have that I want to not have to deal with. When you say buff boats, do you mean buff my boats or make my boats buff? Because those are two different things. Okay. I'm thinking some more wasps for endgame. No regen on boat. I do not have any boat regen. I'm gonna move this guy over here. Just to dodge that that frick. By the marksman range. There's a solid chance that I also get lightning here. Melting points more of a threat than the fire. Cell crawlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Well, I, I, I already overdrew this turn, so there's not really too much point. I'll, I'll start selling the crawlers next turn. That was something that I should have been doing already. Where are the fangs? They don't exist. Okay. GG was called. I, I wonder why. Do you, th do you think they just lose to this? I'm not entirely sold that they just lose to this. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's an early GG call. Unless that was an offensive GG. Yeah, that was... Phoenix... Yeah, somehow the Phoenix has survived. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know why the early GG was called there. I, I, I think that I may have gotten a little bit of RNG there. I think it was a cocky GG, you think? I'm surprised. Um, Extended marksman range here goes, it puts in work. And I think I want my EMP on them now as well. Deck cannons here is going to be really good. I'm going to hope that that works out for me. And... Do one of these. To drop the aggro. <clears throat> do they have range on their guys? They don't have range on their guys. This is a perfect time to have range on my guys. And let's go ahead and sell off some of our... Shitters. These guys are worth the most... And just having a thing would be good. I think he panicked with no shields plus storm. Yeah, probably. That's my best guess as well. Um. More boats? Wasp army? Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking, but I was I was hoping more boats was the answer. <laughs> Do I stall them, though? That's the real question. They're gonna orbital strike my my lad. I think we really want our lad to live, so we should do that in the hopes that we can get him out of there in time. They, this guy's important. We need, we need him alive. We can dodge the orbital javelin. They're jabbing the other side! Frick! Okay, hit the, hit the air. Please. If you could please hit the air, that would be really ideal. I'm getting... I'm getting wasped. 
where did all my wasps go? Probably to their anti-air Mustangs is the answer. Okay, we're losing. This is game over. I should have gotten more storms instead of more snipers. Storms was the answer. Are we, are we dead? Uh, yes. Maybe it's close. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. Crack. <laughs> Came hard. I feel like I'm almost listening to chat too much at this point. GG, well played there, Cup Pog. That was a fun game. You got me good. I thought for sure when you said GG, I'm like, oh yeah, Storm's just gonna kill their, their flyers and I'm gonna win. That did not happen. What is happening in the chat? <laughs> Don't listen to us. It's hard. Because I, I, I feel like... So that's the thing, is I feel like I'm not good. Discord cut off uh, the title at top one, uh, 100, and I was like, holy shit, you're nuts. I'm not top 100 yet there, Sitter. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I, I'm planning on getting the top 100, but, the, you know, I've, I've still got some grinding to get there. Like, I'm, I'm not that good yet. I know that I can get there. I'm just not there yet. Um, I don't really like any of these starts. I think the one boat was good enough to bait air, then just go back hard ground. I just get so afraid of the fire that it's it, it's nice to just be in the air, but you're probably right. Fear, doubt, and disbelief free your mind, true Joe Mama. Just Jedi Jedi mind trick myself is the answer. We got Rhino Spec. Fang Storm. I really don't know what to do with my fangs most of the time. But I feel like I should spread them out more this game. These these guys are just going to get... They, they're storm bait. And nothing else. So we will spread them out. Something along this line. Okay. And then... I'll read that in a moment there, Mr. Mubo. Let me just make sure I'm all caught up with my army. I think I want some arc lights kicking around, dealing with their their chaff. I'm hoping that these don't get completely exploded. You managed to drop from 1,000 ish MMR where you started to 700. Feels uh like I the more I learn, the worse I get, but it's probably somewhat normal too. Had too much experimenting. Yeah, Mr. Mevo, the more you experiment, the the worse you'll do. But that that's that's long term value as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't worry too much about that. We're speed specs, so maybe our fangs will be okay. I don't know. Drop from twelve hundred to nine fifty. I've been uh, I've I've definitely had some spots where I've been stuck, but it's it's like two steps back, one step forward. Which, uh, I guess, is the opposite way you want to go most of the time, but... Th then every once in a while I'll go on, like, a, a seven or eight game win streak, and it'll all just make sense. And I'll be like, ha! I know exactly what you're going to do, and I'm going to just crush you! And that always feels really good when that happens, but... You know, it's, it's just one of those things that occasionally happens, not all the time. Started at 1400, you're at 1100 now. Just because I like to try goofy shit. I started playing right when they implemented MMR, and because of that, I'm, uh, I, I, I started at, I don't know what I started at, I think I started at, like, 700 MMR or something, because I was just losing all my early rounds. I think sub-mustangs here are really nice. I really want to do, um, some challenges in this game. I, I haven't seen anybody do any, like, dumb challenges. And I feel like this game is just ripe for opportunity when it comes to that sort of thing. Like, what if you did like a, can I beat my opponent using only the flank positions? Like, how stupid of a video would that be to try and get that? You'd have to like throw in some of your fails, obviously, because there's no way you get that on your first try. But like, it'd be, it'd be just kind of funny, you know? I feel like there's a, there's a good concept there. 
Your MMR would never survive. I'd literally have to... I'd have to be on, like, a fresh account sort of thing. I don't think... I don't think you'd do that on a normal run. Do I just buy my attack up now? Maybe, maybe I buy my health up now. Nah. That one. We're doing it. <clears throat> But yeah, ju just trying to like come up with some crazy challenge. Uh, one of the challenge concepts that I had that I thought would be really interesting is can I beat, uh, or can I win a round of Mechabellum using only uh, the first person camera? Because like theoretically, that would be easy, right? Like in my head, it's like, oh yeah, you'd literally just play the game normally and you just... You don't get to assess the battle as well. I thought, can I win a round of Mechabellum was full stop? Yeah, true. Got him. Uh, charge ammo's busted. Smoke bomb is nice. The rhinos are here. Ampcore rhino is very likely to, to show up here. If you were having to deal with an Ampcore rhino, how would you do it? I guess with some level 2 steel balls on the, the side is a pretty good start. Might have to get range on them or something. Um, Phoenix, don't look bad here. I'm speed spec. So I'd like to abuse that. Hmm. Mm hmm. I like the extra stangs, just purely for, um, eventually, I, I'm, I'm threatening anti-missile, obviously, that's, that's the idea. <clears throat> and I could get, like, a third set, even, because I have the money for it. Or I could buy, like, a sniper. I, I think we'll get some crawlers and we'll, we'll put it in a, a flanking position. This this might be like a really defensive play, but the chances that I I get flanked by this rhino seems pretty high a lot of the time. They're mobile baconing. They're mobile baconing. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. All right, let's let's hope my balls just do the thing that they need to do. All right. We've blinded them, which is a great start. Grab on! Get him! Oh no. Oh, legendary! <laughs> that last ball did so much damage. The smoke was huge. The smoke was so huge there. I knew they were gonna go amp core. Alright. Um, top supply spec here is a bit of a game winner. If I go for it and they don't just beat me on the spot. Kayabone. Kayabone, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. So many new folks coming in today. I really appreciate it, everybody. everybody. Been, uh, I've been grinding this game super hard. And, um... Yeah, it's just, it's just been a really good time. Do we get energy absorption or long range? I feel like long range does better. But energy absorption feels better. So it's kind of a tough one. I almost want to... I'm going to upgrade these guys, because I might go into fangs. I, I could do a sneaky fang pivot. You can't grind because you get so stressed. I feel that. There's been days where I, I almost don't play, because I'm like, oh man, what if I lose? And then I'm like, bruh, how are you going to get good if you worry about shit like that? <laughs> and that's that's kind of how I always like fight myself with it is um I am going to lose and that's okay I am 100% going to lose and I might I might lose more than I win and I might lose all of my rank but it doesn't matter because I'm trying to get good I'm going to grab a couple tanks and put them like right here we might we might go into those more we'll see same foundation. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things. 
sitting there adjusting. I went Fortress. I'm loving their uh, Stormcallers not being able to shoot far. Next turn, I think. Uh, because the Stormcallers have been so, like, nothing to me, I think we might uh, build around them continuing to be nothing, because that feels really good. I'm hoping my Steel Balls find a way to win this for me. My Steel Balls have been, like, actually kind of cracked. I think I might buy some more. Live! Are they elite spec? All their units are kind of, units are kind of tanky. They're not elite spec, otherwise their fortress would be level 2. No, So close. So close. Okay. Incendiary Bomb seems pretty good here, especially since they haven't been reacting. And, um... Do I think they're not going to react again? They've been disrespecting a little bit. I won't lie. It's an interesting concept. Let's go for the missile. Get the level up there. Hackers. Just just for the rhino. Would that work? No, I don't I don't like hackers in the storms that much. I think it's kind of spooky. I'm gonna hit him with one of these though. These guys step forward every time, so we'll we'll do that. I'm thinking, like, a... Sledges aren't really going to do too much. Hmm. More balls, maybe. For now, we're just going to grab a couple more of these, though, because I was, I was really feeling the struggle for, for clearing earlier. And if I can get my balls to where I want them to, that, that seems more important. Upgraded armor arc light. They don't need the armor, as far as I'm concerned. They are, uh... They burnt me, but I burnt them. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. We really need the steel balls in the right spot, otherwise we're gonna lose. I think the left steel ball's going down. Yeah, they're both going down. Nice. Go! Oh my god, the poor balls didn't... They didn't live to see the fruits of their labor. Fire plus oil, Colin, is nice. Yeah, it's super great. I like it a lot. Um, Skill spec is fucked up here, because I can keep rotating, but giant spec is also nice. So I've got uh, top supply spec, so does my opponent. Um... I'm, I'm, oh god, this is tough not to take. Because I feel like it messes him up pretty hard. But I'm, I, I've kind of neutralized their, their storms, in theory, with, with my stangs. So, let's buy that. Do we take heavy target? Or do we take energy absorption? I think we take energy absorption... And we, we desperately want some more crawlers to, to sneak in and help out here. Let's let's keep the upgrades coming. And what else looks really nice here? Some snipers or some storms could be good. I think we'll get some storms. I don't like buying this unit at all. It feels like I have to buy it every single time. Which is really frustrating. But it, it just feels like the right thing to get. Range is a nice touch on balls. I, I like the energy absorption because they... Lifesteal is just really fun to look at. I think is the answer. More balls. I'll, I'll probably get some more balls when the time is right. Oh my. They have rocket punch. We're gonna need EMP for sure. We're going to get EMP on Storms. 
that's going to be mandatory. Oh, we're getting punched. This is... This is a thing. Is there a benefit from not spending all the money? You get to react and spend the money next turn. Is the answer to that question. Okay. The balls might be able to kind of clutch it out here. We'll see. We have two balls left. Oh my god. We're getting a ton of money because they went mass giants this turn. All right. <laughs> of course my steel balls are leveling up. They've killed, like, the how many giants on their own? Rest in peace, buddy. Yeah, so EMPs are going to be really important here. And Vulcan might be pretty good as well. What do they have? They went tech spec. All right. Parasitic ammo. Not a fan of that. I think we we skip. And will they react to our smoke? I will keep placing my smoke in the same spot if they want to continue not reacting. And let's get some of these guys. These are going to be really, really key to winning this. I think the balls will have it handled with the the EMP. You'd go boat. I could go one boat. That's probably worth it. We will, we will go one boat. And the right side could use some help. I got fire instead of EMP. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's pretty awkward. Hmm. Well, we'll see if that works. I mean, fire is pretty good. It's going to get rid of all their fangs really fast. Tanky MP. Ta tanky MP won't do well enough against fortresses. We'll, we'll just get an next turn. Streamer handicap, that distraction kicking in again. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, let me just click on the EMP. I did not click it. He did not click on the EMP. Jesus Christ, man. He has no up. So he's just gonna auto lose to my uh, my boat, at very least. So we have that going for us. No, my balls! He's punching the balls. <laughs> no. Kill them all, please. These the, the my my life rests in the hands of these balls. Please, no. Only the left ball remains. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting so much money, though. We're getting so much money, though. It's okay. Everything is fine. <laughs> Stupid. Do you think when they named... Do you think when they named Steel Balls, they knew what they were doing? I feel like they had to have known what they were doing. And that gets me outside of orbital javelin range, which is really nice. EMP is big here. Oh, they knew. <laughs> they knew. Um, more storms? It, well, yeah, it wasn't named in English first, which is why I'm, I was thinking, like, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance they didn't know. I think I'd buy more storms because the natural counter here is missiles or anti-missile and I just really want my EMP to work. That's that's what I want most of all. And uh, I'm willing to buy this range. I don't need to buy the other range. That's fine. And I don't really want my units walking fast. So we will avoid that. How you doing, Hotskin? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. I think we'll just buy, like, some shields. Just cause. Maybe they, they drop, like, oil or something. Yeah, I think I dropped out of top 1000 since the start of the stream. Cause it really be one of those. <laughs> it's, 
My balls! No! They got them right away. Okay, so they did get anti-missile exactly as expected. Which is quite alright. Because, uh, we're, we're hoping to burn them down anyway. Yeah. The, the extra... What, what beats... Um, anti-missile Mustangs is just more storm collars, which is very sad. Okay. We're, we're doing some good damage here. They can't shoot up anymore because of EMP, which is great. I am generating such a stupid amount of money. <laughs> I am getting so much extra cash every round. It's glorious. But yeah, they are, they are dead, aren't they? I don't get to spend all that extra money. That was fun. That was a fun round. I feel like they are experiencing the what is this Stormcaller BS rage. Yeah, the... Dude, storms are so mean. I, I, I hate how good that unit is. But you gotta use it, right? Making giants in the giant hunter is not a good idea. I feel like if you go giants on the turn giant hunter shows up, that is very close to the optimal timing. Like, it, they, they they had two giants on the field, so it was already a gamble. But yeah, them going pure giant into giant hunter was very psychotic, for sure. It did not work out for them. But I respect it. I know Fortress is a good unit. And I think that they were really close to having me. If I didn't get EMP eventually on my, uh, my storms, I think they would have won. Because they would have just rocket punched me to death. Uh, let me grab some more water here, chat. We'll be right back. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank everybody who's been hanging out here today. I've been going hard on on the old uh, Mecha Bellum. I, I really want to make entertaining games for everybody. Here's a song to celebrate your victory. What is this one? I'm getting commercial frick. Should have gone uh, Stang Missile Intercept. They did have Stang Missile Intercept. That's why I went more more things what is this one i can't believe how boring this is why did we come here classic it's fun to watch yeah we'll, we'll be doing more in a moment you have to skip to one minute okay ah it's a classic we need uh arc light chainsaw duck wand Oh my god, that would go crazy. An attack boosted arc light would go nuts. I I want to get a good arc light game in. We should we should try and force like an arc light carry. I I, I don't know. Can you force it? Hang on, we better not listen to too much of this so the whole stream will get muted. Um all right, let me let me do a quick BRB and we'll, we'll throw in some of my own music. And give me one moment here, chat.
Alrighty. What counters Rhino? Um, other Rhino. Long range Steel Ball. Hacker. Bangs with shields and ignite and upgrades. Air. Phoenixes. Overlord. Um, if they don't have spin, crawlers are fine. With with something big doing damage to it. That 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 those are some of the options there, Smirk. If Rhino gets stuck on chaff, it usually uh it's usually not worth either. Yeah, yeah. If if they don't buy Whirlwind, then you can just kind of get it stuck on stuff. Here, we'll we'll run our own music for a while. Why not? Why not? Here we go. Twenty four thousand forty. We're 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 up against uh, Pog Pog again. They made seven hundred eighty nine off me last time. God damn. They, they have higher MMR than me by a lot now. We gotta, we gotta try and catch back up. Um, elite spec with Sledge Fang. Giant spec is fun. I feel like this is just a pretty sturdy supply spec start. Uh, marksman spec. I, I don't know why I always check. I, I, I guess it's fair to check. But you know with Marksman spec what you're getting into ahead of time. I want to put these arcs like a little bit... A little bit further out, I guess. I think we're going to split our... Um, we're going to split some stuff on it. We've got supply spec, so we can... What are we going to go into next turn? I don't know yet. But probably sledges, maybe. I don't know. Not entirely certain yet. I think we split these guys. Normally I have my steel balls on the outside here. That's where I tend to position them. I feel like this is a more natural spot here. Like it's just less distance to travel. And I feel like this is going to, like, intersect for, um, storms. I don't know. I'm, I'm questioning everything at this point, including, like, round one. Killing their sniper early would be nice, but I'm, I'm just gonna rely on my, my unit placement to win this for me. Get them in the squares, because that's... Oh, oh, look at look at that. It's like it was, it was meant for steel balls. That's not true. Those guys are... Whatever the opposite of double parked is. They're very weak to crawler flank here. With my, uh, my balls along here. Um, I mean, they are, but then I just put an arc light there. And as, your balls being stalled out for a little while isn't the worst thing in the world a lot of the time feel like it's it's very tenable still I am going to lose this round would love to get this kill but that is a level three marksman okay minimal loss on the first round if I were my opponent what would I oh Jesus Christ it's subsidized marksman <laughs> it's... okay then I mean, hmm, they're not really giving me any reason to go into Marksman myself, but they will. Like, they're going to buy sledges next turn, right? This pays off if I buy even, like, ooh, snipers, so I'm, I'm going to say that that's worth it. And I think it's pretty clear... That we need some way to get in close. I, I think some stangs here would be good. I think stangs do pretty well into everything here. The only awkward part is placing them. 
but I, th I think I'll do something like this. Wasp? I, I, I don't go early wasp. You will, it's very, very rare for me to go early wasp. I feel like early wasp has, uh... It's, it's very much like a later mid-game mid unit for me. Because I've, I've got them set up as, uh... Like an end-game pivot sort of unit. Not like an early-game sort of thing. Alright, so they did go tanks on the one side. Which makes sense. You know, they went marksman. Yeah. But they, they, did they even buy, they bought like one new marksman here. Oh my god, that dude sucked so hard. Okay, so, oh wait, they didn't go subsidized marksman because they, they went uh, crawlers. So there you go. That's pretty ideal. We are still losing though. This is a bit of a struggle. Do I just aggressively place some snipers? I'm gonna orbital bombard them for sure. Something along this line looks fine. Hmm. Their storms are really far up. <laughs> I could cheese out my storm, or cheese out their storms with my storms. And then do I just, like, hard win from there? I don't know if I hard win from there, but their storms are doing a lot of work, that's undeniable. Hmm. Snipers are kinda cool. We're going to be getting snipers at some point. We're gonna try the funny storm play. I think this is an interesting idea. They did go into... Wow. They're, they're very much trying to defend themselves here. Which is fair. I'd love to punch through these shields quickly. But I kind of doubt that's going to happen. Ooh. Those tanks have shields. Alright. Well, it looks like... <sighs> I don't want to say it's going better. Because I, I don't think it is going a lot better. But I, I think it is going a little better. Come on, kill the level 3. That would be so nice. There we go. That's a bunch of XP. Is that a level up worth of XP? I would love it if they killed this shield, but that's not happening. Let's be real. Oh, great. Shields are very annoying. These balls are, are dead weight. Which is problematic. I go for deployment three. We do get this level up, which is nice. Hmm... Long range on the arc lights could be good. Just to clear stuff. You often just sell marksmen because, uh, or, or on the off chance, a steel ball kills it. Can be GG right there. Yeah. That is very much a thing to, to keep in mind. Wasps are looking really good at this point. I won't lie. Do I anti missile my Mustangs? I think I do. Maybe we just double our, our Stormcaller efforts. Fuck it. <laughs> just become the, the degenerate. I need to deal with their shields. Most of their units don't appreciate getting stormed. This makes enough sense to me. And we'll, we'll probably start buying into some level 2 snipers at some point here. That way we can get our own snipers leveling. Alright. Are we having fun yet? Why does every video... Why does every round turn into this? That's what I want to know. Okay. We're, we're kind of doing it. That guy got sniped out. 
The difference is they have shields and we don't. Die, please. <laughs> Come on. Get the shield, yes. Okay. We did lose. But we did also get two shields. Which is value. Subsidized marks. Uh, this storm collars. Do I do it? Do I just go absolute fucking mass storm collars? Is there such a thing as too many storm collars? I don't know. We could find out. <laughs> we could find out if there's such a thing as too many storm collars. <laughs> Let's take the range. Fuck it. <laughs> oh god, that's a lot of storms. <laughs> the the storm is here. <laughs> oh, the the storm has arrived. If this works, there's no way this works, right? Yeah, it's... It is, uh, it is that season. The storm season is here. Do you think he's also going to just go giga mass storms? I don't think he is. I don't think he has what it takes. We'll see. Alright. Just, just send it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> She's taking a cowboy hat into the other room. No! Is it working? I think it's working. The crawlers are kind of an issue. I kind of need something to deal with those. Hmm. There's, there's so many storms. It's it's like that's all that's left. I'm I'm gonna need something else as well. But it is working. Good lord. This this is literally the most storm colors I've ever purchased. By the way, I just want to make that known. I'm not normally like this. <laughs> Yeah, the the Stangs are indeed doing that. Ion Blast, Smoke Bomb. I think we, we skip and uh, we just get our upgrades and shield up. Now they spam air, right? Yeah, which is why we just get more Stangs, I think. How much do upgrades matter? Uh, level upgrades matter a lot. Level ups are, are, like, the first level up doubles your unit's power, essentially. It's pretty dumb how good it is. Okay, I'm gonna get long range on my arc lights. What if you also set the ground on fire? Next turn. <laughs> you doing wobbles. <laughs> Well, come on in. Um, yeah, I, th I think setting the ground on fire is step two. That sounds like step two to me. All oh, right, my my marksmen are super dirt cheap. Let's just buy one. There we go. That subsidized marksman has paid for itself. <laughs> remember, remember on round two when I bought subsidized marksmen? I remember. Oh Jesus. Alrighty. Okay, that guy's dead. Oh, he boomed. He boomed. Okay, we're gonna need... I, I think we're gonna have to counter that. We can have some curry delivered. That sounds lovely. Love me some curry. 
wishing I didn't work tomorrow. That is, uh, uh I, I, I've been there. I'm not there right now, because I, I freaking adore streaming. But, you know, w working at Princess Auto, working for insurance, or, you know, whatever, whatever dumb freaking job I was doing. I was always wishing I was somewhere else. Ooh, what a shot. This is such a dumb game. Counter it by making more storm collars. Now you're talking. <laughs> okay. What if I just had so many storm collars? No, I lost. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's possible that mass storms have lost. We gotta go range. Do we gotta go range? I think we gotta go range. Pretty sure it's mandatory. Okay, we got fire. Now, how do we beat two explosive rhinos? We put one rhino in the middle that they both have to come to. And then they'll blow up on each other when I kill one. There you go. That's, that's the play. Minus 100. Death approaches. It's it's fine. Um. What do I do? Do I do I buy another set of storm? I don't think I buy more storms. I think I think we start buying some normal snipers and just weaving them in. All right. Oh no! <laughs> my my strategy. They're they're moving it away. More storms. Surprise wasp time. Yeah, it is. It is very. If I live next, if I live this turn, it's probably surprise wasp time. I could see that being a thing. It's gonna be a conga line of freaking rhinos. It's gonna be so dumb. Okay. There's, there's a, oh my god, look at the fire. This is some intense fire. Does fire damage stack? How does that work? Alright. <laughs> I think, I think we're good. <laughs> it's gonna be fire again. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the rhino chasing the rhino chasing the rhino is truly a classic. <laughs> this, is, this is just pure meme at this point. Okay. Oh, we could get another rhino in the mix. That would be pretty funny. EMP seems nice. I, th I think laser sight is just degenerate enough to work. Let's buy all our upgrades. Because I, I want the damage. And... I kind of like this unit in particular's positioning, so we'll, we'll do that. I think a couple of boats look really good here. There we go. I don't know if I want... I don't want them this far up. I want them further back. Something like that. And can I buy the funny thing? I can't. That's pretty good. Do I sell something? I could sell my balls. Is it time for the Giga what, pl what Plank Wasp from Hell? Probably. Maybe I should get some more Mustangs, just in case. <laughs> I have such a minuscule amount of Mustangs. But I'm, I'm really relying on them to be useful at some point. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll, we'll take the speed as well. There we go. Oh god! Why do they have a fortress there? <laughs> okay. 
Those things went boom. So <laughs> many storms. <laughs> There's... Uh, I hate this meta! Nerf this unit! <laughs> Nerf this fucking unit! <laughs> Gee. Please nerf storms. <laughs> what do you do about this stupid fucking thing? Oh my god. I have become what I hate most. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> we had we had eight storm callers. The only count of the storms is more storms, yeah. We found the answer. And you're not gonna like it. No, I I think um I think if my opponent went air, they probably would have been fine. It's it's not like that was unwinnable for them. It was just we kind of did the right thing. I'm below 1500 MMR and everything. God, why am I like this? They did seem weirdly averse to air. I feel like air just encourages Mustangs, and Mustangs are really strong, so I, I can understand being averse to air for that reason alone. Opponents on a three game win streak. I like that it shows uh, your opponent's like win record, at least recent win record. Marksman Sledge. I was wanting to do Marksman Sledge and lean in more on the Sledge than the Marksman, so let's see if we can do that this game. That'd be cool. My opponent's level three Marksman again, so that's pretty cringe. This is a really bad start for. Um, for elite specialists, by the way, because you can't cover your flanks by default, which is just not good. Your recent minus 13 win streak wouldn't fit. That is rough. It'd be like that, though, sometimes, you know? You just gotta accept it. Do I watch the anime? I've watched some anime. I don't know what the anime is. If so, what season are you watching? I, I, I'm on, like... I think the last anime I watched was Dragon Ball GT. Where, um... Anne and, uh, Goku and Trunks are in space collecting the Black Star Dragon Balls. And they just... Had, uh, the, the... The one dude... Do the thing. I'm, I'm placing my stuff! Calm down, Yoda Bomb. Hang on. Uh... I, I guess I'll buy one of these for now. Yeah. Do I want an early bomb? I, f I feel like it's pretty good. Starting elite without chaff feels bad. Yeah, it does. But we'll we'll just start buy selling our way into it. It's fine. Might winning this early round. I like how when there's enough units on the board, crawlers on low just don't move properly at all. It looks really goofy. Okay. If I can get this sniper kill, that would be so huge for us early game. Because then we get to have the high level sniper. Yes! Yes, feed me! Perfect! It's beautiful. What do you think the most anime anime of all time I, I don't know. It's a tough question. I think the most anime is, um... Why'd I buy that? I wasn't thinking. This is a really dumb purchase. Do I start sell buying my tanks? Or do I buy more snipers? Snipers are looking great here. I think I'll buy one sniper, one crawler set. And we'll get some more of this going. And eventually I want to get my tanks rolling as well. But these will cover the flanks if they need to. What is the most anime of all time? Uh, I like Berserk. Does that count? I don't know if Berserk is that anime of an anime. I kind of feel like this is going to stick around for a while if I do it. 
Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! That's a good one. That was pretty nice. Yep. I just- I felt it. Berserker's good, it's just not terribly anime. Hmm. I guess, like, a slice of life I've been transported into a, a MMORPG would probably be the most anime anime, right? Because that's, that's pretty much all of them right now. What about Full Up Metal Alchemist? That's pretty anime. And people like it, so it's it's like a a win-win or something. Do we win this? I feel like I should win this, but I'm probably not going to. Oh no, we do. All right, Ninja Scroll. My snipers. I, I have a level three sniper now. It, that that's kind of shenanigans, if you ask me. Redeploy is kind of cute. I like portable shield. What do I do with a redeploy? They got a lot of tanks. Bastard. Let's go with this one. Okay. What what if? Hear me out. What if we also went more tanks? <laughs> We're just gonna play the same game, but I'm gonna be elite specialist, so I'll just win. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen in this game. I'm, I'm gonna have elite spec privilege. These guys get the shield. Is this the play? Wait, I, maybe I should think about this some more. Fucking mirror matchup. <laughs> if he wants to... I mean, I think... Elite spec wins the mirror. <laughs> I have no reason not to do the mirror. Thinking is for cowards. True! Okay. We're looking pretty good here. What what could I do to offset this mirror matchup from being like... I, I don't know. I feel like this is already just incredibly in my favor. I, I feel like this is just a, a crushing victory so far. This is the most anime anime of all time. I don't know if I want to click on it. <laughs> How do balls do against tanks? They do very well, but they do poorly into snipers, so... It's one of those. Bionix are kind of cool. But I don't think I want any of these. Improved Fortress is kind of kind of dank here, but I don't think that's it. He went Mechanical Rage? Hear me out. What if... What if I went... I mean, do I also want to go Mechanical Rage? Do I Do I literally just want to copy him to win? Like, he, he, he needs to break the mold. He needs to be the one to stop this. I don't, I don't have to stop being a piece of garbage. We're gonna we're gonna buy some some tank stats this turn. Are they really just going for it? No, they're getting Phoenix. Okay, so they 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 did go for Phoenix. They've got 140 range, which means that they bought the 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 uh, the upgrade. I don't really have the greatest time dealing with their crawlers. So I, I might want to get um, some backline arc lights to help with that. That could be really helpful. But we are just kind of out snipering the shit out of them. <laughs> I this is fucked up. Oh, this is fucked up. Yeah, the shielded tanks are are pretty juicy. Tech spec is great. I'm just gonna hit right here. 
get the the flyers out of this guy. Okay, so we could EMP their tanks. Or we could start, like, one-doinking their tanks. If we start one-doinking their tanks, we need something for their crawlers. Stangs could be good for crawlers. I feel like stangs are going to be good in multiple ways. I can use them to shore up my flanks, and I can use them to... So, like, if, if I just put these guys right here, I don't have to worry about them flanking me with anything anymore. And I also get to deal with the, the chaff when they, they come into play. Because, like, their crawlers are, like, back here as well. So, like, that that's one of the things that I want to deal with. Um... But we, we better start investing in techs as well. Like, it, it, the fact that we don't have any tech on either of our units here is pretty silly. And uh, if I were them... I have nowhere to snipe, because it doesn't look like there's much to snipe. I kind of love this, though. And then maybe we set that on fire soon. Okay. that That could also be a thing. Okay, so they overdrew this turn to make this play happen. The the Mustangs are shooting where I want them to, but it looks like this is a, a tempo loss with the Mustangs. Um, do I lose this round because Mustang? It's looking likely, yeah. Come on, Mustangs, make your worth! Oh man, they're actually doing okay here. Maybe we do win this round. Oh, huge snipes. Okay. We do manage to win this round as well. I could get phoenixes. Phoenix, <laughs> just full copy them. No, that's, that's a little bit too much of a meme, I think. This game looks good, but my brain is small. Thankfully, this game has a, a surprisingly robust... Um, system for putting you against opponents who are similar skill level scritcher so even if you are terrible it doesn't matter i wouldn't would i would i though perhaps i would perhaps perhaps i would do the thing <laughs> I, I, maybe i would what of it what if I did? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay. Let's get our upgrades. Alternatively, 20 melty points. That That is an interesting alternative. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I'm basically just trying to see if I can make him mad at this point. I think. <laughs> Elite spec, if you don't just roll, it gets really bad. I'm gonna buy this this turn. And an extra shield. And... I don't care about the speed. Pretty happy with everything else. You cannot move your units once you've already placed them in the pr a previous round. That makes it easier so you know uh, what you're building against. Yeah, exactly. Um, th there's like certain ways of getting around that, obviously, but... Uh, it's not really something that you need to concern yourself with too much. My snipers do be leveling. We're just going to be getting a lot more tanks now. <laughs> okay. They also got the, the tank drops, which makes a lot of sense. We need mechanical rage desperately on our... Uh, they, their crawlers are like actually putting in way too much work. Like this, this is a silly amount of effect that they're having. We need to deal with that. They once again overdrew, by the way, which is very much of note. They, they're they now 200 gold down, or 200 supply down from what they, they were at earlier, which is really big. Because the the more they do that, and the more they keep losing, the worse, the, like, it's, it's a death spiral, exactly. A death spiral and a death spiral. Boom. But they're still alive for now. Suggestions? Uh, flank me. Let's see. 
kill him. Kill him. I'm gonna get some of these to punch a shield if I need to. Rhino. With spin or something. Uh, let's see. What what else could they do? Wasps would be good with shield. Wasps would be very good with shield. All right. I'm hoping that this stormcaller set just blows this all up and we're good to go. I don't have a shield this time, but you know what? I better get some shields. They're going to nuke the shit out of me. I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what? If I'm nuking them, there's a good chance they're nuking me. Hackers are an interesting call. That could work. Let's see. I'm hoping my uh, shield protects my most important units. Looks like it did. There's a, there's a fortress still in there. The hacker do be slurping on my, my fortress a little bit. But I don't think it's going to make it happen. Yeah, I, th I think wasps were their best chance there. Alright. There it is. GG. I, uh, I definitely played the opponent there. Yes, <laughs> that was, that was a, kind of a funny one. How many turns does not overdrawing take to pay off? Just one? I mean, it, it, it literally, they, they get minus 100 every time they don't overdraw. Or every, every time they overdraw, they're getting minus 100 total. So, it, it literally, if, if you cannot overdraw over and over and over and your opponent is overdrawing over and over and over you will put them in a really bad spot I think the issue with overdraw is the more that you can't react next turn the more that you can't react next turn than anything else that's true uh, that, that is a big thing if you don't win the round for XP it's outright bad yeah it's it's a nightmare if you don't manage to win I don't tend to overdraw until I think it's like, if I could theoretically kill the turn, that's when I start to overdraw. Or if I'm theoretically dead the turn. Like either one of those. I just got accused of spamming. What is spamming? I assume you use the same unit a lot and they didn't know how to beat it, Smirk. <laughs> they literally... <laughs> that's... Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. I, I said it earlier... You don't get mad at somebody for using scissors when you keep playing paper. You just play rock. Spamming equals I don't know how to play the game. True. Steel balls or sledges? Oh, for, for what they're doing. Just snipers, Mustang, Arclight, Vulcan. How many units did they have, Smirk? Maybe they thought it was supposed to be like an honorable duel. Like 1v1, you were supposed to pick a unit. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it's an interesting concept. Okay, how, what, what are we at right now? I was at top 1,000 when I started the stream. I'm still I'm still in there. There we go. This is my highest. We've, we've climbed back from the depths. Sniper's mid, gentleman's agreement. Yeah. Exactly. If, if you don't run exactly one sniper mid... And no, and no, no items, no shields. Dude, how sick would it be? No, that'd be dumb. I was like, what? What if you tr just tried to like use shields and missiles, and like you had you had to only have like a very tiny amount of units? A maximum unit count run. That sounds like a fun challenge. We almost had that on the one run with the the Vulcan fortress. Working together. 
but that's that's a bit of a meme. That's for certain. All right, we're on a five-game win streak. No, he's on a five-game win streak or more. I'm I'm doing okay myself now. But this guy's kind of balling, and he's he's way better than me. He's got 1600 MMR, the same uh, combat power. All right. Uh, I don't ever quick supply spec because it just feels bad later. This supply spec looks nice. I'll be real. For a very long time, I just picked the thing that had the highest HP because I just assumed all of the, the classes were good. I'm slowly realizing that not all of the classes are good. I Well, I, I don't know. I think they're all pretty good. They're just... Some of them are better than others. Supply Specialist seems to be, like, universally beloved. I really like Elite Spec, though. Elite Spec is my, my, is my sleeper bay. Elite Supply and Cost Control are my favorite. Um, okay, they got four Snipers. And my Arc Lights are trash. I'm liking the look of a, a split of some Crawlers on the back line here. Yeah, I think I'd just go for some crawlers and lamau them a little bit. That looks good. Early tech feels weak. I think that depending on your unit composition, early tech can be good. I'm gonna put these guys a little bit further out. This guy's a little far up. I just want this guy to defend the storms, I think, so we're gonna put him further back. Losing to spamming equals you you don't know how to play the game. It, I lose the fangs, spam. <laughs> fangs are one of those units where it's just like, I don't know how to play them. I don't know how to play against them. I just know that they're really, really annoying. <laughs> I've really got to figure out how to... How to handle that one still. Alright, how do I feel about this composition... Looks like he should win. Well, I don't know. He did, he did buy crawlers into my arc lights. Let's see. Maybe I have a decent chance. The storms are pretty good into the snipers, but pretty bad into the tanks. It's gonna come right down to it, I think. Murder them! No! Kill them all! Please! Do it! I believe. Yes! Don't shoot that. Oh, wait. He, he won't kill it in one hit. It's fine. Please. What is this aim? They don't know how to aim. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, whatever. They need to tune fangs. Uh, they ran away with the game if they get the upper. Yeah, that, that is how it feels. They, they do just kind of run away with the game. If they can get a lead. Haste module's pretty hog. What would I put it on? I'm feeling the the spam here is looking really good. I think I can get a little up close and personal here. I think we take the haste for later. And for now, we just ask ourselves what unit would be really irritating to deal with here. Sledges. Steel balls beat sledges, but lose to snipers. Hmm. You know, I like my own snipers here. I think I think some snipers to handle their snipers would be good. Let's do that. I'll put them like this. I want to use more uh, more garbage this time. Just some trash units. My my arc lights right now are doing a great job. So hopefully we can keep that. We, we might put some fangs in front of them or something. Oh, I should have moved that guy. Okay, they got long range on their snipers already. 
180 range, so they, they might just insta-snipe my arc lights. That's my main concern. Yeah, they did not insta-snipe my arc lights, which is great news. Arc lights doing good work. We're, we're definitely gonna be losing our, our front line here. Okay. They're just shooting all willy-nilly. They don't know where to shoot. These tanks are doing some serious work. Fangs are looking pretty juicy here. I think we take... Ooh. Yeah, I think we take tech spec. And we go into some fangs. I don't know if we want to start leveling fangs, necessarily. Like, it's, it's a little late for that. But just having some stuff in front of our arc lights would be good. Keeping our arc lights alive seem ver seems very important at this point. Aren't fangs gonna melt the tanks? Not if I get shields on them eventually. Also, the tanks are dying really fast, so... We'll see. I'm gonna get my own range on my snipers. And, uh, no. We're all 180. We are all 180! I don't know what I'm putting this haste module on yet, but I, I sense that a, a rhino flank is going to come into play here. I think I'm just going to get that that sensation and I'm going to place a rhino down. I'm going to save it. So they are going mass sniper sledge. Very par for the course. So I need to ask myself what beats sniper sledge. Hmm. Fangs can play the role of Mustangs to kill off these split crawlers while being good beefy chaff. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I'm hoping they'll do, but we'll see. I keep just barely losing. But these snipers are getting rolling, which is a little alarming. I think we'll get some orbital jab. Ooh. I love me one of these plays. Just just burn them. If they want to place down a shit ton of shields this round, go for it. Be my guest. I do not mind. So if they're going mass sniper... I feel like my arc lights could use a boost. And that's pretty darn cheap to do. Do I want to get long range or shield here? Not sure yet, but I, I do definitely want some more of these guys. And I'm, I'm going to put them, like, back here. And they'll show up late to, to draw aggro after the tanks are dead. I'm gonna buy the long range. And we'll see how that plays. Feels bad holding onto this haste module. But that's how it be. I have a bad feeling about this play. There's a really good chance they just block this entire thing. Okay. They did not block the entire thing. But they did kill one side. Hmm. So do I take to air here? It's kind of what it's looking like, is I, I just go air. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> Are we gonna lose this? Surely not. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we win these. Please stop shooting my high-value units. Alright. The, the double fire turn 
feels good, man. Okay. I will orbital strike them as well. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the orbital strike. Some extra range on the storms would be nice. The question is, do I want to uh, buy that this turn? I, I feel like I could just do that this turn and that would be okay. I'm waiting for the, the wasp gut shot to come into play. But I, I think we're a little ways away still. Hmm. Hear me out. Hear me out. Buy one of these guys. Yeah, it is. It, this is the siren song from Darkest Dungeon. Definitely a banger. Okay. Some more of these guys would be good. We'll put them out on the, the far side there. And these guys survived last time, so they get the shield. I might accidentally be repeating history. Okay, well that was just a wasted level 2 rhinoceros. We're just going to sell that immediately, I imagine. I can't really see myself doing anything else with it. This is, uh... This is getting rough. Okay, so I think we're losing this one. Yeah, Darkest Dungeon 1 specifically. I haven't played 2. I, it's sad that it's, it sounds like people didn't really like Darkest Dungeon 2. Because it looked really cool. It was a very pretty game. But I guess the format was different enough that people didn't like it. Ouch. That one hurt. Level 3 Elite Steel Balls, I don't think does much. EMP's cool. And it's on a two-rounder, and it's cheap. We'll, we'll do a little EMP shenanigans. Something like that would be good. Do I start doing fire? From a, a lot of the opinions you saw? Uh, or, oh, they were improved on full release. That's good to hear. I was going to say, I feel like it really didn't deserve the rap it got. Because it seemed quite cool. I'm going to give this guy one more try. I'll, I'll give him a chance to, to thrive. Me mechanical Rage is cheap. And I think at some point I'm going to be going Rhinos later anyway. Let's grab the range. And... Do I just want some crawlers to wander in? I, I feel like a couple crawlers just wandering in wouldn't be the worst here. Some backline crawlers. Is that Mr. Worldwide? Who? Did, did this rhino? Yes. Looks like uh, you're just going to stall and tank uh, the sniper shots with chaff. To uh, be honest, you're not even killing anything from long range for now. And start spamming speed uh, button or something? Maybe. Maybe drop some shitty crawlers, uh... Hang on. You're, you're thinking like this. Oh my god. They, they do be spamming the crawlers out. Oh my god. Yeah, th those are just doing way- What is he doing? He just got completely stuck. Alright, well... That was some decent stall on the, the right side, at least. So there's that. But now that they have Elite Marksman, 227 range. That's pretty terrifying. Oh, I'm not dealing with their sledges fast enough. My fangs are living well. Shoots you from a different lobby. That's, that's how it's feeling. Hmm. What do I do into this? Is the answer wasps? I'm I'm having the thing happen to me that happened to the the, the other guy last time. Where I'm just losing to the, the mass range spam. I think we just get the the schnasty wasps here. Speed bonus is good. Speed bonus is very nice. 
Okay, it's waspin' time. Do I get leveled wasps? Put a Vulcan behind your rhino. I think that's a bad idea. More crawlers, more wasps. Just, just go in. Just send it. Okay. I'm just gonna try and beat the one side for now. Yeah, shield tech needs to happen. Absolutely. These guys being leveled doesn't hurt. Can I land a missile on these guys? No. <laughs> Imagine. That would have been ideal. All in 40 storm collars. I can't just keep going 40 storm collars, um. Or can I? Mobile beacon for your rhino? I feel like this rhino is not making it. There's just too much garbage in the way. Maybe that angle is just right. We'll we'll live the dream. What the shit? They fought a Vulcan! No! He got turned! Rest in peace. Okay. All of my wasps are getting stalled. Jesus Christ, what happened on the left? Alright, wasps, do it! Bzz, bzz. Bzz. They they double flanked me. That's why my my crawlers didn't show up on the one side. All right. The wasps are working exceedingly well. They're definitely doing the thing I need them to. Also, the shielded um, the shielded fangs were pretty stupid as well. Oh my god, we're still gonna lose. Not like this. 80 storm callers. Why do you want so many storm call? Uh, uh, don't you get sick of seeing storms? Bruh. 227 range. 227 freaking range. These are the fastest attacking snipers I've ever seen. Oh, hero! Do it, do it, do it, do it. Trade. Two missiles, go. Alright, this is, uh, this is, there's no way they don't just, like, completely obliterate me this time. Uh, larger EMP? May, may chance? Is Ion decent here? Ion's pretty okay here. Let's do it. Just blast these three. Blast those three idiots and be happy. Do I try to burninate them? I don't know. I want... Do I want ground spec or range? They're going to go mass stang. I should get fire. And just start laying down fire everywhere. A little bit of... Oh, what the... That's not what I wanted. Just do a little bit of that. A little bit more of this. And... Look at these wasps. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted. I'm freaking out because I'm running out of time. Okay. Then what? I should really have sold this guy by now. Just try to kill those guys. And we'll save the oil. Give me the damage. I'm panicking. Okay. EMP hit quite a few of my wasps. That is undeniable. This is this is a lot of fire. The Stangs are not going to appreciate this fire. Alright. Um... What's even happening? It's like one crawler over there being a problem. 
Looks like the left wasps are uh, going to carry me, maybe. All the right wasps got destroyed, but all the left wasps remain. Go, my wasps! Buzz them! All right. We definitely need firestorms. It's it's really just gonna turn into it, this is a game of Mustang versus Wasp at the end of the day. Everybody knew that. No, we're we're selling this Rhino, a hundred percent. Yes, I will. I will. Indeed. Absolutely, I'll nuke them. I don't I don't tell me about the consequences of my actions. Just let me do it. 160 storm colors. Why are you why are you just making up arbitrary amounts of storm colors? How's that going to help anyone? Light that all on fire, please. They already have fire. These are already for fire colors. Just just more more colors. Range? Range me? More range me? Recycle for me. Anybody remember those commercials? Uh... A yeah, little, little bit of this, a little bit of that. Maybe a, uh... Oh god, I'm panicking. Stop! You're freaking me out! <laughs> You're freaking me out! <laughs> With the cliff. Don't do it. Okay. There we go. Is this is this good? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Little little stall arena on that guy, because they they're they're real strong. Oh Jesus! This is this is a fiasco. No. No. Goodbye. Uh, okay. There's so much fire. There's so much fire. This is such a stupid game. <laughs> All right, I think the wasps have hit their stride. They're they're in carry mode. We're doing it. Okay, I'm pogging up. Did we win? We're we're not winning the game off of this, but I think my my wasps are off the ground. Well, I mean, obviously they're off. They're they're, they're flying, but like they're also scaling. Acid blast me. Super heavy armor me? Um... 240 storm collars. There's too many storms. I like this song. Yeah, the ability count is going up. I think this is, a uh, This is... It's one of these. <laughs> Why not? Alright. Uh, one of these go here, and then we do a little sell. Uh, let's get the upgrades. We're gonna want the... Do we want elite or ground damage? I feel like the ground damage is better. And we'll, we'll get the range. Beacon your wasps to his right tower. It is pretty vulnerable, isn't it? Yeah, let's get these guys going over that way. Something like that. Okay, do we need more... What do we need more of? More wasps? No, we, we want more collars. We need we need the collars to, to deal with the... Um, the whatchamashits. I'm afraid of... <laughs> the range is fucked up! Uh, I don't have the wasp movement tech, no. I'm, I'm running carry wasps. These wasps are made for carrying. And hopefully that's exactly what they'll do. No! 
Okay. This is such a stupid game. <laughs> so many. There's so many. I, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm in awe of the stupidity that is this round. Are we winning? I, th I think we're winning. I think the wasps beat the mustangs. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Music's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Did we win off that? Maybe. Yeah! Team Wasp! <laughs> GG. That was- that, I told you it was gonna come back- or come down to Team Wasp versus Team Mustang. And of course, of course. Please understand, we trained in- <laughs> Cover the screen. <laughs> School, yes. Just, there it is. Oh, that guy was on like a huge win streak too. This is gonna be a- a juicy one. I can feel it. We get our level up. 28 with 4. That, that, that's, that's solid. That's good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was... I don't know how I, I topped that win. That was like a... I feel like I was losing that game the entire time. Mostly just because the tanks in the middle were really annoying. I really feel like Sledge is a, an underrated unit. God, the low quality looks terrible. It's, it's so messed up. Ugh. But yeah, Carry Wasp set is dank. I, I used to run Jump Drive all the time, uh, but then I'm like, you know what? Long range is actually broken because being able to match a uh, Mustang range... I mean, it's, it's not matching on its own with anti-air and long range, don't get me wrong, but... It's closer. It's a lot closer. Yeah, that was that was a struggle. But that was a fun match. Yeah, let's let's do another one. Last match. Here we go. One way or another, I'm going to I'm going to call it after this cuz this has been a good little little stream. I didn't ha make any time for Rain World today, but um we'll, we'll make some time for Rain World tomorrow. We'll we'll open Rain World and do some more Mechabellum. Uh, like I said, I've, I've been grinding this game. I've been having a really good time with it. And uh, I will be continuing to play it. In case anybody hasn't followed already. You know, keep, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Today's been a, a very good stream. And a lot of fun. Many new folks. Alright, I like air spec. I like giant spec. Crawler, collar versus steel ball crawler. Th thank you, dumb. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Crawler Crawler. Or the Storm Crawler, as some would call it. Specifically Dom and nobody else, because it's Storm Crawler, not Crawler. Obviously, everybody knows that. Okay, we got... Stang. Boss Control Spec. What would I do if I were them? I don't know. I don't really like their starting setup. That seems pretty rough. Although I guess it's like the... I don't know, maybe it's good. I don't know how many how many arc lights I want. I'm gonna put them toward the middle. Make them come to us. It's totally acceptable to call them storm crawlers. <laughs> it says who? <laughs> Remember when I first started playing the video game and I stacked all my units on top of each other? I remember. I remember that far too well. I'm like, okay, we just put them all on top of each other right up at the front. And that's the optimal position. I feel like with the right composition of units, that might be true. Oh, Jesus, they're doing it to me. They're doing it to me. They're really just kind of full sending here. Does this work? This better not fucking work. The crawlers are eating my tower! 
Stop it! Stop them! <laughs> They're munching. Okay, we got them. We got their tower first. There's no way this strategy works, right? The tower lived. Heroic tank tower. Can you do hero hour tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely, Splatter Cake. You want me to open with hero hour or finish with hero hour? Um, shield spec is nice here. Rhino drop is funny. Arc light armor, easy. True, probably. I kind of just want charge shot. If I go charge shot, then I just like one doink everything. I think yeah, let's go charge shot and just spam arc lights at them. That sounds funny as fuck. Char char charge shot arc lights beat balls. Finish because then uh, I don't know when I wake up. Uh, my missus. Okay, yeah, sounds good. We'll, we'll do it at the finish then. Rapid storm callers. I don't have rapid storm callers. I could also go hacker, but I think. Do we just sell these collars? Nah, I think we keep them for now. Two of these. And... One of these. Let's hope that works. Rhinoceros! They, they'd be going for the rhino of their own. I don't think that hit quite the way I wanted. But that that's a that's a very nicely timed rhinoceros in the back line there. Oh god, they have a rhino too! <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> okay. No, run away! Oh god! It's a mask! <laughs> it's just not like this. It wasn't he was too young. They should- they really gotta give the- the Stormcallers a close range weapon. And where they can run. You gonna take a shot or are you just gonna sit there? You're just gonna sit there, huh? I'm just gonna let this happen. These bastards, they could have done anything and they did nothing. Have you seen Ball staying on the- the line so far? Oh my god, I lost. Do I actually- okay. I thought I to lose to this stupid backline rhino. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Movement speed is necessary, even if it's just to take it off there. Off the table for them. Um, ha they're making hackers real juicy, but I, I can't go with this turn. Boat is gonna be nice too. That's for true. Let's, uh, let's just unlock the boat for now. And I think we'll, we'll put these guys over here. This level up is not super meaningful. I feel like I could very well go into crawlers this game, so I'm gonna invest there. Uh, the rhino, the natural world's sneakiest ambush predator. Yeah, of course. Everybody knows. The rhino is the sneakiest ambush predator. Okay. So I want them baited over there. And we've got... How many? There we go. I, th I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. At this round. Ah! <laughs> Side rhino! It's okay, we've got charge shot. Charge shot, ri charge shot, OP! Did you see that damage? We chunked him. Dude. The chunkage from the arc lights. Look at that. Fuck your balls. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. I'm loving that. Loving everything about that. These arc lights are, are balling. Amp pour on an arc light, maybe? Sussin. This is really standard thing uh, to see in higher MMR games. What? What my opponent's doing? I've definitely seen this quite a lot. Minus the Rhino. 
Yeah, the side rhino is a little peculiar, I won't lie. But yeah, dealing with this, like, uber frontline shenanigans is rough at times, that's for certain. Do I go Overlord here, or do I go for something else? I feel like Overlord does pretty well. And then maybe we get some more crawlers. It's funny that I put the... <laughs> the amp core on there. They could go Overlord with Photon. It seems likely that they will. It's it's a pretty natural pick into this, I think. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. More damage. More deeps. They also went speed bonus, by the way. Okay. Let's see how quick we punch through this Rhino. Pretty quick. Could you s oh, they got range. Jesus, man. This- this shit is so degenerate. <laughs> okay. Are we winning this? I think we're winning this, but it's gonna be real close. The, the thing is, is they just take all your space, right? That's- that's the idea behind this. Can you sell and rebuy the Ark? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I definitely could. The one that's too far forward. But I, I think I should just get some more frontline, honestly. Getting some replica crawlers would make sense. Improved Wasp is fucking dank. Is Improved Wasp insane here? They've got a lot of stangs. You're getting javid. I am. More boats. I'm grabbing this, and I'm I'm grabbing this. Level these boys up. How you doing, virtual back? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. What would be a good stall unit? I feel like we've got a good amount of these going at this point. I should probably flank them. This is just kind of a free round if I do the. Oh my god, why? Why? Why doesn't that land? Okay, just focus on that. And uh, we need some stuff in, in front of here. Elite Marksman arcs. Yeah, that's on the way definitely on the way. I think we get Replicate here on our crawlers. We'll grab the Phoenix for now. Beaconed crawlers. I don't know where to put these guys. But I don't want them where they currently are. Yeah, here comes the Javelin. Rest and rip. Blech. Okay. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> they have so many Mustangs. I'm gonna need EMP, that's for sure. Virtual Beck, thank you for the 17 months strengthening their armada. I appreciate the hell out of that. Okay, we, we need shields on our, uh, on our arcs. Because they're not tanking hard enough. I've never seen people use Mustangs in this composition. Oh, man. This is gonna get really rough, isn't it? I- I have the- the plan. Nano seems fine here. Okay, give me one of these. Give me the rhino in the back. This is covered for a while. I- I'm so tempted to sell these, but I could also go fire. So I- I don't think we do. PvP or computer? This is uh, this is player versus player. I could start stealing their shit. I had a brilliant idea here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Just get these guys armor. That that's big. Do I just start stealing shit? That's that's the main question. 
And I think the answer is yes. Just a couple of hacker, maybe just one hacker for now. And then what else? More arc lights, perhaps? More crawlers. For sure. Alright. Yeah, I know EXPing the hacker is really good, but it was kind of out of the question in this scenario. Oh, God! That's an insanely tanky Vulcan. All right, we're going boom rhinos as soon as possible. And they're flanking with their rhino. We are flanking with our rhino. We'll see how that goes. Nice, big. Is it working? I think I think it's kind of working. These guys are now invulnerable to everything. <laughs> they just don't take damage anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> when's the last time you see a Vulcan surrounded by crawlers? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, they're dead! They're just dead! <laughs> what a turn! Holy moly! Armor Arc Vulcan, uh, yeah, it, it just stood there forever. No! They said no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Why not? <laughs> I don't I didn't do anything like degen. Like I I don't get it. <laughs> it's it's on the game. I thought it was a good match. I feel like I did some cool stuff. I I I think that if he went fangs instead of um instead of crawler stang, I just lost though. The fact that he didn't was kind of was kind of why I won. How you doing, Tommy? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. How'd the damage go on this guy? Is that 160,000? I mean, that's that's pretty good. How dare you win? <laughs> true, true. That's, that's... How dare I? But yeah, defending those, those like, really forward positions, I struggle a lot with that. I, I, I need to learn how to play it, and I need to learn how to play against it. So I, I welcome... I welcome matches like that. I should have saved that match, so that way I could have played it from his side. To think about, like, what I would have done against me. I gotta remind myself to just, like, save matches more often. I've only got, like, a handful. This one's gonna be going on to YouTube soon. Me versus uh, Ryan Gosling's left toe. Idol says, uh, I'm honestly confused how uh, many people get super salty over uh, the generally automatic GG. I mean, I've, just, I've been saying GG since I was, like, a freaking child. So, like, that's not going to stop. I will never stop saying GG. I'm I'm almost top 200 regional, which is good or in the division. That's exciting. I said I was going to stop, but I'm seeing people first time chatting and it's making me really want to keep playing. <laughs> it's just exactly, it's just sportsmanship. Exactly. I agree. We don't mind. I I'm sure. Oh man, by the way, has anybody... Uh, I know that there's some gamers out here who have been trying the solo survival mode. How have you been liking survival mode? You like first time chats? I love first time chats, Polo. Welcome. <laughs> uh, look at that. We're on the five game win streak. Pog. You grinded it when you bought the game? It's really hard. It just feel it feels like how it feels to play a normal auto battler because it's just pure RNG bullshit. And it, it, it like I said, it feels a lot more like a traditional auto battler, which is the reason why I like this game is because you just get to pick your units 
you don't have to deal with the the oh here's a random rotation of units that everybody is selecting from the same pool haha <laughs> so dumb uh th this is a uh, a turn based it's a, it's a turn based well it's not turn it's it's an auto battler you set up your units and then they battle and it's it's like chess kind of it's not like chess at all auto, auto chess though is a term that some people know are there any, like, 2,000 MMR gamers that can tell me how to place my units? I relate it to chess? Yeah, I, I'd say, like, Super Auto Pets meets chess a lot of the time. The Super Auto Pets thing is just because I, I was... That was the other auto battler that I got really deep in. You've got 60 seconds. Uh... Hmm... Fangs. Do I just go more fangs here? I'm just, I'm just gonna go more fangs. Why not? We'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of this. This is very different from my usual starting position. But we're gonna try it out. This isn't quite the hyper aggro that I've seen people do. These guys are too close. Something like that. That's a nice spacing. Because I just want to take space. I hate it when people nuke my shielded knights and pawn rush me. Same. Oh god. Do we win these? I love how on um, low settings, which is what I've been playing on, units just, they just kind of like slide. It's pretty goofy. All right, we're, we're losing a lot of units to the flyers, which makes sense. Are we winning this? I'm gonna say the answer is a, a fat no. You like to have a four uh, gap between Fang and Fortress? Noted. So do I just get Fortress next turn? I, I No, I guess I can't afford it yet because of the class that I am. I, I guess I could sell my balls for a Fortress. Do people ever just hard stick to one side? Yeah. Your goal is to level up your Fangs. Gotcha. What if more fangs? Yeah, hear me out. We get the range. Do we sell the balls to get more fangs? I think a, a well-placed sniper here would, would do a lot. And we'll unlock another unit for now. I'm really out of my depth with fan gameplay. Like, it, it, it's, this is me experimenting hard after winning a bunch. I, I really want to try and understand how to do... How do, how do fang, you know? That's where I'm at right now. Please, no storms. Oh my god, that's a lot of arcs. Okay. That's a logical purchase. So what do I do against this many arcs? I, I guess the the shielded fortress is going to be really good here. Is the, the main answer. Hmm. This one sniper seems like he, he's doing pretty okay. What is that aggro? Dude! No! Rip. Doubling down on snipers. Yeah, snipers seem pretty good here. Yeah, Fangs did just get a bunch of kills on arcs. That's true. The XP is the most important thing. I love this song. This is Hat, right? Hat in Time. That's a fun game. Got a couple level ups. 
Orbital Bombardment doesn't do much against me. Photon Emission is nice with the super aggro positioning. Amp Core is kind of cute. The answer is more fangs and mech rage. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take Photon Emission because I always hate it when my like super aggro opponent takes that against me. So, do I get the mech rage now or later? Probably later. And, uh... I guess we'll get some upgraded fangs for now. Now, do we start flanking? I don't think we start flanking yet. You want to make sure we're leaving space for fortress eye, for fortresses. Let's get the damage. Just uh, play out around and reset. If you buy new stuff, uh, move them around. Uh, so ba basically, every time you do a round, your your opponent is in fog of war. I can't tell what my opponent's going to do. I just have to guess what they're going to do, and I have to try and beat what they're trying to do. Um, I, I feel like a shield here. It's really good. So my my sole objective is to essentially outpredict my opponent. To, to put it very simply, more arc light slain. Love to see that. Yeah. So you can't really change too much about what you have, um, unless you start like buying and selling. And there there's various ways of moving your units as well. Holy shit. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, chat. I'm fanging. Are you proud of me? I bought a unit. <laughs> and it's, it's killing everything now. Isn't that wacky? Do I buy Mechanical Rage now just to rip through everything? I feel like this just blows through everything now. And like one extra sniper is pretty juicy here too. Okay. Oh, thank you, Alcan Mechanist. That's that's very kind. Mech Rage and drop more fangs with what money? I guess I could sell my balls. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep them for now because I I feel like they're they're pretty helpful. No, they've got range now too, and they have more range than I have health. Your opponent's sniper decision was odd. I agree. It was a very peculiar choice. That is a, a very logical choice, though. I think it's time to get my, my fortresses. My, my fortresses. And that is a, a sniper. Let's, let's hope this works. Oh god, they're dying so fast. Am I just extremely fucked this time? <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. Everything is dead. Polo, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. Murder them all! Do it! We believe! They're not gonna murder them all. I'm just trying to give them a little bit of hope. They, they did pretty well for themselves. They gotta level up. That's all I can ask. That's all I can ask of my fangy boys. Heavy arc light. I would be okay if they took that. Do I take acid blast here? I think I do. There's a there's a reasonable chance they don't defend their dude from getting acid blasted. It's a pretty hefty cost to defend. Well, I guess it's 100, but you know, you know, what did I pay? 250. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Uh, give me a little little barrier. I didn't make enough room! The fortress is too thick! Do I have to put the fortress in front? Is that the correct play? Oh my god, it needs to be four spaces, not three. Shit! <laughs> oh god! <clears throat> uh... Oh yeah, that's that's the play. We just sell. Hang on. It's It's worth it to get the positioning correct. Four spaces. Woo-wee. Okay. 
and we'll, we'll grab this combination of units. Gifted sub for a win. Come on, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my best to virtual pick. Now the pressure's on. Okay. That's, that's another one. This guy's getting acided for shit. That is glorious. Okay. My balls, they're doing it! I need to sell my balls. They're, they're really just not very helpful at this point, sadly. This fortress is going through the acid, isn't he? Yup, yup, there he goes! On his way to fucking die! Oh my god. He chose not to. He chose life! The fortress chose life! <laughs> No, he didn't. He chose life for but a moment. Why are you doing this to yourself? Alright. I'm gonna accept this as a... You know, we're, we're scaling. It's a scaling loss. <laughs> this is an L. I mean, this round is a loss for sure. Time to sell balls and buy two forts, true. Mass produce forced for the, the what did I say? Elite elite fangs. Sure. Okay. You were wrong! I've been lied to! <laughs> there isn't enough room at all! <sighs> oh no. Mass Ford is strong. I'm sure it is. I'm just gonna say he can be in the front. And if we need to adjust, we will. But we have we have these things now, which are very juicy. Something along this line. Next time you gotta measure the spaces. I'm I'm learning that, yeah. It is probably worth to do that. Okay. This guy's getting melting pointed to heck in the very near future, but I'm just gonna have to deal with that for the time being. Yeah, they're going they, my dude just placed a fortress in the acid! You know what acid does to a large lad like this? Look at his poor HP! Oh my god. This guy's crazy. Alright. Rest in peace, this guy. Alright. The fangs are uh, fanging. This is working very well. It gives AoE XP if it dies like that, Dom. <laughs> you are completely incorrect on that. You have armor pen for fangs? I have ignite. Yeah. I, th I think I'll just give it to them now, honestly. More deeps. More deeps, more dots. I'm going to give them the enhanced range this turn because I'm, I'm feeling a little spicy. Let's grab uh, that and... <laughs> Sell my balls? Yeah, EXP that doesn't go to a specific unit is shared. Shield Specialist was good. I thought Shield Specialist didn't work with Fortress, which is why I didn't take it. Okay. It's, it's time for the flankening. The flankening of our time. A little bit of that. Only works on devices. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Okay. More snipplers. This is a an interesting way to play the video game, and by interesting I mean kind of bullshit. 
You're buying shield specialists for literally nothing half your games, rip. <laughs> Today I learned. All right, I'm glad that I I, uh, I read the fine print. That makes me happy. Sniper range could be good, that's true. Oh, the javelin. Live! All right. This is a bit of a feed on this side. But we can just accept that. It's cost of doing business. I think we're winning this. Yeah, especially with that proc. I'm liking the the purchases that have happened so far in this game. I feel like I put together a fang team that wasn't super susceptible to bullshit. Like the the little extra snipers, they they feel really nice in this. All right. Now I've got this funny flank. Strike specialist is okay here. I double read the card. Curious how I read it wrong. I don't know. It just happens sometimes. Do we go with improved over... Oh, that's improved overlord. I thought it was mass overlord. Your flanks are open. That's true. We should just place some missiles down on the sides there. Uh, Ukrainian in a bell tower. Thank you for the follow. I hope you were safe in said bell tower. Let's do a bunch of this. Bunch of, bunch of level ups. Beautiful. Use a, another one of these dudes. And uh, what if I had them all summon fangs? Thoughts on that? Thoughts on that one, chat? Two missiles on your, year, your rear. Yeah, that's that seems like a good call. My forts do have fang factory. I just purchased it. Fang gang! <laughs> just... Dude, hmm, what do you think about more fangs to go with our fangs? I'm gonna buy speed and range this time. And... Like a, a another sniper pairing. Fort Summon is so good. Yeah, it's way better than it has any right to be, honestly. It's pretty darn strong. Jesus, they got the punches! <laughs> it's a Fort War! <laughs> It's a fortress fight. I'm I'm afraid. Do I win this still? I don't I don't know. I feel like the the punches are too dangerous. Maybe we do. I think we do just because we've got the space. If I weren't so close, I think I would lose, but because I've got the the distance that I do, we win this. All right. Oh my god, fangs are stupid! GG. I finally kinda get it. Today was a very productive day on the ladder, I must say. I, I started off a little bit tilted, losing as as one does when, when I stream. So I, I'd rather entertain then oh my god there's more people all right we're just gonna keep going then <laughs> Barry the pig thank you for bringing your folks over this way that's incredibly kind of you virtual bet gifting a subscription because we won the video game today is a perfect day thank you virtual Beck. thank you Perry the pig for bringing your folks on over welcome on in were you doing uh some mecha bellum as well i've been loving this game my games i i was struggling this morning but we're we're making a comeback i'm at my all-time high right now uh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad to meet, uh, even more Mecha Bellum people, Perry. Uh, welcome on in. <laughs> it's a, it's a lovely emote. Hang on, let me, let me do one of those. Beautiful. Make sure you follow Perry the Pig for more Mecha Bellum. Uh, let me, let me make sure I'm all caught up here. Bang Gang is hard to start, but easy to snowball. Yeah, they're, they're interesting. It's an interesting setup. I feel weird using it. It feels wrong buying one unit a lot, you know? Feels like you should have, like, a nice mix, but... It's very much one of those games. I was gonna stop because it's 8 o'clock for me, but I gotta do at least one more game for... for Perry and gang. Uh, we're, we're closing in on top 200 regional, which is cool. And, uh, worldwide, we're closing in on top 500, which is great. We're, we're making 
some distance. Hey, Michaela. Hi. I just got another raid, so I'm going to play at least one more game. Okay, and what do then... you want for I don't know. Whatever you'd like. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese and some air fryer potatoes, maybe? Some seasoned air fryer potatoes? What's wrong with starch? It's like two side dishes. It's almost like side dishes are better than main dishes. You ever consider that? Like, that's like what about what about some red cabbage yeah. in the air fryer? How about that? There you go, mac and cheese and red cabbage and anything else. Well, maybe some cucumber on the side. That'll yeah. do. There you go. Sounds good. You want that soon? This is my last game, so uh, just just an hour. Ow. I'm I'm just kidding. I was just saying that because what? whenever I tell you last game, it's like an hour because that's I accidentally played like, like two or three games. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, last night, I'm like, you're gonna come to bed. He's like, yeah, okay, I'll just finish this game and I'll come to bed. Like, I swear it was like an hour or two later I come back out. I'm like, you said you were just gonna finish I that forgot! Game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, have fun. Would you grab some more water? Water? Some more water, yeah. The game is a drug. I bought it on the 27th. We started today with 150 hours. Yes, this game, this game is just addiction. It's, I don't know if it's ruining my life or if it's making my life better. It's, it's hard to say. I'd love to know people's favorite builds in this game, by the way. Also, I don't know if I said it already, Gavarian, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, have you got a favorite build? Marksman Sledge feels real comfy to me. 280 storm colors, mass balls. I haven't managed to make mass balls work. I feel like I always just splash the balls in, and I don't. I don't have like a ton of them. Hi, hi. Thank you. I want to make hackers work. I feel like hackers are super funny, but I only ever grab like one or two because, once again, just going mass hacker feels dumb. This is a. This is a start for cost control spec. Steel ball, heavy armor. We got some healthy choices. Elite spec is my favorite, but I'm trying to get away from doing pure elite spec. We'll go cost control. I like cost control. The, the one problem with cost control is uh, your sledges get like one shot a lot of the time by snipers when they wouldn't otherwise, which is not good. If you get XP card early on, hackers uh, should work well. Which which XP card? You mean like level 3 hackers? Because yeah, level 3 hackers are obviously dank. I gotta stop placing my uh, my arc lights like that, because they keep getting missiled. I'm, I'm trying to break that habit. It's not a good habit. Alright, um, crawlers are looking great here. Grab a couple of those, and I really want to kill their sniper, so I'm gonna place down. Uh, so if I kill their sniper, I get a ton of XP. So if I can force the win on the round, then I will absolutely try to do that. So let's uh, let's place down a missile. Do I now? The question is, do I am I willing to place down two missiles for the XP? Like, is the XP worth two missiles? I think it's worth one missile, but I don't know if it's worth two. Where should arcs go instead? Um, I mean, you can put them on the inside, like here-ish, or you can put them where I'm placing here, which covers flanks pretty well. And it's it, the only problem is that it spreads out their units a lot more. But um, if if you place your arc light directly in front of the tower and you have crawlers behind it, uh, when the crawlers go forward, the mi a missile will hit both of them, which is why I, I've stopped placing them like that, Mr. Mevo. Um... Yeah, it's it's just one of those things. It's it's a bit of a minute thing, but it, it does matter quite a lot as far as I'm concerned. It changes things. This guy is ooh, oh, ah. fine. Oh, that was a sweet snipe. That was really good. You never realize you always put them in front of the tower and the crawler behind. It, see, I've I've been doing that for a while too, but that I'm trying really hard to like refine my my skill and play. And part of that is recognizing patterns in 
like little mistakes like that that I've been making because th this game is all about like it, it's part positioning and it's it's part um what, what's the other thing it's it's part countering right so if, if you're ignoring your positioning entirely you're you're putting yourself at a, a disadvantage the advice is just don't put your arc lights directly in front of your towers if you're gonna put your crawlers behind them like that improved wasp is hilarious and we're cost control so fuck it we're wasping this is a wasp game now is it a wasp game this turn sure why not once again wasp uh Again, 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 ist wasp versus mustang. What? The way you said that mate, broke my brain. Intense tra training is so good. Intense training is one of my favorite things to take, but I'm trying to mess around with more stuff. I feel like if you do the exact same thing over and over, uh, you won't develop more strategies. So part of me trying to develop more strategies is trying more weird shit like this. So they, their sniper ended up getting exploded last time. This time we'll see what happens. This I'm a little worried for this side. They've got a lot of chaff that we do not have. But I'm, I'm thinking that... Um, oh wow, that's that's looking really good. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna win the left the, the left side pretty well. But the right side's looking super clean for us. I think we win overall. But it might be close. The way the the tower exchanges always happen tend to be where games are won and lost. This is <laughs> I feel like this early game interaction is messed up. Hmm. I think we're winning with our wasps. They get another level up on their ball. Almost. They almost got level 3 balls there. Not quite. We've got level 2 wasps. I want to level these wasps to the moon. That's my long term plan so random who aggro's what it's not random it's just weird it, it they um base a lot of stuff on turn speed you think that hits i think that hits it's the closest unit it's the the fastest to shoot it's not the closest unit because sometimes it, it, like if turn radius comes into play that that's the thing. Did you see the meme? Which which meme? Oh, well, welcome back there, Horatio. Oh, the meme you linked. I did not see the meme. Hang on. Do, are, are we just gonna go more wasp? More? I I think more wasp, more chaff is good here. They're probably gonna go into stangs, but I don't care. I do not mind that. I kind of like these guys coming from the middle. Skippy Goober. That's a really fun name. Thank you for the follow. I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far today. Um, a little bit of this action. By the way, for for everybody new here, um, if you're interested in seeing some slightly newbier gameplay from me, I do have a YouTube channel uh, with exclamation mark YouTube that uh, will be having a growing collection of um, of Mechabellum gameplay on it. Let's see how this round goes. They're going more into the fangs, which is interesting. And they, they did buy the um, the Mustangs, which is pretty expected. What do I need to deal with the Mustangs, I guess, is the question. More sledges would be fine. I think we could get some really meaty sledges going. And that would be decent. Alright. Oh, is my bot off? Maybe my bot is off. 
It is off. Hang on. Frick. Gonna generate a token. Then I gotta authorize. And I gotta look at the round. Heavy arc light sounds pog, but it's pretty expensive. I think we go for uh, incendiary instead. Yes. There we go. The bot should no longer be on strike. We've taken away that bot's right to be on strike. Okay. This level up is going to be pretty unfortunate, that's for certain. I hope they don't do one of these. And I, I'm very interested in having a, uh, a tank line over here. And another tank line over here. And I'll probably level these tanks up. You're a bot according to <laughs> Dunk. That's rude. What made him what made him say that? The sniper is pretty lonely. Okay. Let's take the damage. And I'm gonna place a shield down here. Damn. Okay. I guess we're both uh, losing this round. In that everything we've placed is dying. But thankfully I have air. So I, I don't think I really care too much. Alright, let's take a look at the left here. We definitely are going to need some extra stuff to handle these uh, steel balls. They're getting a little bit out of control. But other than that, things are going well. How do I want to handle these steel balls, chat? Anybody got any ideas? These ones in particular are quite scaled. So I guess the answer is probably just, um, more chaff. I should check what their, uh, their stuff is. What do they have on here? They've got anti-air, and they've got high explosive ammo. The boat is looking very nice. I don't think we want to invest any more into our wasps for a little while. But let's get the uh, the range enhancement on them. Marksman EMP. Hmm. These balls do be scaling. I could just get a hacker. Just like a, a sneaky hacker plus some more chaff. Let's see how this plays. I'm going to place it like this. Because it'll counter anything that they place on the, the edge. And it'll also make it so... Basically, the reason you want to place your units long ways, specifically for crawlers, is because it takes longer for them to kill. Like, it, it could be, like, one or two extra shots, potentially, in a lot of cases. Assuming it attacks the balls, uh, but I would imagine... It's eventually his plan. He's got a relatively quick army. Vulcan beats a lot of what he has. I could just go Firestorm. They're going a lot of Mustangs. I think if I get my tanks teched up a little bit, it might be good. I could also... Oh man, they're just ripping through those crawlers entirely. Hmm... I think we get armor-piercing rounds on our tanks to try and blow through the the balls a little faster. If our tanks could do a little more, that would be helpful. It's unfortunate that their, uh, their stangs are getting this many kills. Boat doesn't look good here. They don't have many snipers. I think we go into our tanks more, maybe. Tanks plus hackers will mess them up pretty hard. But I also like the look of fire. 
So Firestorm could be really good. They're winning this, aren't they? Damn. <sighs> okay. Parasitic ammo. Hmm. Have I hacked the game to win yet? I have not. I don't think we go parasitic if we're planning on going fire. I want more damage on my tanks. And... This is a groove. It is. What's their health? Very low. I'll just kill half of their dudes like that. Level 3 wasp and level 2 wasp. Uh... Frick. Do I really go fire collar? I'm a bastard. I'm a bastard, I know. Vulcan, I mean, Vulcan gets killed by their snipers here, or their balls. I don't think Vulcan's the play. I want them to split. This is going to be in range of the snipers immediately. Alright. Hopefully that works. I got the anti-shield just in time. But they're going to be able to tank for a while. Hopefully this works out. I think we're punching through pretty nicely. The hacker's looking really juicy. I might want to get another one on the other side. Also, look at our tanks! Goddamn! They're surviving. They must be doing something right. Okay. We're gonna get a big chunk of damage thanks to this fortress. I'm very pleased about that. That's great. Parasitic Storm would've worked good too. I mean, they're dead. GG. The, the reason that I didn't want to go Parasitic Storm was specifically because uh, I wanted fire, and fire she counters the storm. We learned that earlier. Hey, Tic Tac, how you doing? It's good to see you. That's another win. Um, I feel like the fortresses kind of ignored what I was trying to do, and they just kind of went for whatever they wanted to do. I really like the sledge upgrade. That felt great. That felt really, really good there at the end. You can see our, t our tanks did some good damage. Allied top three. Look at that. So they're in the top three damage output. That's cool. I, I need to look at these stats more often. You gotta go to bed. Good night. Have a good in there, Felgren. I'll catch you later. Um, who was number one? You were number one. Improved wasp, baby. Improved wasp. Look at look at how much they committed to Stangs. I mean, let's see. This this was uh, how let, let's do the math on this. So this was 300 and this was 300. So that's 600. 200, 400, 600, 800. Um, 900, 1000. And then, so 600, 700, 8. Wait, 600, 700, 800, 900. So they, they, they spent more countering me than I spent otherwise. Now imagine if you gave them elite, uh, elite marksman or ground spec. Uh, I didn't want to commit to them too hard, Polo, specifically because uh, I felt like they had spent more than I had spent. And I was pretty happy with that. Not this game. Yeah, no, in, in general. They, they, the wasps are crazy. They're really strong. I felt great about that. That was a great game. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed today's games. Once again, if you're interested in more Mechabellum, I've got a YouTube channel. Go subscribe for more of that. Not to mention, uh, the Archive channel has entire stream VODs, like huge VODs of me playing the game, and you can see my full progress, essentially, of uh, the get goodening process. Uh, but yeah, I had a wonderful time today. Thank you all very much. Thank you to everybody who raided, thank you to everybody who followed Hoppenberger, you as well. Um, banger day. I, I, it feels good. Feels extremely good. Let's track some down to raid, keep the good times rolling. There are many more Mechabellum gamers.
Uh, my link! Link link it to me, I swear to you I will watch it. Um, on, on my own time here, Horatio. Or, but we, we can watch it right now. Link it. Link it, we'll, we'll watch it during the raid. Uh, let's, let's go look at the Me Mechabellum folks. Dark Storm. Thank you, Follow. Appreciate that very much. Uh, who do we have Mechabelluming today? Uh, how do I, how do I get to the Mechabellum section? How do I, how do I do that again? I forgot how to, I forgot how to be a live streamer for a sec. I apologize. Uh, who do we have on today? Host FPS is doing, doing some stuff. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and go over to Toast. What, what is this brand new screen that's confusing the heck out of me? They've got pizza tag. I love pizza. It's perfect. Ollie, uh, Ollie Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the Twitch Prime of two months. That's very kind of you. Uh, just got here in time for the raid. Welcome on in there, Wolfie. Appreciate that nonetheless. Hang on, slash raid. Everybody go say no some nice things at Toast, who's also playing some Mechabellum. We're, we're gonna meet him for the first time here. Uh, let me go ahead and share what has been shared with me really quick. Uh, where, where's the game thing? Uh, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm running around trying to get stuff. Let me show this off. There it is. Look at, look at this. It's gorgeous. This is Rain World. Another game that I'm playing. This is some goofy artwork, though. Nice. Alright, everybody have a good one. See you later. Some more Mechabellum and whatever else. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit of Rain World, a bunch of Mechabellum, and then a little more Heroes Hour. Um, so look forward to that. I'll catch you all then. And please go some... Hey, say hi to Toast. My brain is melted. It's It's been a long day. I'll catch you all later.